to join the BJP as long as you are ready to puppet what they say. As long as you are ready to be corrupt with them. Let's come to the let's come down to the liquor scam. She made a false accusation over here that there was a lot of exchequer. Okay, one sec, Shazia. One sec, Shazia. Let us speak. Revenues when the excise policy was in force. Don't you have to take it back because of the federal government? All right, both of you, just 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 one second. Both of you, let me go across. My other panelists, I can't hear either of you. Let me just go across uh, to Nikhil Mehra. Nikhil, that is one of the points. Okay, okay, hang on. Both of you, they are fighting, so I can't hear. Let me go I'm across to fighting. Nikhil Mehra. No, but you I'm are interrupting. Uh, Shazia, hold on one second. Let me. I'll come back to both of you. Let there be some peace in the interim period. Uh, Nikhil, uh, let me come across to you. One of the points which has been uh, made uh, in the defence of our Kejriwal is, and this is what Abhishek Singh we said in court. That there is a pattern, there is a witness who doesn't name Arvind Kejriwal uh, in earlier questioning, in, in, in the initial statement or the second statement. That person is then uh, arrested, his bail is uh, opposed vehemently, and that person ends up being an approver uh, and ends up giving what Singhvi called a brilliant statement. Is this a fact? Uh, whether it's a fact or not, I wouldn't know. I haven't examined exactly how uh, what the remand order is. None of us have. Uh, but I, I think what Mr. Singhvi was adhering to is that the evidence of an approver is generally regarded as weak evidence. But, but you have to balance this with something else, which is that when you look at a conspiracy, a conspiracy is generally proved by approvers, that is by members of that particular conspiracy. There are only a limited number of people who will be in the know of, of all elements of the conspiracy, and so therefore that kind of information does come from within. But this is an ED case, and in an ED case, you eventually have to establish uh, a trail of funds. And so perhaps that is the thing that will emerge more tomorrow. Because let, let's remember one thing. The Supreme Court had denied Manish Sisodia bail, right? Uh, but at that point in time, the, the existence of the 100 crores going back to uh, the Amadi party for their Goa election, that was still under investigation. One of the primary reasons why it was allowed, or why his bail was denied, what are the 338 crores that was deemed to be the excess profit made by private liquor sellers, wholesalers, was deemed to be pro uh, proceeds of crime. And that there were various conspiracies that were hatched in terms of a 65% market share for just two retailers with a 20% market share for another 14 to 15 retailers. This was a substantial deviation in policy and suggested, therefore, that there would be a substantial kickback. So I think if they are going after Arvind Kejriwal now, it is perhaps in his status as the head of the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, and the kingpin status that they are alluding to will be both as chief minister within the government and also his status within the party. Okay. Which means that they must have produced more evidence in relation to the 100 crores of, uh, in relation to the Goa election. Um, Ajay Kumar, uh, every political party, not least of all Cong the Congress, at some stage or the other, fights on an anti-corruption plank. Uh, now, the Aam Aadmi Party is, a, you know, a party which uh, you, uh, you know, you're working fairly closely with. Certainly, in the Delhi context, you're looking at uh, unity within the uh, the the, uh, the India bloc, as it were. But the allegations are fairly strong. Uh, the allegation is that the total proceeds of the alleged crime according to the ED, exceeds 600 crores. That's 100 crores apparently paid to the Southern Group, which includes K. Kavita, who was arrested last week, the TRS leader. Given the gravity of these charges, how do you actually say that, uh, you know, I mean, these are trumped up? Because there are lots of specifics which the ED has said. And so, therefore, how do you keep supporting and endorsing the Aam Aadmi Party in this situation? So, Vishnu, the same question would be to you also, that how do you keep not doing a TV show on the electoral bonds? I did I did three shows on the electoral bonds. Three of them, my friend. Like, you are interrupting me like Shazia, so let me come. <laughs> the fact is, Vedanta, there was a raid. There is an electoral bond. Grasping, there is a raid. So, the joke, I mean, I'm hearing all the panelists. If you want to have an honest thing, raid happens, money given to BJP. Utkal, Grasdim, Hetro, 18,000 crores. So Mr. Modi will be the first person if, when this government goes down, who is the kingpin of the corruption. ED does raid and gets money. So if you are having the same barometers, which are saying that there is a kingpin and money was extorted, then what was the enforcement director doing that, apart from enforced? Uh, no, Sajeti, let me complete, madam. I'm saying if you have this high moral state of saying that there is a money trail, 
देर इज अ डायरेक्ट मनी ट्रेल फॉर दी भारतीय जनता पार्टी एंड द रेट विद उत्कल सीमेंट एंड ग्रास सीमेंट हेट्रो कंपनीज व्हिच सोल्ड एक्सपायर्ड ड्रग्स ग्लेनमार्क वेर रेडेड नो रेड एनीमोर मनी गिवन ओके एंड द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हिच नो एज अ मोस्ट enlightened anchor what happened to glenmark after selling spurious medicine was there any action there was a donation no action rendesivir manufacturers who who looted the people of india there was a raid ed raided uh, drug enforcement raided after that no no, no but are you suggesting that no action in a previous case should mean that there shouldn't be action no, over here i'm suggesting i'm suggesting जॉय the question again that that's a pot shot that's unfair and she is still very well mannered <laughs> now okay. carry on ajoy okay. okay. i mean it's a different shazia i'm speaking to of late but anyway i think it no personal thing my question is very simple the nick country has to know that i agree with what preeti said is where is the recovery i heard one of my colleagues before this state that there is must be money you tell me sir three convictions in uh, the ED cases in the past 10 years three convictions out of 5700 cases the problem is you're becoming putin's russia and all opposition leaders will become alexei navalny and then yes. they'll be forced to weep for this country because this is what you know i want to ask the ED record on this tv channel three convictions sir and we are believing that the the devil of ED is preaching these scriptures no so matter let me come to three convictions 10 years you 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 contract me on that all right once shazia go ahead reply to that and yes please go ahead so ajay you made your point let shazia reply sad. yes go ahead shazia friend who is still very well mannered despite the fact that he has continued to be in the congress party um uh, <laughs> says says here and throws his his colleague ajay markan under a bus who was busy standing sitting next to rahul gandhi talking about electoral bonds and it is the same ajay markan who actually talked about the excise policy first it is in fact anil choudhary of congress party who actually brought this to light and the entire excise policy scam was brought to light by the congress party something they were very very proud of so while they will use it in punjab they will actually now i don't know whether ajay has more interest in delhi but the fact of the matter is that it was taken up by the lg on the complaint of a congress member and not the bjp so this is just to point out a few facts you might have missed out on mr well mannered akesh ajoy ji okay secondly uh, yes. i'm talking about putain and all of that these are courts the courts have refused bail to manish sodia the sessions court the high court the supreme court and not once but many times the curative plea was dismissed so you're saying the courts also come under the bjp and the same courts have given bail to your leaders sonia gandhi p chidambaram uh, rahul gandhi and this is the same court at the same ed and the same cbi and the same system has not uh, the same ecosystem has not given bail to uh, okay Manish i get Sonia. the point you are making let me just go across to amitabh tiwari amitabh what happens now as far as arvind kejriwal is concerned uh, is it is he now is it incumbent upon him to step down as chief minister because at some stage would he not have to do that see essentially uh aam aadmi party has categorically stated that he would not uh, step down as chief minister because he continues to be an mla he is not disqualified and not convicted yet legally perhaps tenable but uh, in the spirit of law and, and constitution and as an ethical and moral question perhaps he should he should step down now we'll have to see whether the lg intervenes here because the lg and the aam aadmi party do not share a very great rapport so whether the lg intervenes here whether the home ministry intervenes here because as uh, we have been reading in reports that he ultimately is also a public servant so we'll have to wait and see how things fold uh, fold out because the battle now is of course in the judiciary where the aam aadmi party despite making some strong points or arguments 
somehow the courts are either not accepting these arguments or the uh, evidence which is being presented by ED is... All right, is Amitabh, I'm just interrupting you now. We're getting some reactions coming in on the developments in court uh, with Arvind Kejriwal. Spriti Irani speaking. Let's listen in. Kejriwal ke vakilo ne nahi kiya. Ek aur tathya. Bucci Babu, CA of Miss K. Kavita. 23 फरवरी 2023 उन्होंने स्वयं ये स्टेटमेंट दिया कि विजय नायर जिनको अरविंद केजरीवाल अपना माय बॉय कहकर संबोधित कर चुके थे उन्होंने शराब के इस घोटाले के संदर्भ में ये ऑफर दिया कि कुछ पॉलिसी में ऐसा बदलाव हो सकता है जिससे के कविता को मुनाफा हो मात्र यह स्टेटमेंट नहीं है कोर्ट में बुच्ची बाबू जो सीए हैं के कविता के उनके व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस भी उपलब्ध हैं ऐसा कोर्ट के सम्मुख कहा गया तब भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के वकीलों ने इस स्टेटमेंट का और स्टेटमेंट से संबद्ध व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस का खंडन नहीं किया सार्वजनिक रूप से दस्तावेज जो उपलब्ध हैं उसमें कोर्ट में जांच एजेंसी ने कहा कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने घूस मांगी साउथ ग्रुप से उसके संदर्भ में श्री एम एस रेड्डी का बयान पिछले साल का 6 सात 2023 और सात सत्रह सात 2023 स्पष्ट रूप से लिखा था कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने सेक्रेटेरिएट के अपने ऑफिस में 16 दिसंबर 2021 शाम साढ़े चार बजे मिलने का समय दिया Spriti Rani speaking over there. The Aam Aadmi Party's senior leader Atishi also responding, reacting to all of this. Let's listen it. ईडी के द्वारा केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि इस देश में पीएमएलए एक ऐसा कानून है जिसके तहत बेल मिलना लगभग असंभव है हमने देखा है कि किस तरह एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है All right, so the, uh, the, the war of words continuing between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP, Arvind Kejriwal, that's the big development in the last 30 minutes, uh, has been sent to seven days of ED custody. I'd like to thank my panelists very much for joining us. We're out of time at this stage. We'll take a short break, come back with the very latest. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view. Because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav, only on NDTV 24-7.
much talking but very little being said. Too many voices but hardly any being heard. You turn to a show that puts you front and center. A show that headlines the stories of the people, by the people, for the people. Friends, this is what I have for the next one because यहाँ पे this sleek looking laptop coming straight from Apple is the latest generation of MacBook Air और यहाँ पे what sparked inside is Apple's new M3 chip now. तो ये Apple ने finally launch कर दिया है and what's amazing is that look at this profile मतलब कितना sleek आपको laptop मिलता है at the same time it packs some amazing performance. यहाँ पे Apple की latest M3 chip है. It's a fanless design. That's the reason कि ये काफी आपको sleek मिलने वाला है. Quite lightweight. And this in fact is the 15 inch variant. जो इसका 13 inch variant है वो थोड़ा सा और ज़्यादा छोटा और आपको हल्का feel होता है. It's you know even more portable. At the same time, it packs some serious power because यहाँ पे जो memory है, it goes up to 24 GB. The storage can go up to two terabytes. हमारे पास में proper there is a MagSafe port, we have a headphone jack as well. At the same time, there are USB-C ports here. We have a full-size keyboard, a nice 15-inch screen in a very sleek form factor. And this packs a six-speaker system as well. So let's see up close, how is this Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip? The beloved MacBook Air just got a super power upgrade with the brand new M3 chip. Ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds, longer battery life and mind-blowing AI capabilities. Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip. Imagine kariye ki editing videos, creating music or even casually crushing your enemies in an intense game. The laptop kafi asani se ye sab kar hi sakta hai, no sweat. Apple promise karta hai whopping 18 hours of battery life on a single charge. That's almost a full day of work or actually even play. Bina kisi power outlet ki zarurat pade. Talk about freedom. The new neural engine makes this the best MacBook air yet for AI tasks as well. Think about super intelligent photo editing and much more. You can also now hook up two external displays perfect for those who need a big screen workspace like for editing and all. The MacBook Air M3 is a sleek, powerful and undeniably cool way to compute on the go. If you're looking for a laptop that's as light as air but packs a serious punch, it's time to catch this upgrade. Friends, this new MacBook Air has been two interesting things. The first thing is that we got a new MacBook with M3 chip, the MacBook Air. There are two different sizes. This one in particular, the 15-inch variant, starts at Rs. 1,34,900. But the second thing is even more exciting because Apple has reduced the price for the 13-inch variant. Because if you take the MacBook Air chip with M2 chip, then the price of the price is reduced at 20,000. And now you can get it at just 99,900. So basically, the lineup for the MacBook Air, M1 chip bhi hai, M2 chip bhi hai, and this is the latest M3 chip. You can choose basis of your requirements or your budget. And I would say all these laptops, they are This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV 24-7. TV and I'm Maria Shaquille. Three events, though disconnected, has made the opposition say that there is no level playing field in the Lok Sabha polls. We'll examine if the charge is justified on the big fight tonight. Let me tell you about these events. First, the most recent one. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in his alleged role in the Delhi liquor policy case. Amadmi Party and the entire opposition has called it unconstitutional. His arrest as unconstitutional and that it is targeting of opposition ahead of polls. Kejriwal is the second chief minister from India bloc to be arrested in recent months. His arrest has united the anti-BJP coalition which has been struggling to set aside their differences over seat sharing arrangements. The arrest coming on the day, the Congress brass said that systematic effort to cripple the party financially is being made. Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, 
Congress President Malikarjun Khadge, flanked by Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh and AICC Treasurer Ajay Makan, addressed a press conference and said that the Congress was unable to conduct normal campaign activities like paying its workers, publishing pamphlets and booking advertisement slots. Sources say that IT department moved to recover 135 crore on March 16th only after various appellate authorities dismissed the Congress's stay plea and the Delhi High Court also rejected its appeal on March 13th with adverse remarks. And all these developments coming at a time when the opposition had welcomed the Supreme Court February 15th judgment of declaring electoral bonds unconstitutional. Over the last few days, the SBI, that is the State Bank of India, has submitted details to the Election Commission. The larger sense is that in this move to ensure transparency and level playing field in political donation, the BJP has been the biggest beneficiary of these bonds. Today, opposition leaders visited the Election Commission. They have petitioned the poll panel over alleged misuse of ED, CBI and income tax. They have claimed that there is a concerted effort to stifle opposition voices and that it is imperative for the Election Commission to ensure a level playing field. So with weeks to go for the polls, is the opposition justified in saying that the BJP has an unfair advantage in these polls and can the Election Commission ensure level playing field? Joining me on the show, Anshul Avajit is the spokesperson of the Congress Party here in the studio. Tuheen Sinha, national spokesperson of the BJP. Uh, we have Siddharth Sharma from Amadmi Party. Colin Gonzalez, senior advocate of the Supreme Court. O.P. Rawat, former CEC. Nirja Chaudhary, senior journalist. And Snehalata Srivastav is constitutional expert. O.P. Rawat, beginning with you, how can the election commission, for the sake of democratic process and to ensure a free and fair election, ensure level playing field? In fact, election commission is, do, is doing every bit to ensure level playing field by uh, enforcing model code of conduct, by pointing out wherever the violations are, like uh, Meti circulating the letter of uh, Vixit Bharat, so I think Election Commission is doing uh, every bit. Uh, however, these incidents like arrests, like uh, judgment on uh, electoral bond, information given on electoral bond, that timing is uh, not in the control of Election Commission. And therefore, one, one can't really uh, put the blame on at the doorstep of Election Commission. Okay, so Election Commission cannot be blamed, but in terms of perception, because uh, we are in the game of per perception. Before I bring in the politicians, I want to understand from you, Nirja Chaudhary, and also from Colin Gonzalez, <coughs> is there a violation of constitutional rights, Con Colin, coming to you first? Because uh, the opposition says that there is a pattern, but in all these cases, none of these, you know, the, the political parties, be it of the freezing of accounts, or in case of arrest of Mr. Kejriwal, they got any relief from courts. Colin. Well, I'm not surprised, actually, hmm. because I'm not surprised at all because the Supreme Court today is not like the Supreme Court as it was in the earlier days, a robust institution standing up for human rights and being able to take on the government. The strange thing today is that the Supreme Court has surrendered to the government, not all benches, not all judges, but Largely, the Supreme Court is silent when the government overrules its decisions, like in the election case. The appointment of election commissioners, the Supreme Court said the Chief Justice of India should be one of the three persons. And you have a frightening situation where a government overrules the Supreme <clears throat> Court. And even more frightening is the fact that after this happens, the Supreme Court is absolutely silent. Okay. So we are going through an emergency. It's not Arvind Kejriwal or Sisodi or anybody else. This is an emergency situation. This is the second emergency. And like the first emergency, the judges are bending in favor of the government. And that is not a good thing to go through for a nation like India. Not a good thing for democracy. 
Okay. Uh, Nidja Chaudhary, your <coughs> opening comments? Look, it's, uh, uh, you know, if you put all of it together, hmm. uh, you have, uh, uh, you know, two chief ministers uh, arrested in cases. Arvind Kejriwal after the notification of elections. Now, it's, it is another matter that, yes, he had defied the summons of the ED, but the election process has kicked in and an opposition chief minister, whatever be the, uh, whatever be the facts and figures of the case, you hmm. know, we don't know that. And what the ED has got and what the, the counter by Arvind Kejriwal's counsel. But to have, you know, in the full glare of uh, national glare and international glare, your chief minister of Delhi arrested when election process is on. Could that not have been postponed till the election process was being completed? Uh, I would say that also on other grounds, you know. Of course, the SBI has given the data on electoral bronze. Again, you know, constitutional validity of it. There are the pros and cons of it. That's another story. But, you know, to be Caesar's wife has to be above suspicion in a democracy. And therefore, you know, uh, yes, the prime minister will want to cleanse corruption, and we hear that that is going to be a major plank of his his in the in his third term if he comes back to power. Hmm. But you know, the, you you're absolutely the key words that you've used are level playing field, and the accounts of the major opposition party gets frozen again in election time. So how fair is it? What is the impression it gives? What is going to be the reaction of people? The calculation, obviously, by the ruling parties, there's going to be little reaction. And if there is reaction, yes. they will ride the storm. Well, but th those are different considerations. But the long-term impact on our democratic structure and on the holding of free and fair elections, yes, it's, it's not a situation that makes you happy. OK, Snelata Srivastava, as a constitution expert, how are you viewing the developments uh, of recent weeks, uh, you have for the first time in Indian political history that a chief minister is behind bars. He has not resigned. That was in the in case of Heman Soren, he resigned and then he was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. Mr. Kejriwal even today holds the position of the Delhi chief minister. Uh, you see, <clears throat> if you ask me as an expert, uh, uh, the Constitution does not. Uh, have any provision saying that the chief minister uh, in position cannot be arrested. Uh, the thing is that it is the, uh, the uh, moral responsibility of any individual who is on the seat or, or on any important position to decide about uh, their own uh, you know, uh, doing. So uh, it is uh, uh, on the individual uh, chief minister uh, in, uh, earlier also, I, I am told that uh, one of the chief ministers did not resign. And uh, similarly, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is deciding not to resign. So uh, in the constitution, there is no such thing written. Okay. But uh, yeah, but it is the moral uh, thing which uh, is uh, okay. uh, up to the individual. Okay. Anshul Abhijit, coming to you. If we look at this uh, freezing of account, because uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi has been uh, very has used some very sharp words to say that this is not freezing of account of the Congress Party, but freezing of uh, some kind of democracy as well. But the larger question here is that the Congress did not uh, allow the income tax department to do its job. So it's not a new case; it's an ongoing case. And if you look at what the Delhi High Court said, they have they have had some very sharp uh, observations to make. No, so it, then does, does it justify what is happening on the eve of the elections? I mean, th this is not hyperbole, the freezing of Indian democracy. Indian democracy is under siege. You know, you use the right word, level playing field. We seem to forget that there is a basic structure of the Constitution in which holding free and fair <laughs> elections is a part of that. And whenever that there is an infringement in that process, which is happening now, you know, by freezing our accounts, by the unprecedented act of arresting chief ministers here, and a number of other things which this, uh, this government is doing, by the tyranny of its executive powers, that, that's exactly what is happening. Uh, the tyranny of the executive in which the worst instincts which counter democracy are coming to the fore, well, it's not a uh, level playing field at all. And when it's not a level playing field, when you throw the opposition 
in quicksand when Indian democracy is under siege, when you use the holy trinity of CBI, of okay. income tax I'm and looking ED. At, I'm looking at what the observations were made by the court today while dismissing uh, petitions which were filed by your party against uh, tax reassessment. The income tax department appears to have collated substantial and concrete evidence against Congress to warrant further scrutiny and examination of its income. And in fact, they have talked about how uh, there is a detailed pay <coughs> payments which have been made. So any kind of, uh, you know, to, to, to look at it from the point of conspiracy, how fair is it? No, the, uh, there is a process for going about these things. On the eve of an election, if the mm -hmm. largest opposition parties' accounts are frozen, there is nothing suspicious about it. Okay, there's nothing But when 97% when, when of the cases of ED are directed against opposition, nothing suspicious about it. When a couple of chief ministers are arrested on the eve of the election, the general election, nothing suspicious about it. Okay. There is an element of suspicion, of doubt so in the Sina, entire process. So, Hinsina, first respond to the Congress's charge of uh, not ensure uh, of freezing their accounts and then I bring in uh, the Ahmadmi party well good evening uh, Maria good evening everybody you know the inconsistency of the opposition parties and some of uh, the left liberal journalists like Nirja ji is quite amusing on the one hand they say how can you arrest a team of elections but at the same time when the SBI had requested for time till June 30th to furnish uh, you know uh, for furnishing all the details regarding uh, electoral bond, citing the same reason that election um, is underway, you know, they had a major problem with that. Now, let us look at each of these. When it comes to electoral bonds, we have been repeatedly saying that we have nothing to hide. And when now the details have come out, <coughs> it is parties like DMK and TMC have more to answer than us. But any which way, it is way better than, you know, the cash formula, the Hawala money, which used to uh, play a major role in the Congress era. When it comes to Arvind Kejival's arrest, you know, there was a trail. Nine I'm coming to you in just a him. bit because Nine. the level playing field, uh, absence of it has been leveled by all the opposition. Let's begin with the freezing of accounts, and then I come to Mr. K. G. Vazar. No, you yourself cited the you know the the, the court ruling today. There has been, the, the, the Congress has been repeatedly approaching the courts if they feel that defiance and non-payment. You know if they feel they're entitled to it, that's their problem, and only a part of their uh, funds are frozen. You know, if Rahul Gandhi says that they don't have money to buy the tickets, he's actually confirming that it is people like Dheeraj Sahu who are still probably funding the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra and whatever. So I think, first of all, Congress needs to be honest with the facts. From 94, 95, they had multiple opportunities <laughs> to address the situation in various courts, but they kept defying court orders. Even today, the court order very specifically mentions that the income tax uh, department has collated enough information to make a case, and that they, sh they you know, the, uh, their plea doesn't stand, doesn't hold any ground. But the Congress is saying that this is a three-decade-old uh, matter. Could you confirm no, so what exactly is that this? The Congress had opportunities to settle it, even you know, uh, to my understanding, even 2016, the court had uh, passed a ruling. They had multiple opportunities to settle it. If they refuse to settle it, even today, I repeat, only a part of the funds is frozen. And, you know, the myth which they are propagating <laughs> holds no ground. Okay. Now, coming to Siddhar Sharma. Siddhar Sharma, Arvind Kejriwal uh, skipped nine summons. When he approached the Delhi High Court for protection from arrest, that was not something that the, you know, the court gave. <coughs> so, ED, if it is taking action, and of course, you'll talk about the timing, but had he not skipped those summons, perhaps it would have been a different scenario today. And if we were to look at the ED remand copy, uh, they, they claim to have some, some strong evidence against the chief minister. Yeah, uh, Maria, uh, let me at the very outset uh, tell you a little bit jokingly that a dead man walking gets his uh, preferred meal. So I deserve that as an accused today sitting on the hot seat. I believe I'll just try to take that little bit of margin. So why why cases against Mr. Arvind Kejriwal or opposition leaders on under PMLA only? The PMLA was strengthened to satisfy Global Financial Action Task Force, that is called as the FATF, to stop terror funding through money laundering. The government of the day also has to report to the global body called FATF. The PMLA's draconian provisions reserved for 
terror funding, arms trading, and drug peddling for money laundering have been hoisted on opposition ch chief ministers like Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. Why is it so? Just because to stop a bilingual national leader from campaigning across India during these elections. I, 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 trying to make it a simplified thing, it is like me or uh, Tuhin from BJP asking Virat Kohli to play a match with me. And once I come to know that I cannot get him out, I try to bounce him out and injure him. It is as simple as that. Now, as far as your technical question is concerned about the ED getting a remand, uh, the, I, I'll state only five sentences and all of them will be facts, no conjectures. Hmm. ED confessed to court today that after two years, there is no money trail. Hence, they want Arvind Kejriwal's remand. Well, the firm of the accused Aurobindo Pharma brought, bought uh, electoral bonds worth 30 crore and gave them away to the BJP. The main accused was allowed to turn approver from an accused. Hmm. Subsequently, the money trail has been recovered. This money trail leads directly to the BJP, isn't it so? Okay. Let me ask Tuhin to respond to this. No, no. See, when it comes to uh, when it comes to Arvind Kejriwal, he for whether you take the the, the submission of Kavita, you know, who was arrested uh, previous uh, week, and who was uh, and the South group who she represented is supposed to have given hundred crore rupees. Whether you take the instance of Manish Sisodia. In whose case the court has ruled that there is a part evidence of a, uh, of a, of a trail of some 300 crores, I think there is enough. There are enough indications to point the complicity of Arvind Kejriwal, which is also corroborated by statements by from statements by Arun Nair, his own OST, and the OST of Manish Sisodia. So, if after nine summons, Arvind Kejriwal did not think it proper, and you know, by the way, to also respond to Amadi Party, who says you know the PMLA Act was uh, was amended. To, to harass the opposition, you know, it was it was uh, it was amended only with the objective of preventing money laundering and hawala money, which has been at the core of multiple illegal activities and anti-national activities. Were we to know that Ahmadi Party, a party which 12 years ago came on the premise of cleaning politics, would be indulging in hawala money and money laundering? So why blame us? The fact is that you know you have taken kickbacks from the so-called Southern Group. You have uh, Arvind, uh, meetings of these would take place in the house of Arvind Kejriwal. And in any case, the bigger scam was right in the creation of the cabinet when 90% of the portfolios were held by two people, both of whom but were Tuhin, indulging Tuhin, in Tuhin, these deals. Tuhin, the Supreme Court has done away with the distinction between proceeds of crime and money laundering. And here is an agency which appears certainly to be overactive, perhaps on an overdrive. You cannot uh, you know, run away from <clears> this that... The, the agencies of the government are seen to be initiating cases only against opposition leaders. Tell me example of one leader who is an ally of the BJP who is currently under the scanner of any of the agencies. Well, the fact is, if the opposition has a certain culture of taking money, of indulging in corruption, obviously the cases would be uh, on them. There are, you know, the other thing which often journalists say that there are five, there are so many people who have been let off. But the fact is, there are five thousand people who have been let off for want of evidence. If there are a few who have whose corruption has been more overt and they have been found guilty or they have been, you know, nabbed, then obviously the, okay. you can't blame the agencies. The okay. agencies have Sid been after. Siddharth Sharma, one and all. respond to that, and then I bring in uh, former Deputy Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh, T S Singhdeo, for a brief comment. Yes. Basically, the BJP spokesperson is saying that there is a law and then there is an abuse of law. A matchbox can be used to cook food for somebody hungry as well as to burn down somebody's house. BJP has decided to burn somebody's house with it. And uh, acts like, uh, you, tell me one thing, Maria, uh, NDTV is a very credible media house. It has always in the past also come up with certain scams in the public domain. In the la How come in the last 10 years of governance in Delhi, not a single scam has been exposed by the media, nor by the CAG, the government's own constitutional body, saying that uh, some wrongdoing has been done? How come the cases hoisted by uh, BJP and uh, BJP hmm. are not under the Prevention of Corruption Act that is, that is also existent? Hell, forget about Prevention Corruption, Corruption Act. 
you can go to your uh, neighborhood thana and file a 420 case against somebody that was exactly was done on mr gautam adani in a new york uh, county police precinct so how come only pmla cases have been hoisted the simple reason is arvind kejriwal being a bilingual person he is going to campaign for uh, not just Aam Aadmi Party, but for Team India across India, okay. even in seats that Dear where he will Sindhio, not be contesting. Dear Sindhio, Dear Sindhio, 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 you know, it is about the treasurer of your party who, who could have handled the income de tax department and ensured that all the documents are submitted on time. Good evening, Maharaji. Good evening to all the panelists. And uh, I don't know if we'll be getting together before Holi. So holy greetings to all. I don't know what is going to come out on Holy Day, uh, Holy Hair, and uh, a lot of hmm. Go ahead, sir. Uh, kurta pulling or shirt pulling is done. So I hope there is some news that the ED has gone and uh, approached, uh, you know, someone. Hmm. That should be Holy Holy Day news. It's not going to happen in reality. So let it let it happen on uh, Holy. Hmm. So lighter talk apart. You mentioned the Congress account. Hmm. What is the amount concerned? 14, 14 and a half lakhs. What is the penalty? The supposed penalty for uh, uh, wrong filing of returns is uh, supposed to be, or late filing of returns is 10,000 rupees, I am told. Uh, media has been uh, showing experts saying things like that. I am not an expert hmm. uh, myself. So what will be the penalty? Hmm. Would it be 30%, 40% you have schemes where you declare it? This is declared money. This is uh, money which is declared as coming from so-and-so individuals. They were members of the Congress party, elected representatives apparently, who had made that contribution. So it was amount more than probably 20,000 at that point in time. So it, it was a contravention of that. So what would you impose as a fine? 10,000 rupees? 10 times the amount? 100 times the amount? On 14 lakhs, how much would it be? 100 times it would be 14 and a half crores. So you are of the opinion that this fine is is an unfair amount. Yes, we'll try and fix that line. Which so is it commensurate in any way? Hmm. Whether the Yes, Tuhin, will you respond to that quickly? And then I bring in the Arima Sundaram, senior advocate, who will be joining me shortly. Issues have been taken in the yes, court of the freezing, freezing of accounts is uh, nowhere commensurate to the, uh, is over 200 uh, crores. Uh, where, is the, where is the proportion of the penalty which is being imposed? Okay. Do you freeze all the accounts? You deregister the party. You do something on the Congress if it has done such a wrong thing. You did recognize the Congress party. Why Why this uh, uh, drama about freezing accounts? You just say the Congress has done such a uh, wrong thing. We did recognize the Congress party. It is It is silly. It is immature. Okay. It is Quickly, very childish. Uh, Tuhin, go ahead, please. Yeah. No, no, I think the Congress the Congress over here is clearly being economical with the truth. This issue was taken up in the, in the, in the court of law. And if you know there was merit in their argument, the court would have st uh, stayed the decision of uh, the income tax. Rather, they have only maintained that the income tax has collated enough evidence to to embark upon the actions that it has. All right, uh, I would request and all the panelists to continue to be with us. Arima Sundaram, quick questions to him, uh, him, and I am coming back to all of you. Arima Sundaram, really second. appreciate your Just time. Senior second. advocate of the Supreme Court is joining us live now, uh, Mr. Sundaram. This allegation coming from various political parties about lack uh, of level playing field ahead of elections. How do you look at these multiple developments? Chain of events, one would say, arrest of Arvind Kejriwal uh, by the Enforcement Directorate, Congress saying that all its uh, accounts have been frozen, and then details of electoral bonds which show that uh, the ruling dispensation is the biggest beneficiary. Look, without a doubt, the events which have transpired have definitely put various opposition parties on the back foot. There is no doubt that with elections imminent, these actions having been taken have put the opposition parties on the back foot. You cannot deny that. It has been advantage BJP. You cannot deny that. However, having said that, I must say one more thing. 
every single action taken has had legal backing. You may then raise a question about timing. I'll come to that subsequently. But the fact is every action has legal backing. Whether you look at the electoral bonds issue was a decision of a constitution bench of the Supreme Court. And it so happened that happenstance in the BJP appears to be the beneficiary of it. What happened with the freezing of accounts was pursuant to an alleged non-disclosure of income tax. What happened with regard to the arrest of the Delhi chief minister is something which has happened to a number of people under the PMLA and on not answering nine summons. Now, if you take each one of these, you would find that it has a legal backing which fortuitously has worked to the advantage of the BJP and the great disadvantage of the opposition. And is the BJP making political capital out of these, let me say, holes or chinks in the armor of the opposition parties? Yes, the BJP is making political capital out of such chinks. But it is but natural in politics that any political party would seek to make political capital when the opportunity presents itself. Unfortunately, the opposition parties have chinks in their armor, have presented opportunities, and those opportunities have been taken. And we must realize that in today's politics, no opportunity will be met. Absolutely. This is no longer the days of the Oxford debates or the gentleman boxing when you don't knock a person when he's on his way down. But in modern day politics, whether in India or all over the world, you make capital out of any situation and you make hay when the sun shines. Okay, Mr. Sundaram, now that's okay. exactly what has happened. To answer your question, are the opposition parties in the, on the back foot with this chain of events? Answer, yes. But are these chain of events something which is created out of thin air, fabricated? Answer, no. Okay, so tell me, how do you look at these chain of events from the legal point of view? On the legal point of view, the fact is, if there was non-disclosure, there is power for the income tax department to have passed the order that they did. Do they pass such an order in all cases? Not necessarily. Did they pass it in this case? Yes. Can it be said that the Congress has been unfortunate by the income tax department acting very strictly and throwing the book at them and applying the law strictly in a manner which they had the discretion not to do immediately? Yes, that is an answer. But at the same time, have they done so illegally, not warranted by law, not allowed under law? To that, my answer has to be in the negative and say they have not done anything against law. Now, the point of it is also is that if these accounts have been frozen unlawfully, and if I'm not mistaken, that happened some time ago, surely there is legal recourse. And I want to know what has happened as an outcome of those legal proceedings. And have they taken the legal recourse? And what has the court decided as to whether it was warranted or not? So the point I'm trying to make to you is, maybe, maybe political capital is being made, hay is being uh, harvested because the sun is shining, but the fact is, each one of these actions is individually backed by law. Okay, so the actions are backed by law, but the political parties and the entire opposition says that the timing is a suspect because this is uh, just weeks to go for before the first phase. Well, the fact is, if the court did not give them relief, that means the court did not find that the actions were illegal and the court has decided not to grant relief. Well, the point I'm trying to make is, I'm sure Mr. Kejriwal on his side will make political capital out of this. Don't forget Mr. George Fernandez at the time of emergency fought the elections from behind bars and won by a record margin of more than 4 lakh votes. So I'm sure that Mr. Kejriwal will also like to make political capital out of the situation. 
And this is all a question of politics. The fact is, the law has been used, has been used, and many people will say has been used for political purposes. Okay. But the fact is, the law has been used. It's not that an unlawful act has been done. All right. So thank you so much for joining us. And let me bring in T.S. Singh and make him respond to this. So here is the legal opinion. Uh, of course, the, there is a different way to look at it. Uh, you had Mr. Colin Gonzalez having a different viewpoint. But T.S. Singh Dio, uh, there's no misuse of law per se. If uh, the Congress was not in the wrong, then you would have got some relief. That has not really <laughs> happened. Maharaji, Mr. Sundaram has put it <coughs> very nicely. On the <clears throat> one hand, he has said there has not been a misuse of law, but he has said there has been a selective use of law. That is what we are talking about. The executive is being used to target the opposition. That is exactly what we are saying. Why did not the, uh, the ED or any other agency proactively register a case in the bonds matter? Quid pro quo. Supreme Court made statements regarding that. Don't arrest anybody, but did you file even a case? So you are using law selectively. The executive is using law selectively. That is exactly what the opposition is saying. Okay, but but uh, Siddharth Sharma, of course you will look at the chain of events and um, you know uh, <clears throat> this. The, these developments has united the entire opposition, the kind of uh, solidarity which has been shown by multiple leaders in opposition for Mr. K.G. Wal is very, very clear. Uh, they have all called this uh, arrest uh, unconstitutional. But w when it comes to following the law, how is it that you have not got any relief so far? Well, Maria, I would not like to go into repetitive mode. I've already answered those questions according to the PMLA law. If uh, there, there is a law and there is an abuse of law. If you start abusing law, then uh, uh, from extrapolating from uh, what Aryam and Sundaram said, then in this nation, uh, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Mr. Lal Krishna Advani were also in jail, and that was also under some kind of law. Uh, Bhagat Singh was also incarcerated in jail, that was also under some law. Veer Savarkar was also in jail, that was under, also under some law. Uh, hell, it, even Lord Krishna was in jail, that, that was also because of Kansas law. So let us not get into those okay. kind of uh, polemics. They don't serve anything. The point here is very simple. Uh, PMLA, okay, I'll, I'll come to the PMLA aspect itself. Uh, if the PMLA Act says that proceeds of the crime reaching anybody also makes him an accused, uh, isn't it clear now that Aurobindo Pharma, which was an accused as per the ED itself, and the BJP took money from Aurobindo Pharma in electoral bonds, so is it now going to be the Modi Sarkar prosecuting the BJP for having proceeds of the crime? Okay. Should, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it be doing so? So the point here is, it's uh, well, it's not that uh, legal anymore. As I said, it's as simple as that. Election season is on. BJP has gone on an offensive, saying that we are going to have char so par. But unfortunately, a few weeks ago in Chandigarh, they could not even get 37 okay. seats. Respond so somebody who is not three. getting 37 seats, if it needs to get 370 seats, the only way it has is bounce out the opposition. Okay. Intimidate them, intimidate the power Tuhin, position and bounce out the Tuhin, opposition. Tuhin, That's what they are doing. Tuhin, here is the opposition which seems to be united in its attack. Uh, so certainly uh, you have much to explain that this is some kind of dangerous uh, political game ahead of elections? Well, the opposition is united today because they feel that they could be next. There are multiple videos of Congress leaders, be it Ajay Makin, be it uh, you know Sandeep Dixit and many other leaders who have actually confirmed, who have actually you know charged um, uh, the Amati Party with the, with the robbing hundred crores from the executive. They have in fact filed a police complaint against the Amati Party on the same liquor issue. So this only exposes the hypocrisy of the opposition because they know that you know they they feel they are entitled to some form of loot because that is the only thing which binds them together. In fact, even today. Ravneet Bittu, the Congress member of Parliament from uh, from Punjab, has has released a video where he's talking of, of the gross corruption which uh, the Amadmi Party government in Punjab is indulging in. So today, the only reason they're getting united is because they know that you know corruption, a cooperative model of loot and corruption, is probably the only thing that was going to bind them together, and that again is not succeeding because of the action of ED. So, uh, will you uh, come on in this, uh, Anshul? 
the point being made uh, is essentially that this issue which actually the opposition took to the Supreme Court, you got no relief that there has been some alleged misuse of agencies. No, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Deo said uh, that there has been a selective sort of misuse of power. That's absolutely correct. But to take that point a little further, not only has there been misuse of power, but uh, these kind of agencies have been weaponized in order to threaten and intimidate people into giving money. Electoral bond shows that not, not only has uh, people been targeted, but they've been targeted for a pur uh, purpose of extortion. And they're doing that to get people in their side as well. Um, as for you know the hypocrisy, which the, the BJP always holds a moral high ground on the people who they, you know, they think that they be, be, they we were political rivals. Uh, but you must remember that the BJP, the people that have taken into their uh, into their side, had serious cases of corruption. The metaphor of the washing machine is absolutely correct. You switch sides, and then all your um, all the, your clothes that are soiled are immediately washed. So there, there is a double sort of siege over here not only is they used as intimidation but also selection and that is what is wrong with this tyranny of the executive here and it's turning completely totalitarian okay. and that's why he say let, let that me, democracy is being subverted okay let me go back to uh, the experts on the show and Colin coming to the point that has been shared by Arima Sundaram on uh, that there is no misuse of law per se as a lawyer yourself how do you look at the legal arguments which have been put forth by the various parties in opposition in, with regards to these cases? I find it very funny to say that there's no misuse of the enforcement agencies. Right across the country, you have case after case of the enforcement agencies doing exactly what the central government tells them to do. The enforcement agency is supposed to be independent it's not supposed to take orders either from the central government or any other political party. But everyone knows and everyone sees it day in and day out that they've been used to target particular parties at the behest of the central government. When you say level playing field, you mean that the investigating officer will be independent. And I can tell you that in the Adani case, for example, if the investigating officers were in genuinely independent, that is to say they had no connections with the central government and they would not take orders from the central government, that Adani case would have taken a very interesting turn. And I find it so odd that people Please point fingers at the Congress. I don't know if they are corrupt or the not. But the electoral bond out. scheme, I'll just finish in a minute. I'll finish in a minute. Yes. The electoral bond case is a case where the party in power <coughs> prosecutes persons and then the persons come and give you huge bribes in terms of electoral bonds and the prosecution stop. Isn't that corruption at a very high level? Isn't that corruption designed and planned at mm -hmm. the highest levels of the central it's government? The Is a single FIR filed against anybody from the BJP for putting this institutionalized corruption system in place, not a single FIR. And then we say, well, the courts haven't said anything. But you know what happened in the emergency? All kinds of arrests took place across the country, and the courts were silent. Okay. Are we in a similar situation in India today, where the, where the courts are closing their eyes to what every average and ordinary citizen can see and understand okay. the he, tyranny of the central government. It's tyranny you know? is what uh, you know. Colin is saying something that uh, opposition is of the opinion as well that there is no, visible it, it, misuse it, it, and yeah. also that there is no fair investigation per se. You know, it's very shocking and unfortunate that a senior lawyer of the Supreme Court should cast aspersions of the judicial system. That by itself, you know, there are no words to condemn this insinuation. You know, when it comes to electoral bonds, the BJP per se get, has got amount in a ratio which is very proportionate to the number of MPs that, that it has. I think, you know, it is the smaller parties, particularly TMC and DMK, which have a lot to answer. The fact is that, you know, the same people, Future Gaming has, just, has given money to all, probably more money to TMC, more money, money to DMK. And in fact, you know, when you cast aspersions on the, on the courts, you should... You know, at least see the the determination of the of the courts in actually making the the SBI reveal everything. 
There were technical glitches in, in, in revealing all this information in quick time, as Harish Salve had very clearly explained. But the, but, the, but the courts were unrelenting. And yet you blame the court for being biased. Yet you blame the court for being, you know, uh, skewed to the to the ruling party. That's something which is really unfortunate and that needs to be condemned. Okay. Snelata Srivastava, you know, one argument is, uh, and, and you have an opinion to, uh, to talk about this, uh, that the opposition, of course, stood with the, you know, appreciated the judgment of the court when it came uh, with regards to the electoral bonds, uh, calling them unconstitutional and the entire data, uh, uh, the SBI was told to put out all the details. But now, if they do not get relief in various cases of opposition leaders, then it's biased. So I'm just trying to understand how is one judgment fair and the another not fair? Uh. Madam Maria, it's a politics actually, I would say, uh, because uh, everything which uh, opposition is doing, uh, the, uh, the uh, ruling party uh, criticize that, and whatever ruling party does, the opposition parties uh, criticize that. So I think it is, uh, the, it is the same situation, both sides. and. Uh, I will only uh, add uh, one uh, thing that when it comes to the legal battle, the any party, any party should uh, uh, should be very serious about it and should uh, respect the legal process, the courts, uh, the investigative agencies, uh, because that uh, uh, itself goes against the party. Uh, and uh, that they should always keep in mind. Whatever is being asked for, wherever they would, would ask to be present, uh, they should follow that. Otherwise, it goes against uh, them. So they, for that, uh, I think the individual are responsible. Gopi okay. Rawat, since a petition has been filed by the opposition saying that there has been no level playing field in these elections and there has to be efforts that have to be made by the election commission, what can the election commission do? Whatever specific points and uh, allegations are made in that complaint, I think Election Commission will uh, uh, get down to the task of investigating and taking corrective measures if required. So, but can they tell Enforcement Directorate to delay action or can they issue any such instruction to any of the agencies? Certainly, if they find that it is unfair, unwarranted and illegal. They, will, they can definitely do it. And in Karnatak election of 2018, it was uh, done. Okay. Could you give, uh, recall that for our viewers? What exactly was the situation like? Uh, some raids were conducted, uh, and uh, in one of the raids, nothing was found. Election Commission came down very heavily on the department and said, nothing doing, you will not do anything in the name of investigation till the elections are over. Okay. Uh, so, politically speaking now, Nirja, and I'll go back to the three <coughs> politicians on the show uh, for their last comments. You know, there is an advantage or and a double advantage for one political party. Uh, the opposition is worried about its funds. The leaders are behind bars. That's also a fact which is staring, on, staring at all of us. And then there are investigations and raids that are happening. So in run-up to elections, do you think that can be a talking point which will impact the decision of the Aam Admi? Or it will be more mm -hmm. of a talking point in the studios? Look, Maria, that is the central question that hangs out there unanswered today. So far, the, you know, the opposition leaders being targeted selectively by the agencies, I don't think has had traction at the ground level. It has had traction with the opposition leaders, with the politicians. It has even brought them together. But will, it hasn't become an issue, poll issue so far. Hmm. Now, Arvind Kejriwal's arrest in the middle of the election, that is the question to see, will it have traction with ordinary people to say, zyada hi ho hai. Hmm. And I think, you know, much has been said about, you know, uh, the BJP, of course, it is politics. The BJP will, will utilize the chinks in the opposition's armor. The BJP, as has been said, will make hay while the sun shines and has also planned and prepared for, for that sun to shine. But elections are the heartbeat of Indian democracy. The Election Commission even goes to the extent 
of tra transferring officials who may be partisan to allow a free and fair election to take place in India. Hmm. And I think uh, when that gets, you know, you why do I feel unhappy? If the opposition leaders are guilty, they must be punished, even if it's being done selectively, and we see it being done selectively. But I feel unhappy because you're, you are taking away from the level playing field, which is the right of the opposition leaders, no matter how weak they are. And it is the right of I as a voter to ha have that level field ensured. Okay. So, so it, it is that which makes me unhappy. Yes. So the three politicians now on the uh, screen. One, one, one other yes, thing, Yes, please, Maria, go ahead. Say to Sunil, you know, you can call me left, liberal, right, centrist, whatever you want. I don't judge people by, I don't call you right. I don't want to. I will take what you say very seriously and counter that or agree with that. Ma'am, you have covered uh, Indian politics uh, for decades, uh, so I'm sure you understand uh, when you sp when they speak, they speak this way only. Either you are branded as left or right every now and then, so perhaps that's the best part. You're branded by both the sides. Uh, so let me bring in uh, Tuhin Sina, Anshul Abhijit, and Siddharth Sharma. Siddharth Sharma, the question is, of course, before the Ahmadmi Party as well. What next for Ahmadmi Party? Because Mr. Kejriwal has been the central figure. He has been the image, uh, the dominant image. In fact, he has been the Ahmadmi Party. Uh, how do you plan to? take the entire campaigning and everything forward yeah one thing let's be very clear kejriwal is a name as well as an idea because kejriwal is an idea which says that uh, governments should be serving people and not punishing people that is the critical difference between the bjp and amadmi party that the amadmi party sees itself as a service provider a government has to serve people not punish people punishment is a court's job not a government's job and bjp essentially thinks that it is a punisher in chief that makes the critical difference and that difference ensured that even a person like bhagwant man could get 90, 92 seats in punjab amadmi party has has MLAs in four states, it has mayors in two cities, it has public representatives, elected representatives, nearly 1,500 elected representatives in 20 states. How come that happened? Because Kejriwal is an idea which states that people have to be served and people need not be punished. I say this, why? Because if you go to a cricket stadium, people see don't see politics as blood sport. BJP has to come out of this delusion Politics is not blood sport. People go to a stadium not to see blood being spilled. They want to see two teams playing a match fair and square and one beating the other. BJP has taken politics to a level of blood sport and that exactly is what people will be okay. very, very off. Nobody in the stadium goes to see blood being sp spilled okay, either I'll, I'll of this team or that to team. Sina, but before that... Anshul, quickly. No, I mean, uh, the BJP has hit completely terminal panic. I mean, it's extrigating like decades old cases from the woodwork and then slapping disproportionate fines. Absolutely absurd. Arresting chief ministers. This is all to divert attention from the basic issue, which is skyrocketing uh, unemployment here, which is punishing inflation. That's the real issue. There's the manufacturing slump in this country. And you give figures, fudging figures of poverty being reduced to 5%. It's an absolute joke. When you say that you're giving grains to 80 crore people and poverty has been reduced to 5% is an absolute joke. You've thrown the economy under the bus and this is how you're trying to divert okay. attention in order to gain traction. Okay, we will fight the, this election Inzana, with these uh, policies. Some kind of diversionary well, Maria, tactic is what well, uh, Maria, the opposition feels opposition, and that is the reason why we are seeing an unfair match. Well, Maria, this opposition is in a time warp. They need to seriously introspect. The Amadi Party has been the biggest scam in India's political system. They should just go back 13 years and remember how they used to ask for donations from common people, and people used to actually donate. And, and from learn from BJP, so and learn from BJP, salary. and have okay, a bank account, account of Siddharth, electoral bond Siddharth, account of 8,250 crores. I don't Siddharth, want to Siddharth, learn from BJP. BJP okay, has 8,250 crore now. rupees it's worth of illegal money only as per the Supreme the Court. And Tohin is saying, asking me to follow him. Yes. Tohin, go ahead. They were selling a dream which has now turned out to be a scam. And, you know, the same people are so disillusioned today that they are supporting Arvind Keshavar's arrest. As far as Congress is concerned, 
Congress has traditionally relied upon the Dheeraj Sahu model of funding, the 351 crore of cash which was discovered. That has been the traditional model. And so today they feel rattled because the Dheeraj Sahus are being arrested. The Dheeraj Sahus are being, you know, uh, this way over Indian politics has come to an end. So I think these parties need to introspect instead of questioning the timing. The ED follows its own timings in the same way the Supreme Court has followed its own timing in the in the election electoral bond case. Okay, all right. Uh, Nidra, would you like to add and uh, give us the last thought as a veteran no, journalist I, yourself? No, I, I would really hope that this election, you know, the, Mr. Modi is all poised to win for a third term. But, you know, the opposition needs a chance, a fair chance in a democracy that has been so vibrant and we've been proud of India's democracy. I hope it's going to be a free and fair election in 2024. Yes, that's certainly something that we all of us hope for as well. I would thank uh, all the guests, Snehalata Srivastav, Nija Chaudhary, O.P., uh, Rawat, Colin Gonzalez, Siddharth Sharma, Tuhin Sinha, and Anshul Avajit. That's all from me on this edition of The Big Fight. I'll be seeing you next week with another issue. Till then, thanks so much for watching. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app, news that matters to you. Friends, moving ahead for the top story, I've got not one, but in fact, two different new smartphones. These are from the Samsung Galaxy A series. What I have with me is the all new Samsung Galaxy A35. Saath mein Galaxy A55 bhi hai. Both are, of course, 5G smartphones, interesting design, interesting configuration and kafi fresh lag rahe dono phones coming straight from Samsung aur yahan pe Samsung is promising a few things. Sabse pehle ek kafi interesting aur premium design. Second thing is amazing durability because yahan pe on the front and on the back what we have is Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. At the same time yahan pe Samsung is uh, promising a complete awesome security suite along with awesome performance. So let's see up close ki aakhir in dono phones mein Samsung ne kya kuch pack kiya hai. Ready ho jaiye for cutting edge features and a seamless Android experience. Samsung ne India mein officially debut kiya hai the Galaxy A55 5G and Galaxy A35 5G bringing powerful performance and impressive technology to the popular A series lineup. Both devices boast stunning 6.6 inch super AMOLED displays jo jaane jaate hain for their vibrant colors and immersive visuals. With an ultra smooth 120 hertz refresh rate you'll enjoy buttery transitions and log free scrolling whether you're gaming ya fir catching up on shows plus Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus offer karta hai superior protection against those accidental drops and scratches capture your world with incredible detail dono smartphones pack karte hain a triple rear camera setup with the A55 5G sporting a 50 megapixel primary sensor featuring Look, it's a, uh, you know, if you put all of it together, hmm. uh, you have, uh, uh, you know, two chief ministers uh, arrested in cases. 
Arvind Kejriwal after the notification of elections. Now it, it is another matter that yes, he had defied the summons of the ED, but the election process has kicked in, and an opposition chief minister, whatever be the uh, whatever be the facts and figures of the case, you know, we don't know that. And what the ED has got, and what the the counter by Arvind Kejriwal's counsel, but to have you know in the full glare of uh, national glare and international glare, uh, your chief minister of Delhi arrested when election process is on. Could that not have been postponed till the election process was being completed? Uh, I would say that also on other grounds, you know. Of course, the SBI has given the data on electoral bronze again, you know, constitutional validity of it. There are the pros and cons of it. That's another story. But you know, to be Caesar's wife has to be above suspicion in a democracy. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. One day this lecture hall will be made of code. And driverless cars would be trapped in intersections. But even in this maze of the future, you can't wish away health. It's time to become more resilient. Ten years of Banega Swast India, we have grown and achieved so many milestones. And now I have a plan to beat the urgency, to stop breathing with difficulty, to relieve getting choked with inactivity. Energize our government, our environment, our society, and ourselves. Everyone, everywhere, every day. Banega Swast India, One World Hygiene. A debate has many facets, perhaps no one right answer. Left, right and centre, conversations that get to the core of the debate. Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachu, NDTV, big exclusive. We provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation. CGI ka kaam karne ka alag andaz. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night and I'm always available to answer those emails. 25 crore final judgments and orders. This data is available online. As on 29 February 2024, 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode. Chief Justice Chandra Chur se jodi ansuni baate. Saadhi teen baje subeh mera din shuru ho jata hai. My best friend, who is my wife, Kalpana. Both of us are vegans. Khabro mein aapka bharosa. NDTV. फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम नाउ कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूं इन दिस सेक्शन आस्क टीजी एंड दिस इज यू नो वन ऑफ माय पर्सनल फेवरेट्स क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है व्हेन वी कनेक्ट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट गैजेट्स टेक्नोलॉजी यू नो डायरेक्टली वन ऑन वन तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चन आए हैं अक्रॉस डिफरेंट डोमेन्स और मुझे क्या इतनी एबिलिटीज हैं कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूँ Hi technical guru ji so my question is how can we monetize instagram posts okay the monetization on instagram works uh, in two different ways one is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that but i would say the the second method is much more effective uh, would give you much more returns and this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands uh, This is NDTV, and you're watching NDTV 24/7. 
The Kejriwal arrest showdown as the Delhi Chief Minister and the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party is sent to seven-day ED custody. ED calls Kejriwal the key conspirator in the liquor policy case, while the Aam Aadmi Party says ED is being used by the government to win Lok Sabha elections. An opposition delegation makes a beeline for the election. Commission alleges that the center is trying to suppress their voice. Kejriwal's first reaction after his arrest says his life is dedicated to the nation. DMK launches its campaign in Tamil Nadu. Stalin breaks up Union Minister Shobha Karanlaje's Bengaluru blast remark. Stalin alleges BJP is defaming Tamilians. A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP. BJP Legislature Party in Himachal is in a huddle. Chief Minister Sukhu accuses BJP of luring these MLAs. His last visit before the general elections, the Prime Minister visits Bhutan, where he is honoured with the highest civilian award an affirmation of the close ties between the two nations. The visit comes as China continues to salami slice Bhutanese territory. Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV 24-7. I'm Osama Shab. Uh, you're also watching the 10 o'clock news. There is a lot lined up from Kejriwal's arrest to Prime Minister Modi's visit to Bhutan. Our top story today is Kejriwal's arrest. Uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Arvind Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi today where Probe Agency Enforcement Directorate requested for a 10-day custody. Earlier, Aam Aadmi Party ministers Atishi and uh, Saurabh Bhardwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Mr. Kejriwal's arrest last night by the Enforcement Directorate in the Delhi liquor policy case. ED's case is carried out by ED. Why? Because in this country, the PML is a law that has been in the past few years. हमने देखा है कि किस तरह एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है संविधानिक पद पर विराजमान सुचिता का हवाला देने वाला एक व्यक्ति किस प्रकार से प्रशासनिक तंत्र के माध्यम से भ्रष्टाचार को परिभाषित करेगा उसका ब्यौरा मिला अरविंद केजरीवाल और उनके कृत्यों के माध्यम से मीडिया की एजेंसीज और जो वर्तमान में ऑनलाइन दस्तावेज मौजूद हैं ये सभी दस्तावेज और मीडिया चैनल्स पर प्रसारित कुछ तथ्य दिल दहला देने वाले हैं a fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and are likely to join the BJP. One of these three leaders has said that they will contest the elections on a BJP ticket. Earlier, six Congress MLAs had also resigned. Uh, the independent MLAs said Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu has targeted MLAs and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in favor of the BJP candidate in Rajya Sabha elections last month. BJP Legislature Party in Himachal held a meeting today amid developments in Congress. This as Chief Minister Sukhu accused the BJP of luring MLAs. You know that as the people of 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 the 
और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं ये वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिर भी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सी आर पी एफ के सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है और मोहम्मद गजाली जॉइन्स अस टू गिव अस मोर डिटेल्स गजाली फ्रेश ट्रबल्स फॉर द सुखू गवर्नमेंट इन हिमाचल थ्री इंडिपेंडेंट एम एल एज नाउ लाइकली टू ज्वाइन द बीजेपी Yeah, big setback because the same of these three MLAs had supported the government, uh, but they cross-voted in the Raj Sabha polls. And uh, though the numbers are with the Sukhu government as of now, because with the disqualification of the six Congress MLAs, the number of the Assembly House has reduced from 68 to 62, and Congress has 34, which is way above the majority mark. But now with these resignation of these three independent MLAs, and though their resignation has not been accepted, if the resignation is accepted. and if ec notifies by polls on all the nine seats and if the congress manages to just win one of those nine seats then sukhu government is safe but if bjp manages to win all the nine seats then the numbers will be equal in 68 member house bjp will also have 34 and the congress will also have 34 but the the, the threat is not immediate but the threat is imminent for the sukhu government all right uh, mohammad ghazali thank you very much for getting us all those details And Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin launched his election campaign from the central town of Trichy. Stalin will be canvassing for India Bloc candidate, and after launching the campaign, Stalin is set to embark on state tour. But to, on to, uh, today, at the state, uh, start of his campaign, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister launched a scathing attack on BJP, breaking up Union Minister Shobha Karan Laje's remarks uh, on Bengaluru blast. Stalin said. that bjp is trying to defame tamilians listen in endru solli unga tamil nadu ku virodhamaga ellathai senjittu tamil dhan moo tamil enna pradhamar modi neelikka nirvadikkar padikkalama naan kekkara samaskrita valarchikku neenga kodutha nidhi evlavu tamil valarchikku neenga kodutha nidhi evlavu இதை கூச்சம் இல்லாம தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு வந்து சொல்வார் அவர் நீங்கள் வளர்க்கிற வெறுப்பு என்ன பண்ணுதுன்னு தெரியுமா ஒன்றிய பாஜக அமைச்சர் ஒருத்தர் பெங்களூர்ல வெடிச்ச குண்டு தமிழர்கள் வச்ச குண்டுன்னு சொல்றாரு தமிழர்கள் என்ன வன்முறையாளர்களா பயங்கரவாதிகளா நான் கேட்கிறேன் தமிழ்நாட்டு மக்கள் எப்படியெல்லாம் நீங்கள் கொச்சைப்படுத்தி இப்ப பேச ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கீங்க for a time for a very short break more news and updates on the other side hello moto motorola india's best 5g smartphone brand The Kejriwal arrest showdown as the Delhi Chief Minister and the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party is sent to seven-day ED custody. DMK launches its campaign in Tamil Nadu, rakes up Union Minister Shobha Karan Laje's Bengaluru blast remark. A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned. and are likely to join the BJP His 
last visit before the general elections, the Prime Minister visits Bhutan, where he is honoured with the highest civilian award. Talk to you. So friends, it's time now that I will give you the answers to your questions in this section, Ask TG. And this is one of my personal favorites because it's so fun when we connect, when we talk about gadgets, technology, you know, directly, one-on-one. So let's see what we have in this episode. What questions have come from across different domains and what are the abilities that I can give them to them? Hi, Technical Guruji. So my question is, how can we monetize Instagram posts? Okay, the monetization on Instagram works uh, in two different ways. One is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that. But I would say the, the second method is much more effective, uh, would give you much more returns. And this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands. Uh, you have seen YouTube, pe, Instagram, pe, Facebook, pe, all these influencers, they many times collaborate with different brands and se you can monetize your content directly. So, uske liye thoda sa aapko karna padega. you need to make sure that your profile at a certain level. Pe jaye. And uske baad, if you approach brands or if the brands approach you, you can monetize your posts, your stories, your reels, basically whatever content you post. If you are doing this in a partnership with a brand, you can have proper monetization. Oh, well, ab jaake ho sakta hai. You know, in the beginning, when brands just removed the accessories like chargers from the box, so at that time, not everyone had these chargers. So sometimes we saw that the cables are different. Some are lightning, some are USB-C, some are micro-USB. On the other side, sometimes USB-C, sometimes USB-A, etc. But now, with USB-C coming in place, and now that it's been 2-3 years, when it's been a little time, a lot of brands have been removed from chargers. So now I think that yes, it can be a benefit. For example, if I talk about myself, so I have this charger from one of my old laptops and this is I think 3 or 4 years old charger and even today I use the same charger to charge all my devices. But now going forward, when everyone has chargers, I think that it can be difficult. Is it okay to install a third party battery in my MacBook? To be honest, I won't recommend it. The the reason is कि आप अगर एक MacBook की बात करते हैं तो normally the battery should last at least three years minimum you know. उसके बाद अगर आप Mac को और लंबा use करना चाह रहे हैं, which the Mac is surely capable of, तो उस time पे if you install a third party battery saving a few bucks here and there, तो उस time पे ठीक है आपका काम चल जाएगा, but then the experience might not be exactly the same और शायद आप अपने MacBook की lifespan को थोड़ा सा कम कर दें। तो अगर आप एक Apple authorized service center से एक genuine battery install करते हैं, which number one ensures a good Backup at the same time it ensures good safety as well because battery is one of those critical components जहाँ पे you would not want to compromise. तो आप अगर एक genuine part लेते हैं, आपको backup भी अच्छा मिलेगा और आप again आगे आने वाले दो तीन साल तक अपने laptop को easily use कर पाएंगे with great battery. This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view. Because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav, only on NDTV 24-7. talking with very little being said, too many voices but hardly any being heard. You turn to a show that puts you front and center. A show that headlines the stories of the people, by the people, for the people.
फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन बिकॉज यहां to increase use of treated water some stps churn out uh, high quality water but there are concerns over the quality from there so what's the essential water management issues facing the it city pratibaraman finds out on the occasion of world water day Silicon City is setting an example for sustainable methods to meet the shortage of water. Bengaluru's water supply board introduced an innovative program encouraging hotels, apartments and industries to install aerators to reduce water consumption. Whatever the today's consumption will be baseline and after the initiative study days what is the per day consumption as how much it is reduced? that will be measured based on the efforts taken by the hotels or any other commercial establishment or industrial establishment or apartment apartment colony if bulk users fail to follow the orders of the board this would invite 50% cut of water supply and 5000 rupees fine as bengaluru tries hard to conserve and help its parched territories real estate agents are finding it hard to find tenants there as the first demand is kaveri pipeline undoubtedly i think uh, anybody would like to move in where there's a pipe water connection and this goes without saying water which is coming from a pipe is far more easier than uh, having brought 10 floors or you know getting 10 tankers to fill up your sump tank every day to pump this whole thing Next is holy celebrations and the city has decided to stick to dry colors to prevent the taps from running dry. When there is scarcity of water it can spark conflicts. However, Bengaluru has fostered peace with its sustainable use. Can you and I help build an environmentally friendly future together? With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for Indy TV. and former nda ally aia dmk have begun their campaign as their as this after breaking away from uh, their coalition with the bjp aia dmk interestingly has made promises which are similar to dmk here's a report the aia dmk fighting lok sabha elections after breaking away from the bjp makes promises similar to its political rival DMK and much more the dravidian party in the opposition says it would push for merger of gst and cess a supreme court bench in chennai scrapping of need for medical admission the party that helped the bjp enact caa wants lankan tribals included for citizenship அதிகமா இருக்கும் போது விலை உயர்த்திடுறாங்க அந்த கச்சா எண்ணெய் இறக்குமதி செய்யும் போது விலை குறைகின்ற போது குறைக்கிறது இல்ல ஏற்கனவே மத்திய அரசு அவருடைய கண்ட்ரோல் இருந்தது அதே போல எண்ணெய் நிறுவனத்தில் இருந்து மத்திய அரசாங்கம் இதை ஏற்று இதை நடத்த வேண்டும் பெட்ரோல் டீசல் விலை குறைக்கப்பட வேண்டும் அது எங்களுடைய கோரிக்கை அதே போல சமையல் எரிவாயு அந்த விலையும் குறைக்க வேண்டும் போதைப் பொருள் ஒழிப்பு நெகிழி பொருட்கள் நிரந்தர தடை जयलिता they do not directly don't attack the policies of bjp so people of tamil nadu still doubt that you are a b team of the bjp you are there to split votes and ensure victory for the bjp in tamil nadu states the aa admk is a divided house now with the ouster of sasikala dinakaran and ops even after parting ways with the bjp winning the confidence of minorities is a challenge aps hopes his singular leadership will add strength to reclaim the party's lost political fortunes 
In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. The Finance Ministry has said India's economic outlook for the financial year 2025 is bright. In its monthly economic review for February 2024, the ministry said that India's economic growth has surged to a six-quarter high and has exceeded 8% growth for the third consecutive time. GDP growth estimate for financial year 2024 has been revised upwards to 7.6%. The ministry noted that uh, the ongoing disruption in the Red Sea could lead to a rise in oil prices, thereby posing upside risks to inflation and consequently to growth. Prime Minister Modi was honoured today with the highest recognition of the Kingdom of Bhutan. The honour, which affirms the extremely close bonds between India and Bhutan, comes at a time when Bhutan faces an unprecedented threat from China, which unilaterally continues to occupy its territory despite ongoing boundary talks. of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Bhutan is perhaps the award that he has been given. The highest civilian honour, the Order of the Druk Gyalpo, was conferred upon him by His Majesty the King of Bhutan. An affirmation that comes at a time when Bhutan faces a shared territorial threat from China. <laughs> The Jura Rolinchi Modi Koragi Katule, Mache Drulu, the Japjo Rumbe. This statement from the Bhutanese king would have been watched closely by Beijing, which has been trying to extend its sphere of influence in Bhutan by opening an embassy. Bhutan and China do not have diplomatic relations. They are also in the midst of talks to resolve boundary issues. But that hasn't stopped China from unilaterally occupying Bhutanese territory, including areas that are considered the ancestral home of the Bhutanese royal family. Today, the Prime Minister was welcomed by thousands of Bhutanese nationals who lined the road to receive him. The show of affection was clearly evident. <laughs> मैं नहीं जानता हूं कि मेरी योग्यता कितनी है लेकिन आपने जो कुछ भी लिखा है आपने जो कुछ भी कहा है हो सकता है उन मुद्दों को लेकर के उन भावनाओं को लेकर के मैं अपने जीवन को भी ढालू अपने कार्यों को भी आगे बढ़ाऊं ताकि आपकी जो मनोकामना है आपने जो भाव व्यक्त की है उसको मैं भविष्य में साकार करके भारत भूटान को इन संबंधों को नई ऊंचाई पर ले जाने में निमित्त बन सकूं बोथ साइड्स आल्सो एग्रीड ऑन सेवन एमओयूज और एग्रीमेंट्स व्हिच इंक्लूडेड एरियाज लाइक एजुकेशन एंड कोऑपरेशन इन स्पेस भूटान इज आल्सो सेटिंग अप द गेलफू माइंडफुलनेस सिटी which will use a land link to connect Bhutan to Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Singapore through Assam and Northeast India. This is the last visit of the Prime Minister ahead of the general elections and comes less than a week after the Bhutanese Prime Minister was in India for a visit. With Vishnu Som, and camera person GD Shankar in Thimpu, Bhutan, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. And Foreign Secretary Vinay Kwatra held a briefing just a short while back and said that land dispute between China and Bhutan is a matter between two countries. And so far as the boundary discussions between Bhutan and China are concerned, they are a matter between those two countries. Uh, in so far as India's relations with Bhutan are concerned as today's ongoing 
state visit of Honorable Prime Minister very clearly signifies. They stand on their own footing and they are independent of relations with other countries. United States presented its first resolution to the United Nations calling for an immediate and sustained ceasefire in Gaza. However, it was vetoed by That's Russia and China. The resolution was now. also aimed at providing the starving population of Gaza with aid. Moscow had previously backed an immediate ceasefire but vetoed the U.S. resolution, adding that the language in the resolution was misleading the international community and politicized reasons. This draft resolution has not been adopted owing to the negative vote of a permanent member of the Council. Time for a very short break. More news on the other side. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. You. Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app. News that matters to you. Friends, moving ahead for the top story, I've got not one, but in fact, two different new smartphones. These are from the Samsung Galaxy A series. What I have with me is the all new Samsung Galaxy A35. Saath mein Galaxy A55 bhi hai. Both are, of course, 5G smartphones, interesting design, interesting configuration and kafi fresh look at both phones coming straight from Samsung and here Samsung is promising a few things. First of all, a kafi interesting and premium design. Second thing is amazing durability because here on the front and on the back what we have is Corning's Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. At the same time, here Samsung is uh, promising a complete awesome security suite along with awesome some performance. So let's see up close ki aakhir in dono phones mein Samsung ne kya kuch pack kiya hai. Ready ho jaiye for cutting edge features and a seamless Android experience. Samsung ne India mein officially debut kiya hai the Galaxy A55 5G and Galaxy A35 5G bringing powerful performance and impressive technology to the popular A series lineup. Both devices boast stunning 6.6 inch super AMOLED displays jo jaane jate hain for their vibrant colors and immersive visuals. With an ultra smooth 120 Hz refresh rate, you'll enjoy battery transitions and log-free scrolling whether you're gaming or catching up on shows. Plus, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus offer karta hai superior protection against those accidental drops and scratches. Capture your world with incredible detail. Dono smartphones pack karte hai a triple rear camera setup with the A55 5G sporting a 50 megapixel primary sensor featuring optical image stabilization for blur-free shots and the A35 5G bhi disappoint nahi karta hai, offering its own OIS equipped 50 megapixel primary camera. With lenses that support versatility, stunning selfies and expandable storage, ye phones aapke photography game ko definitely elevate karenge. You can now even leave your low battery anxiety behind because dono phones aate hain massive 5000 mAh batteries ke saath and support 25 watts ka fast charging. This lets you power through your day and recharge quickly. Even better, Samsung promise karta hai a whopping 4 generations of Android OS upgrades and an impressive 5 years of security patches. A testament to their commitment to keeping your devices up to date. The Galaxy A55 5G and A35 5G deliver modern design from their sleek lines to vibrant color options and for robust protection. Both smartphones feature IP67 rated water and dust resistance letting you use them worry free. You also get the peace of mind that comes with Samsung's Knox Vault security system for added privacy. So friends, with new features, ke mein, ye jo Samsung Galaxy A35 and A55 hai, dono phones market mein aa chuke hai. and what are really
Good evening. A day after his arrest in the liquor scam in the national capital, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was produced before the Rouse Avenue Court, where the Enforcement Directorate argued that he was the kingpin and the co-conspirator. They've applied for 10-day custody. The proceedings in the lower court came after Mr. Kejriwal's lawyers withdrew his petition in the Supreme Court, choosing instead to work the lower court system. In his first remarks since he was arrested, Mr. Kejriwal said that his life was dedicated to the nation. Calm and collected after his first night in custody. This is Kejriwal's lieutenants took their toughest existential battle to the streets. A beleaguered Aam Admi party left without its patriarch is now fighting for survival. The arrest of the chief minister, a first in the history of Indian politics, has set in motion a chain of events that changes the landscape completely ahead of the big gender elections. With the party's national boss, its star campaigner and the principal vote catcher in ED's custody, all eyes now on his number two and fellow campaigner to take over the reins of the party. Hours after the Delhi Chief Minister's dramatic late-night arrest, Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan met Arvind Kejriwal's wife Sunita and his ministers in Delhi. मुझे ये बता दीजिए टाइमिंग क्या है? ये क्या चाहते हैं? विपक्ष का कोई भी नेता इस इलेक्शन में चुनाव प्रचार ना कर पाए, ये इलेक्शन छीनना चाहते हैं, तो ये भी तो पुतन के रास्ते पर ही चल रहे हैं फिर? ये डिक्टेटरशिप है? From behind bars, Arvind Kejriwal managed to bring together bickering opposition leaders who condemned the arrest in one voice, calling it the murder of democracy. In a rare show of solidarity, leaders from across opposition parties went knocking on the doors of the election commission against what they called the deliberate targeting of leaders. पदासीन मुख्यमंत्री को कल रात को गिरफ्तार किया गया है। हमने एक सूची दी 11 और हाल के रीसेंट उदाहरण, पुराने उदाहरण तो सैकड़ों हैं। वो 11 के 11 एनसीपी से लेकर, टीएमसी से लेकर, कांग्रेस से लेकर, विपक्ष के हर पार्टी पे हैं, जहां पर एजेंसीज का दुरुपयोग हुआ है, गिरफ्तारी हुई है, लेकिन एक भी उदाहरण नहीं है सत्तारूढ़ पार्टी का Less than a month to go for the Lok Sabha polls, an unprecedented constitutional crisis in Delhi, with the capital's chief minister under arrest. Anticipating the arrest, however, Kejriwal had handed over almost all the key ministries to party firebrand Atishi and trusted aide Saurabh Bharadwaj, who are now in charge of running New Delhi. एक ऐसा केस जिसमें दो साल में एक रुपए की रिकवरी नहीं हुई है, उसमें आपने एक सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को बिना किसी सबूत के गिरफ्तार कर लिया है, वो भी चुनाव की घोषणा के बाद, आप ये बताइए कि अभी राउज़ एवेन्यू कोर्ट में, दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में इन समंस की लीगलिटी की जांच चल रही थी, क्या ये समंस uh, is extremely uh, ironic because a person who was given uh, a notice by the enforcement directorate, which is a, a law enforcement agency, four times and chooses to ignore it. And despite the court uh, going to court and the court not upholding his plea that he be uh, let out of this investigation, even then four times Arvind Kejriwal has ignored the ED notice to appear for the investigating this alcohol bribery corruption scam and now to act as if it is some sort of a shock and surprise for a man who started his journey in politics with a crusade against corruption kejriwal's arrest is the biggest dent to his party's qatar imandar image on which the Ahmadi party was founded over 10 years ago at the iconic ramlila maidan with Arvind Kejriwal in custody, the Chief Minister's residence has been turned into a fortress. Arvind Kejriwal, remember, has managed to defeat the BJP in Delhi more than once and conquer two states in just a matter of few years. 
well, while the charges against him are serious, the fact that one of the BJP's strongest political rivals has been arrested days before polls raises serious questions. In New Delhi with camera person Prem Singh, Vedant for NDTV. All right, uh, let's just quickly go across to uh, Vedant Agarwal, who you just saw there. Breaking news coming in. Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to custody. Vedant, what are the details? That's right, Vishnu. Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day custody. Uh, any moment now, Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal would be taken out uh, uh, from the Rouse Avenue Court to the Enforcement Directorate headquarters. It's about four uh, kilometers from this uh, place, and he has been sent to a seven-day custody. Remember, the Enforcement Directorate had asked for a ten-day custody, but usually in matters uh, pertaining to the Money Laundering Act, uh, the court prefers a seven-day custody because remember, the Enforcement Directorate had made arguments uh, about how they want to confront him with evidence, with witnesses, with statements from witnesses and approvers in this particular case, uh, which is why they need a 10-day custody. But the court deciding on a seven-day custody, uh, this is, uh, of course, a senior police official leaving the enforcement directorate headquarters and uh, uh, leaving the Rouse Avenue court. And now Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, motorcade will also, uh, you know, leave uh, the Rouse Avenue court in just a short while from now. Uh, Mr. Abhishek Manu Singhi had made compelling arguments about how this is unconstitutional and how uh, just having a power to arrest does not mean that uh, the agencies go out to arrest each and every opposition leader. But for now, the big breaking is that Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day custody. He will now be taken to the Enforcement Directorate Headquarters from the Rao's Avenue Court. It's now Preeti Sharma Menon of uh, the Ahmadmi Party. Nikhil Mehra joins us. Amitabh Tiwari, uh, Ajay Kumar of the Congress and Shazia Ilmi of the BJP. Preeti, the allegation uh, made by the Enforcement Directorate is that Arvind Kejriwal was directly involved in the implementation of the policy. He is the kingmaker uh, in this entire uh, alleged scam uh, and that um, there was a certain amount of money which the Aam Aadmi Party received which illegally went towards other functions such as funding your Goa campaign. How would you respond? I think that it is very clear to the nation today that the ED is an arm of the BJP and 95% of its cases are against opposition leaders. And the moment those opposition leaders decide to join the BJP, the ED closes the cases, as we've seen in Maharashtra in the case of Chagan Bujbal, we've seen it in the case of Ajit Pawar, they lose the files, they close the case. So if Arvind Kejriwal were to join the BJP tomorrow, obviously this case would be closed. There has not been a rupee found in the so-called liquor conspiracy. So this entire scam is entirely designed to somehow bring down the Amadi party, which is the fastest growing party in India today, the third largest party. And it is shocking that when the model code of conduct has been announced at such a time, they go after the leader of India's third largest party. It is shocking that a sitting chief minister has been arrested and the PMLA laws have been changed to, uh, be, uh, to suit the convenience of the BJP and keep opposition leaders in jail for an infinite period of time till such time as like, you know, some Mr. Bagel or Mr. Ajit Pawar or Mr. Nara. All right, but to the, the specific BJP. question, in fact, Preeti, you're just making one point that there is no uh, evidence which has been found. But in fact, the ED has said, and I quote, we've examined the money trail. The money in Goa came through four routes. These allegations are also corroborated by one of the Ahmadmi Party's candidates. This person was paid in cash. Everything that the BJP, uh, that the ED has claimed is only statements made by approvers. And we've seen the approvers. The moment somebody is accused and then they donate large amounts of money to the BJP through electoral bonds, they are then immediately released and they become approvers. So every the whole, whole case of ED rests on such approvers okay. who have had some kind of quid pro quo relationship with the BJP. All right, that's an allegation. Let me get a, re a reaction from but Shazia Ilmi. There is Ilmi. no other proof. The, not a Shazia, would you like to respond to that? Brigade. People turning approver on the pressure of the BJP is the allegation. Please go ahead. Yeah, Vishnu, that's all you get to hear, like a rehearsed uh, speech, like a stuck record. There are no answers whatsoever when specifics are asked for, which is exactly what ED is saying and, and proving. Whether it's money trail or the forensic evidence or the destruction of evidence or the phone call between Samir Mahindru uh, through Vijay Nair to Arvind Kejriwal, to the meeting of K. Kavita and the South Group, to being given nine zone out of 31 zones, to the entire confabulation and uh, uh, formulation of the policy, which was later, which was later tweaked and then retracted, and not just that, for the profiteering that was done, where the wholesale profit was was increased to 12 percent and 185.
percent to the loss to the exchequer because of the increased sale and consumption of liquor. And despite that, a huge revenue there was loss. There no loss to the exchequer at all. No answers to any of that. Indo spirits. Vijay Nair, Samir Bahindru, uh, Amit Arora, uh, Sharad Reddy, no answers whatsoever. BJP, 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 BJP. Uh, Narayan Rane, uh, Suvindu Adhikari. This is one rehearsed speech when it comes to the actual corruption in the party. And it's rotten to the core. Rotten to the core. That is what this lady here represents. These people are so corrupt. And the fact of the matter is it was born out of an anti-corruption movement. It's a matter of shame that earlier we protested and we went all over against corruption and now this party and its people are going for and corruption. And now Shazia Ilmi has embraced Adhan Pawar. Menon, would you like to respond before I go to my other party. panelists? Just briefly for respond. Yes. Yes, please. Shazia, yes, half a second. Yeah. Uh, Shazia Ilmi has, Shazia Ilmi has, uh, Shazia Ilmi and her party have embraced every person that they have so far called corrupt. And I'm telling you, tomorrow, if we say we want to join the BJP like Shazia did, they will immediately accept them. They will accept anybody who's ready to join the BJP as long as you are ready to puppet what they say, as long as you are ready to be corrupt with them. Let's come to the let's come down to the liquor scam. She made a false accusation over here that there was a lot to the exchequer. Okay, one sec, Shazia. One sec, Shazia. Let us speak. Increased revenues when the excise policy was enforced. Don't you have to take it back because of the federal government? All right, both of you just 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 one second. Both of you, let me go across my other panelists. I can't hear either of you. Let me just go across uh, to Nikhil Mehra. Nikhil, one of the points. Specialty. Okay, okay, hang on. Both of you, they are fighting, so I can't hear. Let me go I'm across to Nikhil Mehra. No, but you I'm are interrupting, uh, Shazia. Hold on one sec. Let me. I'll come back to both of you. Let there be some peace in the interim period. Uh, Nikhil, uh, let me come across to you. One of the points which has been uh, made uh, in the defence of Arvind Kejriwal is, and this is what Abhishek Singh we said in court that there is a pattern, there is a witness who doesn't name Arvind Kejriwal uh, in earlier questioning, in, in, in the initial statement or the second statement. That person is then uh, arrested, his bail is uh, opposed vehemently, and that person ends up being an approver uh, and ends up giving what Singhvi called a brilliant statement. Is this a fact? Uh, whether it's a fact or not, I wouldn't know. I haven't examined exactly how uh, what the remand order is none of us have. Uh, but I, I think what Mr. Singhvi was adhering to is that the evidence of an approver is generally regarded as weak evidence. But, but you have to balance this with something else, which is that when you look at a conspiracy, a conspiracy is generally proved by approval, that is by members of that particular conspiracy. There are only a limited number of people who will be in the know of, of all elements of a conspiracy, and so therefore that kind of information does come from within. But this is an ED case, and in an ED case, you eventually have to establish uh, a trail of funds. And so perhaps that is the thing that will emerge more tomorrow. Because let, let's remember one thing. The Supreme Court had denied Manish Sisodia bail, right? Uh, but at that point in time, the, the existence of the 100 crores going back to uh, the Amadi party for their Goa election, that was still under investigation. One of the primary reasons why it was allowed, or why his bail was denied, what are the 338 crores that was deemed to be the excess profit made by private liquor sellers, wholesalers, was deemed to be pro uh, proceeds of crime. And that there were various conspiracies that were hatched in terms of a 65% market share for just two retailers with a 20% market share for another 14 to 15 retailers. This was a substantial deviation in policy and suggested, therefore, that there would be a substantial kickback. So I think if they are going after Arvind Kejriwal now, it is perhaps in his status as the head of the Ahmadbi party. Uh, and the kingpin status that they are alluding to will be both as chief minister within the government and also his status within the party. Okay. Which means that they must have produced more evidence in relation to the 100 crores of, uh, in relation to the Goa election. Um, Ajay Kumar, uh, every political party, not least of all Cong the Congress, at some stage or the other, fights on an anti-corruption plank. Uh, now, the Aamadmi Party is, a, you know, a party which uh, you, uh, you're working fairly closely with. Certainly, in the Delhi context, you're looking at uh, unity within the uh, the the, uh, the India bloc, as it were. But the allegations are fairly strong. Uh, the allegation is that the total proceeds of the alleged crime according to the ED, exceeds 600 crores. That's 100 crores apparently paid to the Southern Group, which includes K. Kavita, who was arrested last week, the TRS leader. Given the gravity of these charges, 
how do you actually say that uh, you know i mean these are trumped up because there are lots of specifics which the ed has said and so therefore how do you keep supporting and endorsing the aam aadmi party in this situation so vishnu the same question would be to you so that how do you keep not doing a tv show on the electoral bonds i did i did three shows on the electoral bonds three of them my friend like, as you are interrupting me like sasia so let me come to <laughs> the fact is vedanta there was a raid there is a electoral bond grassing there is a raid so the joke i mean i'm hearing all the panelists if you want to have an honest thing raid happens money given to bjp utkal grassim hetero 12 18000 crores so mr modi will be the first person if the, when this government goes down who is the kingpin of the corruption ed does raid and gets money so if you are having the same barometers which are saying that there is a kingpin and money was extorted then what was the enforcement director doing at, apart from enf enforced at, no sajati let me complete madam i'm saying if you have this high moral state of saying that there is a money trail there is a direct money trail for the bhartiya janata party and the raid with utkal cement and grass cement hetro companies which sold expired drugs glenmark were raided no raid anymore money given okay and the important question vishnu as a most enlightened anchor what happened to glenmark after selling spurious medicine was there any action there was a donation no action remdesivir manufacturers who who looted the people of india there was a raid ed raided uh, drug enforcement raided after that no no, no but are you suggesting that no action in a previous the case should mean that there shouldn't be action no, over I'm here i'm suggesting i'm suggesting what let me talk i did in shazia what shazia half a second shazia hold on i'll come to you next shazia came from the congress party and shazia i'll come to you next last let him let him have one or two more sentences going and throwing ajay marks and under the bus no shazia we can't do it like we can't have this sort of a fight hold on one sec i promise i'll come to you next go ahead just finish your point ajay shazia was a very well mannered person before she joined the bhartiya janata party the question again that that's a pot shot that's unfair and she is still very well mannered <laughs> now okay. carry on ajay okay. okay i mean it's a different shazia i'm speaking to of late but anyway i think it no personal thing my question is very simple the country has to know that i agree with what preeti said is where is the recovery i heard one of my colleagues before this said that there is must be money you tell me sir three convictions in uh, the ed cases in the past 10 years three convictions out of 5700 cases the problem is you're becoming putin's russia and all opposition leaders will become alexei navalny and then we will be able to win for this country because this is what you know i want to ask the ed record on this tv channel three convictions sir and we are believing that the the devil of ed is preaching these scriptures no matter let me complete three convictions Ten years, you 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 contract me on that. All right, one second, Shazia, go ahead, reply to that. And yes. Ladies, ladies, Ajay, Ajay, you made your point. Let Shazia reply. Yes, go ahead, Shazia. Friend, who is still very well mannered, despite the fact that he's continued to be in the Congress party, um, <laughs> um, says says here and throws his his colleague Ajay Makan under a bus, who was busy standing, sitting next to Rahul Gandhi, talking about electoral bonds. and it is the same ajay makan who actually talked about the excise policy first it is in fact anil choudhury of congress party who actually brought this to light and the entire excise policy scam was brought to light by the congress party something they were very very proud of so while they will use it in punjab they will actually now i don't know whether ajay has more interest in delhi but the fact of the matter is that it was taken up by the lg on the complaint of a congress member and not the bjp so this is just to point out a few facts might have missed out on mr well mannered akej ajoy ji okay secondly uh, yes. are you talking about putain and all of that these are courts the courts have refused bail to manish sodia the sessions court the high court the supreme court and not once but many times the curative plea was dismissed so you are saying the courts also come under the bjp and the same courts have given bail to your leaders sonia gandhi p chidambaram uh, rahul gandhi and this is the same court 
and the same ED and the same CBI and the same system has not, uh, the same ecosystem has not given bail to... Uh, okay, Manish I get Sota. the point you're making. Let me just go across to Amitabh Tiwari. Amitabh, what happens now as far as Arvind Kejriwan is concerned? Uh, is, it, is he now, is it incumbent upon him to step down as Chief Minister? Because at some stage, would he not have to do that? See, essentially, uh, Ahmadni Party has categorically stated that he would not uh, step down as Chief Minister because he continues to be an MLA. He is not disqualified and not convicted yet. Legally, perhaps tenable, but uh, in the spirit of law and, and constitution, and as an ethical and moral question, perhaps he should he should step down. Now we'll have to see whether the LG intervenes here because the LG and the Aam Aadmi Party do not share a very great rapport. So whether the LG intervenes here, whether the Home Ministry intervenes here, because as uh, we have been reading in reports that he ultimately is also a public servant. So we'll have to wait and see how things fold uh, fold out. Because the battle now is, of course, in the judiciary, where the Aam Aadmi Party, despite making some strong points or arguments, somehow the courts are either not accepting these arguments or the uh, evidence which is being presented by ED is... All right, is Amitabh, I'm just interrupting you now. We're getting some reactions coming in on the developments in court uh, with Arvind Kejriwal. Spriti Irani speaking. Let's listen in. Kejriwal ke vakilo ne nahi kiya. एक और तथ्य बुच्ची बाबू सी ए ऑफ मिस के कविता 23 फरवरी 2023 उन्होंने स्वयं ये स्टेटमेंट दिया कि विजय नायर जिनको अरविंद केजरीवाल अपना माय बॉय कहकर संबोधित कर चुके थे उन्होंने शराब के इस घोटाले के संदर्भ में ये ऑफर दिया कि कुछ पॉलिसी में ऐसा बदलाव हो सकता है जिससे के कविता को मुनाफा हो मात्र ये स्टेटमेंट नहीं है कोर्ट में बुच्ची बाबू जो सीए हैं के कविता के उनके व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस भी उपलब्ध हैं ऐसा कोर्ट के सम्मुख कहा गया तब भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के वकीलों ने इस स्टेटमेंट का और स्टेटमेंट से संबद्ध व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस का खंडन नहीं किया सार्वजनिक रूप से दस्तावेज जो उपलब्ध हैं उसमें कोर्ट में जांच एजेंसी ने कहा कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने घूस मांगी साउथ ग्रुप से उसके संदर्भ में श्री एम एस रेड्डी का बयान पिछले साल का 6 सात 2023 और सात सत्रह सात 2023 स्पष्ट रूप से लिखा था कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने सेक्रेटेरिएट के अपने ऑफिस में 16 दिसंबर 2021 शाम साढ़े चार बजे मिलने का समय दिया स्मृति रानी स्पीकिंग ओवर देयर द आम आदमी पार्टी सीनियर लीडर आतिशी आल्सो रिस्पॉन्डिंग रिएक्टिंग टू ऑल ऑफ दिस लेट्स लिसन इट ईडी के द्वारा केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि इस देश में पीएमएलए एक ऐसा कानून है जिसके तहत बेल मिलना लगभग असंभव है हमने देखा है कि किस तरह एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है 
All right. So the, uh, the the war of words continuing between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP, Arvind Kejriwal. That's the big development in the last 30 minutes uh, has been sent to seven days of ED custody. I'd like to thank my panelists very much for joining us. We're out of time at this stage. We'll take a short break. Come back with the very latest. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. One day this lecture hall will be made of code. And driverless cars would be trapped in intersections. But even in this maze of the future, you can't wish away health. It's time to become more resilient. Ten years of Banega Swast India, we have grown and achieved so many milestones. And now I have a plan to beat the urgency, to stop breathing with difficulty, to relieve getting choked with inactivity. Energize our government, our environment, our society, and ourselves. Everyone, everywhere, every day. Banega Swast India, One World Hygiene. A debate has many facets, perhaps no one right answer. Left, right and centre, conversations that get to the core of the debate. Justice, D.Y. Chandrachu, NDTV, big exclusive. We provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation. CGI ka kaam karne ka lagandaaz. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night and I'm always available to answer those emails. 25 crore final judgments and orders. This data is available online. As on 29th February 2024, 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode. Chief Justice Chandrachur se jodi ansuni baate. Saadhi teen bajay subay mera din shuru ho jata hai. My best friend, who is my wife, Kalpana. Both of us are vegans. Khabaron mein aapka bharosa. NDTV. So friends, it's time now कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूँ in this section Ask TG and this is you know one of my personal favorites क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है when we connect when we talk about gadgets technology you know directly one on one तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चंस आए हैं across different domains और मुझे क्या इतनी abilities हैं कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूँ Hi technical guruji so my question is how can we monetize instagram posts okay the monetization on instagram works uh, in two different ways one is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that but i would say the the second method is much more effective uh, would give you much more returns and this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands aapne dekha hoga youtube pe instagram pe facebook pe all these influencers they many a times collaborate with different brands and wahan se you can monetize your content directly so uske liye thoda sa aapko mehnat karna padega you need to make sure ki aapka profile ek certain level pe pahunch jaye and uske baad if you approach brands or if the brands approach you you can monetize your posts your stories your reels basically whatever content you post if you are doing this in a partnership with a brand you can have proper monetization oh well ab jaake ho sakta hai you know in the beginning when brands just removed the accessories like chargers from the box 
तो उस टाइम पे नॉट एवरी वन हैड दीज चार्जर्स और समटाइम्स हम देखते थे कि जो केबल्स हैं वो अलग हैं कहीं पे लाइटनिंग कहीं पे यू एस बी सी कहीं पे माइक्रो यू एस बी ऑन द अदर साइड समटाइम्स यू एस बी सी समटाइम्स यू एस बी ए वगैरह वगैरह बट नाउ विद यू एस बी सी कमिंग इन प्लेस एंड नाउ दैट इट्स बीन टू थ्री ईयर्स जब थोड़ा टाइम हो चुका है काफ़ी ब्रांड्स चार्जर्स रिमूव कर चुके हैं तो अब मुझे लगता है कि हाँ इसका फ़ायदा हो सकता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माई तो आई हैव दिस चार्जर फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई ओल्ड लैपटॉप दिस इज एन डी टी वी एंड यूर वॉचिंग एन डी टी वी ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन Karnataka Chief Minister warns of severe drought amid Bengaluru water crisis. Chief Minister Sidaramaiah a fresh appeal. Sidaramaiah assures voters he will fulfill guarantees. Karnataka Chief Minister appeals to voters to help party win Lok Sabha polls. Kejriwal arrest showdown as the Delhi chief minister and the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party is sent to 7 day ED custody ED calls Kejriwal the key conspirator in the liquor policy case while the Aam Aadmi Party says ED is being used by the government to win Lok Sabha elections BJP demands that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister An opposition delegation makes a beeline for the election commission alleges that the center is trying to suppress their voice BJP asks is Kejriwal above the law Kejriwal's first reaction after his arrest says his life is dedicated to the nation DMP launches its campaign in Tamil Nadu Stalin react breaks up uh, union minister Shobha Karanlaje's Bengaluru blast remark Stalin alleges BJP is defaming Tamilians A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely to join the BJP BJP legislature party in Himachal is in a huddle Chief Minister Sukhu accuses BJP of luring the MLAs And his last visit before the general elections the prime minister visits Bhutan where he is honored with the highest civilian award an affirmation of the close ties between the two nations the visit comes as China continues to salami slice Bhutanese territory Hello and welcome you're watching NDTV 24/7 I'm Osama Shah but top story amid the water crisis in Bengaluru fresh appeal from uh, the Karnataka chief minister he's warned uh, Sidaramaiah has warned people of the state that there will be severe drought and that there is already work underway to resolve the severe water problem in several areas Sidaramaiah goes on to add that the voters should keep the faith and assures that Congress will fulfill its guarantees and that the people should help them to win the Lok Sabha polls. And Pratibha joins us on the phone line to give us more details. Pratibha, fresh appeal from the Chief Minister. Uh, at the same time, keeping in mind the upcoming Lok Sabha elections because this crisis is definitely going to be used by the NDA. Well, in fact, uh, it also comes on a day when uh, you have uh, both the World Water Day that is also being celebrated, and this comes ahead of the Lok Sabha election. So, keeping both of these in mind, it is definitely a fresh appeal that is made by Karnataka Chief Minister, and he also wants to ensure that uh, what really was witnessed in the state during the assembly election, well, there would be a repeat of history as far as the Lok Sabha election is concerned. and just like they rode on the guarantees with respect to the assembly election he is again banking on the guarantees for the lok sabha election as well while promising that the water problem would be resolved very soon despite a severe uh, drought crisis that the state is undergoing at this point in time and this also comes soon after a press conference that was held uh, earlier today where uh, they demanded a level playing field to contest the lok sabha election talking about how 
the central agencies were being used uh, to skew this and also talking about how the Congress is crippled in the campaign in the run-up to the Lok Sabha election by freezing 11 accounts of the party in different banks. Back to you. All right, Pratibha, thank you very much uh, for getting us all those details. So the Karnataka water wars continue and uh, Chief Minister making fresh appeal. And Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin launched his election campaign for the central town of Trichy. Now, Stalin will be canvassing for India bloc candidate. And after launching uh, the campaign, Stalin uh, is set to embark on state tour. But today, at uh, the start of his campaign, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister launched a scathing attack on the BJP, raking up Union Minister Shobha Karanlaje's remark on the Bengaluru blast. Stalin said that BJP is trying to defame Tamilians. வருகிற <laughs> நீங்கள் வளர்க்கிற வெறுப்பு என்ன பண்ணுதுன்னு தெரியுமா ஒன்றிய பாஜக அமைச்சர் ஒருத்தர் பெங்களூர்ல வெடிச்ச குண்டு தமிழர்கள் வச்ச குண்டுன்னு சொல்றாரு தமிழர்கள் என்ன வன்முறையாளர்களா பயங்கரவாதிகளா நான் கேட்கிறேன் தமிழ்நாட்டு மக்கள் எப்படியெல்லாம் நீங்கள் கொச்சைப்படுத்தி இப்ப பேச ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கீங்க now, after DMK, the former NDA ally, AM, AIA, DMK, have begun their campaign as uh, this after breaking away from their coalition with the BJP. AIA, DMK, interestingly, has made promises which are similar to DMK. Here's a report. The AIA, DMK, fighting Lok Sabha elections after breaking away from the BJP makes promises similar to its political rival DMK and much more. The Dravidian party in the opposition says it would push for merger of GST and CES. A Supreme Court bench in Chennai, scrapping of need for medical admission. The party that helped the BJP enact CAA wants Lankan Tamils included for citizenship. நிரந்தர <laughs> For AIADMK chief EPS, this is the first election under his singular leadership after he ousted his rival OPS. The party lost two elections in fought in alliance with the Saffron Party after Jayalalitha's death. Uh, your leaders, they don't directly attack the Prime Minister Modi. They do, directly don't attack the policies of BJP. So people of Tamil Nadu still doubt that you are a B team of the BJP. You are there to split votes and ensure victory for the BJP in Tamil Nadu states. The AIADMK is a divided house now with the ouster of Sasikala, Dinakaran and OPS. Even after parting ways with the BJP, Winning the confidence of minorities is a challenge. APS hopes his singular leadership will add strength to reclaim the party's lost political fortunes. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. And Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Arvind Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue court in Delhi today where probe agency enforcement directorate requested for a 10-day custody. Earlier, Aam Admi Party ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Mr. Kejriwal's arrest last night by the enforcement directorate in the Delhi liquor policy case. BJP has uh, meanwhile demanded that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister. 
ईडी के द्वारा केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि इस देश में पीएमएलए एक ऐसा कानून है जिसके तहत बेल मिलना लगभग असंभव है हमने देखा है कि किस तरह एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संवैधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले Well, it's been a long day for Arvind Kejriwal at the Rouse Avenue Court, and the court finally deciding to send him to a seven-day custody. So he will remain in ED's custody for the next seven days. This is the court here, right behind me, the Rouse Avenue Court in the national capital, that has ruled that Arvind Kejriwal will remain in the Enforcement Directorate's custody. Both sides made compelling arguments. The Enforcement Directorate's lawyer, as well as Arvind Kejriwal's counsel, remember the Enforcement Directorate made two important points: one, that uh, he is not just a co-conspirator in the case, but also has vi. various liability and at the same time uh, the enforcement directorate's lawyer said in court that Arvind Kejriwal allegedly received 45 crore rupees uh, via this liquor policy case through the south cartel group the alleged south group that has been talked about uh, so of course uh, the enforcement directorate saying that there was a nexus between K Kavita Manish Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal uh, and of course uh, that is something that the enforcement directorate uh, looks to investigate further uh, this particularly after what was found uh, by the enforcement directorate during the course of k kavita's questioning what arvind kejriwal's lawyer had said well several important points one that uh, you know there uh, if a certain agency has a power to arrest it does not mean that it 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 goes out to arrest every opposition leader uh, mr manu singh we also said that uh, you know what really is the need to arrest mr kejriwal at this point and that it's a murder of democracy along with all these points uh, 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 mr manu singh we also said uh, that well all the information that the agency seeks to get uh, Uh, can be obtained without arresting Mr. Kejriwal as well. So these were some of the arguments made. But finally, the Enforcement Directorate has gotten seven days of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's custody, though it had sought ten days of his custody. The political fallout is huge as well, uh, because remember, Arvind Kejriwal is not just the star campaigner and the national convener, but the main vote catcher, the principal vote catcher of the Aam Aadmi Party, and he will he is now under arrest. So of course, a huge constitutional crisis here in the national capital, and also a dent to the Aam Aadmi Party's cut. the demand that image right ahead of the polls but of course the, the more immediate crisis is what's unfolding in the national capital which is uh, now virtually without a chief minister though he continues to be the chief minister the amadni party saying that he will uh, run the national capital from tihar uh, uh, and that is a uh, you know that is something that has many legal complications as well so constitutional crisis in delhi and certainly a political one for the amadni party as well which was founded on the principles of anti corruption over 10 years ago at the iconic ram leela मैदान बट फॉर नाउ अरविंद केजरीवाल विल रिमेन इन द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट्स कस्टडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट 7 डेज इन न्यू दिल्ली विद कैमरा पर्सन पूजा आर्य वेदांत फॉर एनडी टीवी न्यूज़ नाउ फ्रॉम ओडिशा इट इज कंफर्म नाउ द बीजेपी बीजेडी टाई अप फॉर लोकसभा पोल्स इज नॉट वर्किंग आउट बीजेपी सेड इट डिसाइडेड नॉट टू टाई अप विद चीफ मिनिस्टर नवीन पटनायक से बीजू जनता दल आफ्टर द सेंटर फाउंड मेनी स्कीम्स ऑफ द मोदी गवर्नमेंट दे हैव नॉट बीन रीचिंग द कॉमन पीपल सो बीजेडी has now made it official that it will contest all 21 lok sabha constituencies on their own the bjp's decision uh, comes after a big meeting in delhi where uh, odisha bjp leaders convinced central leaders that an alliance with mr patnaik's party would be against the bjp's interest time for a very short break more news and updates on the other side Hello Moto Motorola India's best 5G smartphone brand
प्रेजेंट सो फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम नाउ कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूं इन दिस सेक्शन आस्क टीजी एंड दिस इज नो वन ऑफ माई पर्सनल फेवरेट्स क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है व्हेन वी कनेक्ट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट गैजेट्स टेक्नोलॉजी यू नो डायरेक्टली वन ऑन वन तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चन आए हैं अक्रॉस डिफरेंट डोमेन्स और मुझे क्या इतनी एबिलिटीज है कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूँ Hi technical guru ji so my question is how can we monetize instagram posts okay the monetization on instagram works uh, in two different ways one is that you enable subscriptions and all that but i would say the the second method is much more effective uh, would give you much more returns and this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands aapne dekha hoga youtube pe instagram pe facebook pe all these influencers they many a times collaborate with different brands and wahan se you can monetize your content directly so uske liye thoda sa aapko mehnat karna padega you need to make sure ki aapka profile ek certain level pe pahunch jaye and uske baad if you approach brands or if the brands approach you you can monetize your posts your stories your reels basically whatever content you post if you are doing this in a partnership with a brand you can have proper monetization oh well ab ja ke ho sakta hai you know in the beginning when brands just removed the accessories like chargers from the box तो उस टाइम पे नॉट एवरी वन हैड दीज चार्जर्स और समटाइम्स हम देखते थे कि जो केबल्स हैं वो अलग हैं कहीं पे लाइटनिंग कहीं पे यू एस बी सी कहीं पे माइक्रो यू एस बी ऑन द अदर साइड समटाइम्स यू एस बी सी समटाइम्स यू एस बी ए वगैरह वगैरह बट नाउ विद यू एस बी सी कमिंग इन प्लेस एंड नाउ दैट इट्स बीन टू थ्री ईयर्स जब थोड़ा टाइम हो चुका है काफ़ी ब्रांड्स चार्जर्स रिमूव कर चुके हैं तो अब मुझे लगता है कि हाँ इसका फ़ायदा हो सकता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ तो आई हैव दिस चार्जर फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई ओल्ड लैपटॉप्स और ये आई थिंक तीन या चार साल पुराना चार्जर है एंड इवन टुडे आई यूज द सेम चार्जर टू चार्ज ऑल माई डिवाइस बट नाउ गोइंग फॉरवर्ड जब सबके पास में चार्जर्स हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि इसका फर्क पड़ सकता है Is it okay to install a third-party battery in my MacBook? Mm, to be honest, I won't recommend it. Uh, the the reason is कि आप अगर एक MacBook की बात करते हैं तो normally the battery should last at least three years minimum. You know, उसके बाद अगर आप Mac को और लंबा use करना चाह रहे हैं, which the Mac is surely capable of, तो उस time पे if you install a third-party battery, saving a few bucks here and there, तो उस time पे ठीक है आपका काम चल जाएगा बट देन द एक्सपीरियंस माइट नॉट बी एग्जैक्टली द सेम और शायद आप अपने मैकबुक की लाइफ स्पैन को थोड़ा सा कम कर दें तो अगर आप एक एप्पल ऑथराइज सर्विस सेंटर से एक जेन्यन बैटरी इंस्टॉल करते हैं विच नंबर वन इंश्योर्स अ गुड बैकअप एट द सेम टाइम इन इंश्योर्स गुड सेफ्टी एज वेल बिकॉज बैटरी इज वन ऑफ दोज क्रिटिकल कॉम्पोनेंट्स जहाँ पे यू नॉट वॉन्ट टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज तो आप अगर एक जेन्यन पार्ट लेते हैं आपको बैकअप भी अच्छा मिलेगा और आप अगेन आगे आने वाले दो तीन साल तक अपने लैपटॉप को इजीली यूज कर पाएंगे विद ग्रेट बैटरी लाइफ दिस शो इज इन जस्ट अबाउट न्यूज फ्रॉम द सदर्न स्टेट्स इट्स वन दैट लुक्स एट द रेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम अ डाइवर्स साउथ इंडिया पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिकॉज एनडी टीवी हैज ऑलवेज टेकन द सदर्न व्यू सीरियसली द सदर्न व्यू विद वीरा राघव ओनली ऑन एनडी टीवी 24/7 a stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front congratulations to the public health foundation of india ranked second in a global list of schools of public health well we are really talking about creating a healthy society you can't have a population which is either sick or non productive and expect the economy to really grow well climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in india we are going to be seeing for example non communicable diseases uh, because again uh, of heat as well as water stress we're going to see a lot more people having strokes heart attacks uh, kidney failure cancers
much talking but very little being said. Too many voices but hardly any being heard. You turn to a show that puts you front and center. A show that headlines the stories of the people, by the people, for the people. Welcome back. Uh, a fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and are likely to join the BJP. One of these three leaders has said that they will contest the elections on a BJP ticket. Earlier, six Congress MLAs had also resigned. Uh, the independent MLAs have said that uh, Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu has targeted MLAs and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in the favour of BJP candidate in Rajya Sabha elections last month. BJP Legislature Party in Himachal held a meeting today amid developments in Congress. This as Chief Minister Sukhu accused BJP of luring MLAs. <laughs> जैसे जैसे लोकसभा के चुनाव आते हैं तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिरवी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सीआरपीएफ के सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है the finance ministry has said India's economic outlook for uh, the financial year 2025 is bright. In its monthly economic review for uh, February 2024, uh, the ministry said that India's economic growth has surged to a six-quarter high and has exceeded 8% growth for the third consecutive time. GDP growth estimate for the financial year 2024 has been revised upwards to 7.6%. The ministry noted that the ongoing disruptions in the Red Sea could lead to a rise in oil prices, thereby post posing upside risks to inflation and consequently to overall growth. Prime Minister Modi was honoured today with the highest recognition of the Kingdom of Bhutan. The honour which uh, affirms the extremely close bonds between India and Bhutan comes at a time when Bhutan faces an unprecedented threat from China, which unilaterally continues to occupy its territory despite ongoing boundary talks. of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Bhutan is perhaps the award that he has been given. The highest civilian honour, the Order of the Druk Gyalpo, was conferred upon him by His Majesty the King of Bhutan. An affirmation that comes at a time when Bhutan faces a shared territorial threat from China. <laughs> The Jura Rolinchi Modi Koragi Katule, Mache Julu, the Japjo Rimumbe. This statement from the Bhutanese king would have been watched closely by Beijing, which has been trying to extend its sphere of influence in Bhutan by opening an embassy. Bhutan and China do not have diplomatic relations. They are also 
in the midst of talks to resolve boundary issues. But that hasn't stopped China from unilaterally occupying Bhutanese territory, including areas that are considered the ancestral home of the Bhutanese royal family. Today, the Prime Minister was welcomed by thousands of Bhutanese nationals who lined the road to receive him. The show of affection was clearly evident. हो सकता है उन मुद्दों को लेकर के उन भावनाओं को लेकर के मैं अपने जीवन को भी ढालूं अपने कार्यों को भी आगे बढ़ाऊं ताकि आपकी जो मनोकामना है आपने जो भाव व्यक्त की है उसको मैं भविष्य में साकार करके भारत भूटान को इन संबंधों को नई ऊंचाई पर ले जाने में both sides also agreed on seven MOUs or agreements which included areas like education and cooperation in space. Bhutan is also setting up the Gelafu Mindfulness City which will use a land link to connect Bhutan to Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Singapore through Assam and Northeast India. This is the last visit of the Prime Minister ahead of the general elections and comes less than a week after the Bhutanese Prime Minister was in India for a visit. With Vishnu Som and camera person G.D. Shankar in Thimpu, Bhutan, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Time for a very short break. More news and updates on the other side. Friends, this is what I have for the next one because yahan pe this sleek looking laptop coming straight from Apple is the latest generation of MacBook Air or yahan pe what's packed inside is Apple's new M3 chip now. So ye Apple ne finally launch kar diya hai and what's amazing is that look at this profile. Matlab kitna sleek aapko laptop milta hai at the same time it packs some amazing performance. Here is Apple's latest M3 chip. Hai. It's a fanless design. That's the reason that it's very sleek. Milne wala hai. Quite lightweight. And this, in fact, is the 15-inch variant. The 13-inch variant is a little more and you have a little feel. Hota hai. It's you know, even more portable. At the same time, it packs some serious power because here is memory. Hai, it goes up to 24 GB. The storage can go up to 2 terabytes. We have a proper MagSafe port hai. we have a headphone jack as well at the same time here USB-C ports bhi hai. we have a full-size keyboard a nice 15 inch screen in a very sleek form factor and this packs a six speaker system as well so let's see up close how is this Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip the beloved MacBook Air just got a super power upgrade with the brand new M3 chip. Ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds, longer battery life and mind-blowing AI capabilities. Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip. Imagine kariye ki editing videos, creating music or even casually crushing your enemies in an intense game. Ye laptop kafi asani se ye sab kar hi sakta hai, no sweat. Apple promise karta hai whopping 18 hours of battery life on a single charge. That's almost a full day of work or actually even play. Bina kisi power outlet ki zarurat pade. Talk about freedom. The new neural engine makes this the best MacBook air yet for AI tasks as well. Think about super intelligent photo editing and much more. You can also now hook up two external displays perfect for those who need a big screen workspace like for editing and all. The MacBook Air M3 is a sleek, powerful and undeniably cool way to compute on the go. If you're looking for a laptop that's as light as air but packs a serious punch, it's time to catch this upgrade. Uh, friends, this new MacBook Air ke aane ke baad, do interesting things.
Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app. News that matters to you. Friends, moving ahead for the top story, I've got not one, but in fact, two different new smartphones. These are from the Samsung Galaxy A series. What I have with me is the all new Samsung Galaxy A35. Saath mein Galaxy A55 bhi hai. Both are, of course, 5G smartphones, interesting design, interesting configuration and a lot fresh look at both phones coming straight from Samsung and here Samsung is promising a few things. First of all, it's a very interesting and premium design. Second thing is amazing durability because here on the front and on the back what we have is Corning's Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. At the same time, here Samsung is uh, promising a complete awesome security suite along with all Awesome performance. So let's see up close कि आखिर इन दोनों phones में Samsung ने क्या कुछ pack किया है. Ready हो जाइए for cutting edge features and a seamless Android experience. Samsung ने India में officially debut किया है the Galaxy A55 5G and Galaxy A35 5G, bringing powerful performance and impressive technology to the popular A series lineup. Both devices boast stunning 6.6 inch Super AMOLED displays जो जाने जाते हैं for their vibrant colors and immersive visuals. With an ultra smooth with 120 hertz refresh rate you will enjoy buttery transitions and log free scrolling whether you're gaming ya fi catching up on shows plus corning gorilla glass victus plus offer karta hai superior protection against those accidental drops and scratches capture your world with incredible detail dono smartphones pack karte hain a triple rear camera setup with the a55 5g sporting a 50 megapixel primary sensor featuring optical image stabilization for blur free shots and the a35 5g b disappoint nahi karta hai offering its own ois equipped 50 megapixel primary camera with lenses that support versatility stunning selfies and expandable storage ye phones aapke photography game ko definitely elevate karenge you can now even leave your low battery anxiety behind because dono phones aate hain massive 5000 mAh batteries ke saath and support 25 watts ka fast charging this lets you power through your day and recharge quickly even better samsung promise karta hai a warp it also comes on a day when uh... You have uh, both the World Water Day that is also being celebrated and this comes ahead of the Lok Sabha election. So keeping both of these in mind, it is definitely a fresh appeal that is made by Karnataka Chief Minister. And he also wants to ensure that uh, what really was witnessed in the state during the assembly election, well, there would be a repeat of history as far as the Lok Sabha election is concerned. And just like they rode on the guarantees with respect to the assembly election, he's again banking on the guarantees for the Lok Sabha election as well, while promising that the water problem would be resolved very soon, despite a severe uh, drought crisis that the state is undergoing at this point in time. And this also comes soon after a press conference that was held uh, earlier today, where uh, they demanded a level playing field to contest the Lok Sabha election, talking about how the central agencies were being used uh, to skew this, and also talking about how the Congress is crippled in the campaign in the run-up to the Lok Sabha election by freezing 11 accounts of the party in different banks. Back to you. All right, Pratibha, thank you very much uh, for getting us all those details. So the Karnataka water wars continue and uh, Chief Minister making fresh appeal. And Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin launched his election campaign for the central town of Trichy. Now, Stalin will be canvassing for India Bloc candidate. And after launching uh, the campaign, Stalin uh, is set to embark on state tour. But today, at uh, the start of his campaign, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister launched a scathing attack on the BJP, raking up Union Minister Shobha Karunlaje's remark on the Bengaluru blast. Stalin said that BJP is trying to defame Tamilians. சமஸ்கிருத வளர்ச்சிக்கு நீங்க கொடுத்த நிதி எவ்வளவு தமிழ் வளர்ச்சிக்கு நீங்க கொடுத்த நிதி எவ்வளவு 
நம் நாட்டில் இத கூச்சம் இல்லாம தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு வந்து சொல்வார் அவர் முதல்வர் அவர்கள் நீங்கள் வளர்க்கிற வெறுப்பு என்ன பண்ணுதுன்னு தெரியுமா ஒன்றிய பாஜக அமைச்சர் ஒருத்தர் பெங்களூர்ல வெடிச்ச குண்டு தமிழர்கள் வச்ச குண்டுன்னு சொல்றாரு தமிழர்கள் என்ன வன்முறையாளர்களா பயங்கரவாதிகளா நான் கேட்கிறேன் தமிழ்நாட்டு மக்கள் எப்படியெல்லாம் நீங்கள் குச்சப்படுத்தி இப்ப பேச ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கீங்க Now after DMK the former NDA ally AM AIA DMK have begun their campaign as this after breaking away from their coalition with the BJP AIA DMK interestingly has made promises which are similar to DMK here's a report The AIA DMK fighting Lok Sabha elections after breaking away from the BJP makes promises similar to its political rival DMK and much more. The Dravidian party in the opposition says it would push for merger of GST and CES. A Supreme Court bench in Chennai, scrapping of need for medical admission. The party that helped the BJP enact CAA wants Lankan Tamils included for citizenship. அந்த கச்சா எண்ணெய் இறக்குமதி செய்யும் போது விலை குறைகின்ற போது குறைக்கிறது இல்ல ஏற்கனவே மத்திய அரசு அவருடைய கண்ட்ரோல் இருந்தது அதே போல எண்ணெய் நிறுவனத்தில் இருந்து மத்திய அரசாங்கமே இதை ஏற்று இதை நடத்த வேண்டும் பெட்ரோல் டீசல் குறைக்கப்பட வேண்டும் அது எங்களுடைய கோரிக்கை அதே போல சமையல் எரிவாயு அந்த விலையும் குறைக்க வேண்டும் போதை பொருள் ஒழிப்பு நெகிழி பொருட்கள் நிரந்தர தடை For AIADMK Chief EPS, this is the first election under his singular leadership after he ousted his rival OPS. The party lost two elections in 14 alliance with the Saffron Party after Jai Lalita's death. Uh, your leaders, they don't directly attack the Prime Minister Modi. they do not directly don't attack the policies of bjp so people of tamil nadu still doubt that you are b team of the bjp you are there to split votes and ensure victory for the bjp in tamil nadu states the ai admk is a divided house now with the ouster of sasikala dinakaran and ops even after parting ways with the bjp Winning the confidence of minorities is a challenge. APS hopes his singular leadership will add strength to reclaim the party's lost political fortunes. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Fight the TV. And Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Arvind Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi today where probe agency enforcement directorate requested for a 10-day custody. Earlier, Aam Aadmi Party Ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Mr. Kejriwal's arrest last night by the enforcement directorate in the Delhi liquor policy case. BJP has uh, meanwhile demanded that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister. ED ke dwara case karwaye jate hain. Kyun? Kyunki is desh mein PMLA ek aisa kanoon hai jiske tahat bail milna lagbhag asambhav hai. Humne dekha hai ke kis tarah ek ke baad ek ek ke baad ek vipaksh ke sare netaon par ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संविधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर, जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले 
Well, it's been a long day for Arvind Kejriwal at the Rouse Avenue Court, and the court finally deciding to send him to a seven-day custody. So he will remain in ED's custody for the next seven days. This is the court here, right behind me, the Rouse Avenue Court in the National Capital, that has ruled that Arvind Kejriwal will remain in the Enforcement Directorate's custody. Both sides made compelling arguments. The Enforcement Directorate's lawyer, as well as Arvind Kejriwal's counsel, remember the Enforcement Directorate made two important points: one, that uh, he is not just a co-conspirator in the case, but also has vicarious precarious liability and at the same time uh, the enforcement director's lawyer said in court that Arvind Kejriwal allegedly received 45 crore rupees uh, via this liquor policy case through the South Cartel group, the alleged South group that has been talked about. Uh, so of course uh, the enforcement director saying that there was a nexus between K. Kavita, Manish Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal uh, and of course uh, that is something that the enforcement director uh, looks to investigate further. Uh, this particularly after what was found uh, by the enforcement director during the court of K. Kavita's questioning. What Arvind Kejriwal's lawyer had said? Well, several important points. One, that uh, you know, there, uh, if a certain agency has a power to arrest, it does not mean that it, it, it goes out to arrest every opposition leader. Uh, Mr. Manu Singh, we also said that uh, you know, what really is the need to arrest Mr. Kejriwal at this point and that it's a murder of democracy. Along with all these points, uh, 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 Mr. Manu Singh, we also said uh, that well, all the information that the agency seeks to get uh, can be obtained without arresting Mr. Kejriwal as well. So these were some of the arguments made, but finally, the Enforcement Directorate has gotten seven days of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's custody, though it had sought ten days of his custody. The political fallout is huge as well. Uh, because remember, Arvind Kejriwal is not just the star campaigner and the national convener, but the main vote catcher, the principal vote catcher of the Ahmadi Party, and he will he is now under arrest. So of course, a huge constitutional crisis here in the national capital, and also a dent to the Ahmadi Party's cut that image right ahead of the polls but of course the, the more immediate crisis is what's unfolding in the national capital which is uh, now virtually without a chief minister though he continues to be the chief minister the Ahmadi party saying that he will uh, run the national capital from Tihar uh, uh, and that is a uh, you know that is something that has many legal complications as well so constitutional crisis in Delhi and certainly a political one for the Ahmadi party as well which was founded on the principles of anti-corruption over 10 years ago at the iconic Ramli Maidan, but for now, Arvind Kejriwal will remain in the Enforcement Directorate's custody for the next seven days. In New Delhi with camera person Pooja Arya, Vedant for NDTV. Meanwhile, Delhi Chief Minister has filed an application in uh, the Rouse Avenue Court. Uh, Kejriwal has sought the removal of a cop from his security. Uh, in his plea, Kejriwal has said that the cop has misbehaved on the way to the court. Delhi Chief Minister has claimed that this is a repeat offence by this cop and he is the same cop who misbehaved with Manish Sisodia as well. News now from uh, Odisha. It is confirmed now the BJP-BJD tie-up for Lok Sabha polls is not working out. BJP said it decided uh, not to tie up with Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik's Biju Janata Dal after the centre found many schemes of the Modi government. Uh, they have not been reaching the common people. So BJD has now made it official that it will contest all 21 Lok Sabha constituencies on their own. The BJP's decision uh, comes after a big meeting in Delhi where uh, Odisha BJP leaders convinced central leaders that an alliance with Mr. Patnaik's party would be against the BJP's interest. Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live. Listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app. News that matters to you. Friends, moving ahead for the top story, I've got not one, but in fact, two different new smartphones. These are from the Samsung Galaxy A series. What I have with me is the all new Samsung Galaxy A35. Saat mein Galaxy A55 bhi hai. Both are, of course, 5G smartphones, interesting design, interesting configuration and fresh looking phones coming straight from Samsung and here 
Samsung is promising a few things. सबसे पहले एक काफी इंटरेस्टिंग और प्रीमियम डिजाइन सेकेंड थिंग इज अमेजिंग ड्यूरेबिलिटी बिकॉज यहां पर ऑन द फ्रंट एंड ऑन द बैक वॉट वी हैव इज कॉर्निंग्स गुडा ग्लास विक्टर्स प्लस एट द सेम टाइम यहां पर सैमसंग इज प्रोमिसिंग अ कंप्लीट ऑसम सिक्योरिटी स्वीट अलॉन्ग विद ऑसम परफॉर्मेंस तो लेट्स अब क्लोज के आखिर इन दोनों फोन में सैमसंग ने क्या कुछ पैक किया है रेडी हो जाइए फॉर कटिंग एज फीचर ग्लास Plus offer karta hai superior protection against those accidental drops and scratches. Capture your world with incredible detail. Dono smartphones pack karte hain a triple rear camera setup with the A55 5G sporting a 50 megapixel primary sensor featuring optical image stabilization for blur free shots and the A35 5G B disappoint nahi karta hai offering its own OIS equipped 50 megapixel primary camera with lenses that support versatility, stunning selfies and expandable storage. Ye phones aapke photography game ko definitely elevate karenge. You can now even leave your low battery anxiety behind because dono phones aate hain massive 5000 mAh batteries ke sath and support 25 watts ka fast charging. This lets you power through your day and recharge quickly. Even better, Samsung promise karta hai a whopping four generations of Android OS upgrades and an impressive five years of security patches. A testament to their commitment to keeping your devices up to date. The Galaxy A55 5G and A35 5G deliver modern design from their sleek lines to vibrant color options and for robust protection. Both smartphones feature IP67 rated water and dust resistance, letting you use them worry free. You also get the peace of mind that comes with Samsung's Knox Watch security system for added privacy. So friends, अभी नए features के साथ में ये जो Samsung Galaxy A35 है और A55 है दोनों phones market में आ चुके हैं and what I really like. myself is this new design language feels like a premium samsung flagship smartphone in fact the software has tons of features aur yahan pe jo price hai for galaxy a35 it starts at 27000 rupees and for the galaxy a55 it starts at 39000 rupees and this is in fact the effective price with all the bank offers included to mujhe lagta hai at this price these phones are definitely a new fresh you know uh, air coming in because kafi को अच्छा फील होता है यू नो स्पेशली यू नो ऑल द सैमसंग फीचर्स बेक्ड इन a stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front congratulations to the public health foundation of india ranked second in a global list of schools of public health well we are really talking about creating a healthy society you can't have a population which is either sick or non productive and expect the economy to really grow well climate change Welcome back uh, a fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh three independent MLAs have resigned and are likely to join the BJP one of these three leaders has said that they will contest the elections on a BJP ticket earlier six Congress MLAs had also resigned the independent MLAs have said that uh, chief minister sukhinder singh sukhu has targeted mlas and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in the favor of bjp candidate in rajya sabha elections last month bjp legislature party in himachal held a meeting today amid developments in congress this as chief minister sukhu accused bjp of luring mlas <laughs> लोकसभा के चुनाव आते हैं तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिरवी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे 
और आ भी सी आर पी एफ की सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है The finance ministry has said India's economic outlook for uh, the financial year 2025 is bright. In its monthly economic review for uh, February 2024, uh, the ministry said that India's economic growth has surged to a six-quarter high and has exceeded 8% growth for the third consecutive time. GDP growth estimate for the financial year 2024 has been revised upwards to 7.6%. The ministry noted that the ongoing disruptions in the Red Sea could lead to a rise in oil prices, thereby posing upside risks to inflation and consequently to overall growth. Prime Minister Modi was honoured today with the highest recognition of the Kingdom of Bhutan. The honour, which uh, affirms the extremely close bonds between India and Bhutan, comes at a time when Bhutan faces an unprecedented threat from China, which unilaterally continues to occupy its territory despite ongoing boundary talks. of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Bhutan is perhaps the award that he has been given. The highest civilian honour, the Order of the Druk Gyalpo, was conferred upon him by His Majesty the King of Bhutan. An affirmation that comes at a time when Bhutan faces a shared territorial threat from China. <laughs> The Jura Rolinchi Modi Koragi Katule, Mache Julu, the Japjo Rimumbe. This statement from the Bhutanese king would have been watched closely by Beijing, which has been trying to extend its sphere of influence in Bhutan by opening an embassy. Bhutan and China do not have diplomatic relations. They are also in the midst of talks to resolve boundary issues. But that hasn't stopped China from unilaterally occupying Bhutanese territory, including areas that are considered the ancestral home of the Bhutanese royal family. Today, the Prime Minister was welcomed by thousands of Bhutanese nationals who lined the road to receive him. The show of affection was clearly evident. <laughs> मैं नहीं जानता हूं कि मेरी योग्यता कितनी है लेकिन आपने जो कुछ भी लिखा है आपने जो कुछ भी कहा है हो सकता है उन मुद्दों को लेकर के उन भावनाओं को लेकर के मैं अपने जीवन को भी ढालू अपने कार्यों को भी आगे बढ़ाऊं ताकि आपकी जो मनोकामना है आपने जो भाव व्यक्त की है उसको मैं भविष्य में साकार करके भारत भूटान को इन संबंधों को नई ऊंचाई पर ले जाने में निमित्त बन सकूं। बोथ साइड ऑल्सो अग्रीड ऑन सेवन एम ओ यूज और अग्रीमेंट्स विच इंक्लूडेड एरियाज लाइक एजुकेशन एंड कोऑपरेशन इन स्पेस भूटान इज ऑल्सो सेटिंग अप द गेलफू माइंडफुलनेस सिटी which will use a land link to connect Bhutan to Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Singapore through Assam and Northeast India.
This is the last visit of the Prime Minister ahead of the general elections and comes less than a week after the Bhutanese Prime Minister was in India for a visit. With Vishnu Som and camera person G.D. Shankar in Thimpu, Bhutan, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Time for a very short break. More news and updates on the other side. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. One day this lecture hall will be made of coal. And driverless cars would be trapped in intersections. But even in this maze of the future, you can't wish away health. It's time to become more resilient. Ten years of Banega Swast India, we have grown and achieved so many milestones. And now I have a plan to beat the urgency, to stop breathing with difficulty, to relieve getting choked with inactivity. Energize our government, our environment, our society, and ourselves. Everyone, everywhere, every day. Banega Swast India. One World Hygiene. A debate has many facets. Perhaps no one right answer. Left, right and centre. Conversations that get to the core of the debate. Justice, D.Y. Chandrachu, NDTV, big exclusive. We provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation. CGI ka kaam karne ka alag andaz. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night and I'm always available to answer those emails. 25 crore final judgments and orders. This data is available online. As on 29th February 2024, 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode. Chief Justice Chandra Chur se jodi ansuni baate. Saadhi tiyan bajay subay mera din shuru ho jata hai. My best friend, who is my wife, Kalpana. Both of us are vegans. Khabro mein aapka bharosa, NDTV. फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम नाउ कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूं इन दिस सेक्शन आस्क टीजी एंड दिस इज यू नो वन ऑफ माय पर्सनल फेवरेट्स क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है व्हेन वी कनेक्ट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट गैजेट्स टेक्नोलॉजी यू नो डायरेक्टली वन ऑन वन तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चंस आए हैं अक्रॉस डिफरेंट डोमेन्स और मुझे क्या इतनी एबिलिटीज हैं कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूं Hi technical guru ji so my question is how can we monetize instagram posts okay the monetization on instagram works uh, in two different ways one is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that but i would say the the second method is much more effective uh, would give you much more returns and this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands aapne dekha hoga youtube pe instagram pe facebook pe all these influencers they many times collaborate with different brands and wahan se you can monetize your content directly so uske liye thoda sa aapko mehnat karna padega you need to make sure ki aapka profile ek certain level pe pahunch jaye and uske baad if you approach brands or if the brands approach you you can monetize your post your stories your reels basically whatever content you post if you are doing this in a partnership with a brand you can have proper monetization oh well ab jaake ho sakta hai you know in the beginning when brands just removed the accessories like chargers from the box तो उस टाइम पे नॉट एवरीवन हैड दीज चार्जर्स और समटाइम्स हम देखते थे कि जो केबल्स हैं वो अलग हैं कहीं पे लाइटनिंग कहीं पे यू सी कहीं पे माइक्रो यू ऑन द अदर साइड समटाइम्स यू एस बी सी समटाइम्स यू एस बी ए वगैरह वगैरह बट नाउ विद यू एस बी सी कमिंग इन प्लेस एंड नाउ दैट
This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV 24-7. TV and I'm Maria Shakil. Three events, though disconnected, has made the opposition say that there is no level playing field in the Lok Sabha polls. We'll examine if the charge is justified on the big fight tonight. Let me tell you about these events. First, the most recent one. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in his alleged role in the Delhi liquor policy case. Amadmi Party and the entire opposition has called it unconstitutional. His arrest as unconstitutional and that it is targeting of opposition ahead of polls. Kejriwal is the second chief minister from India bloc to be arrested in recent months. His arrest has united the anti-BJP coalition which has been struggling to set aside their differences over seat sharing arrangements. The arrest coming on the day, the Congress brass said that systematic effort to cripple the party financially is being made. Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Congress President Malikarjun Khadge, flanked by Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh and AICC Treasurer Ajay Markan addressed a press conference and said that the Congress was unable to conduct normal campaign activities like paying its workers, publishing pamphlets and booking advertisement slots. Sources say that IT department moved to recover 135 crore on March 16th, only after various appellate authorities dismissed the Congress's stay plea and the Delhi High Court also rejected its appeal on March 13th with adverse remarks. And all these developments coming at a time when the opposition had welcomed the Supreme Court February 15th judgment of declaring electoral bonds unconstitutional. Over the last few days, the SBI, that is the State Bank of India, has submitted details to the Election Commission. The larger sense is that in this move to ensure transparency and level playing field in political donation, the BJP has been the biggest beneficiary of these bonds. Today, opposition leaders visited the Election Commission. They have petitioned the poll panel over alleged misuse of ED, CBI and income tax. They have claimed that there is a concerted effort to stifle opposition voices and that it is imperative for the election commission to ensure a level playing field. So with weeks to go for the polls, is the opposition justified in saying that the BJP has an unfair advantage in these polls and can the election commission ensure level playing field? Joining me on the show, Anshul Avajit is the spokesperson of the Congress party here in the studio, Tuheen Sinha, national spokesperson of the BJP, uh, we have Siddharth Sharma from Ahmadmi Party, Colin Gonzalez, senior advocate of the Supreme Court, O.P. Rawat, former CEC, Nirja Chaudhary, senior journalist, and Snehalata Srivastav is constitutional expert. O.P. Rawat, beginning with you, how can the election commission, for the sake of democratic process and to ensure a free and fair election, ensure level playing field? In fact, election commission is do, is doing every bit to ensure level playing field by uh, enforcing model code of conduct by pointing out wherever the violations are like uh, meti circulating the letter of uh, viksit bharat so i think election commission is doing uh, every bit uh, however these incidents like arrests like uh, judgment on uh, electoral bond information given on electoral bond that timing is uh, not in the control of election commission and therefore one one can't really uh, put the blame on at the doorstep of election commission okay so election commission cannot be blamed but in terms of perception because uh, we are in the game of per perception before i bring in the politicians i want to understand from you nirja chaudhary and also from colin gonzalez <laughs> Is there a violation of constitutional rights, Colin, coming to you first? Because uh, the opposition says that there is a pattern, but in all these cases, none of these, you know, the, the political parties, be it of the freezing of accounts or in case of arrest of Mr. Kejriwal, they got any relief from courts. 
Colin. Well, I'm not surprised, actually. Hmm. Because I'm not surprised at all because the Supreme Court today is not like the Supreme Court as it was in the earlier days, a robust institution standing up for human rights and being able to take on the government. The strange thing today is that the Supreme Court has surrendered to the government. Not all benches, not all judges, but largely the Supreme Court is silent when the government overrules its decisions like in the election case. The appointment of election commissioners, the Supreme Court said the Chief Justice of India should be one of the three persons. And you have a frightening situation where a government overrules the Supreme <clears throat> Court. And even more frightening is the fact that after this happens, the Supreme Court is absolutely silent. Okay. So we are going through an emergency. It's not Arvind Kejriwal or Sisodi or anybody else. This is an emergency situation. This is the second emergency. And like the first emergency, the judges are bending in favor of the government. And that is not a good thing to go through for a nation like India. Not a good thing for democracy. Okay. Uh, Nirja Chaudhary, your opening <coughs> comments? Look, it's, uh, uh, you know, if you put all of it together, hmm. uh, you have... Uh, uh, you know, two chief ministers uh, arrested in cases. Arvind Kejriwal after the notification of elections. Now, it's, it is another matter that, yes, he had defied the summons of the ED, but the election process has kicked in and an opposition chief minister, whatever be the, uh, whatever be the facts and figures of the case, you hmm. know, we don't know that. And what the ED has got, and what the the counter by Arvind Kejriwal's counsel, but to have you know in the full glare of uh, national glare and international glare, uh, your chief minister of Delhi arrested when election process is on, could that not have been postponed till the election process was being completed? Uh, I would say that also on other grounds, you know. Of course, the SBI has given the data on electoral bronze. Again, you know, constitutional validity of it. There are the pros and cons of it. That's another story. But you know, to be Caesar's wife has to be above suspicion in a democracy. And therefore, you know, uh, yes, the prime minister will want to cleanse corruption, and we hear that that is going to be a major plank of his his in the in his third term if he comes back to power. Hmm. But, you know, the, you, you're absolutely, the key words that you've used are level playing field. And the accounts of the major opposition party gets frozen again in election time. So how fair is it? What is the impression it gives? What is going to be the reaction of people? The calculation, obviously, by the ruling party, there's going to be little reaction. And if there is reaction, yes. they will ride the storm. Well, but that, those are different considerations. But the long-term impact on our democratic structure and on the holding of free and fair elections, yes, it's it's not a situation that makes you happy. Okay, Snelata Srivastava, as a constitution expert, how are you viewing the developments uh, of recent weeks? Uh, you have, for the first time in Indian political history, that a chief minister is behind bars. He has not resigned. That was in the in case of Heman Soren, he resigned and then he was arrested by the enforcement directorate. Mr. Kejriwal, even today, holds the position of the Delhi chief minister. Uh, you see, if you ask me as an expert, uh, uh, the constitution does not uh, have any provision saying that the chief minister uh, in position cannot be arrested. Uh, the thing is that it is the, uh, the uh, moral responsibility of any individual who is on the seat or, or on any important position to decide about uh, their own uh, you know, uh, doing. So uh, it is uh, uh, on the individual uh, chief minister uh, in, uh, earlier also, I, I am told that uh, one of the chief ministers did not resign. And uh, similarly, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is deciding not to resign. 
So, uh, in the constitution, there is no such thing written. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but it is the moral uh, thing which uh, is uh, okay. uh, up to the individual. Okay. Anshul Abhijit, coming to you. If we look at this uh, freezing of account, because uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi has been uh, very, has used some very sharp words to say that this is not freezing of account of the Congress party, but freezing of uh, some kind of democracy as well. But the larger question here is that the Congress did not... Uh, allow the income tax department to do its job so it's not a new case it's an ongoing case and if you look at what the delhi high court said they have they have had some very sharp uh, observations to make no so it, then does, does it justify what is happening on the eve of the elections i mean th this is not hyperbole the freezing of indian democracy indian democracy is under siege you know, you use the right word, level playing field. We seem to forget that there is a basic structure of the Constitution in which holding free and fair <laughs> elections is a part of that. And whenever that there is an infringement in that process, which is happening now, you know, by freezing our accounts, by the unprecedented act of arresting chief ministers here, and a number of other things which this, uh, this government is doing, by the tyranny of its executive powers, that that's exactly what it's happening. Uh, the tyranny of the executive in which the worst instincts which counter democracy are coming to the fore, well, it's not a uh, level playing field at all. And when it's nev not a level playing field, when you throw the opposition in quicksand, when Indian democracy is under siege, when you use the holy trinity of CBI, of okay. income tax I'm and looking ED. At, I'm looking at what the observations were made by the court today while dismissing uh, petitions which were filed by your party against uh, tax reassessment. The income tax department appears to have collated substantial and concrete evidence against Congress to warrant further scrutiny and examination of its income. And in fact, they have talked about how uh, there is a detailed pay payments which have been made. So any kind of, uh, you know, to, to, to look at it from the point of conspiracy, how fair is it? No, the, uh, there is a process for going about these things. On the eve of an election, if the mm -hmm. largest opposition party's accounts are frozen, there is nothing suspicious about it. Okay, there's nothing But when 97% when, when of the cases of ED are directed against opposition, nothing suspicious about it. When a couple of chief ministers are arrested on the eve of the election, the general election, nothing suspicious about it. Okay. There is an element of suspicion, of doubt so in the Sina, entire process. So, Hinsina, first respond to the Congress's charge of uh, not ensure uh, of freezing their accounts and then I bring in uh, the Ahmadmi party well good evening uh, Maria good evening everybody you know the inconsistency of the opposition parties and some of uh, the left liberal journalists like Nirja ji is quite amusing on the one hand they say how can you arrest a CM on the eve of elections but at the same time when the SBI had requested for time till June 30th to furnish uh, you know uh, for furnishing all the details regarding uh, electoral bond, citing the same reason that election um, is underway, you know, they had a major problem with that. Now, let us look at each of these. When it comes to electoral bonds, we have been repeatedly saying that we have nothing to hide. And when now the details have come out, it is parties like DMK and TMC have more to answer than us. But any which way, it is way better than, you know, the cash formula, the Hawala money, which used to uh, play a major role in the Congress era. When it comes to Arvind Kejival's arrest, you know, there was a trail. Nine I'm coming to you in just a him. bit because Nine. the level playing field, uh, absence of it has been leveled by all the opposition. Let's begin with the freezing of accounts and then I come to Mr. K. G. Vaza. Well, you yourself cited the, you know, the, the, the court ruling today. There has been, the, the, the Congress has been repeatedly approaching the courts if they feel that defiance and non payment, you know, if they feel they're entitled to it, that's their problem. And only a part of their uh, funds are frozen. You know, if Rahul Gandhi says that they don't have money to buy the tickets, he's actually confirming that it is people like Dheerat Sahu who are still probably funding the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra and whatever. So I think, first of all, Congress needs to be honest with the facts. From 94, 95, they had multiple <laughs> opportunities to address the situation in various courts, but they kept defying court orders. Even today, the court order very specifically mentions that the income tax uh, department has collated enough information to make a case, and that they, sh you know, the, uh, their plea doesn't stand, doesn't hold any ground. But the Congress is saying that this is a three-decade-old uh, matter. Could you confirm no, so what exactly is that's, this? 
the congress had opportunities to settle it even you know uh, i think to my understanding even 2016 the court had uh, passed a ruling they had multiple opportunities to settle it if they refuse to settle it even today i repeat only a part of the funds is frozen and you know the myth which they are propagating <laughs> holds no ground okay now coming to siddharth sharma siddharth sharma arvind kejriwal uh, skipped nine summons when you approached the delhi high court for protection from arrest that was not something that the you know the court gave <coughs> so ed if it is taking action and of course you talk about the timing but had he not skipped those summons perhaps it would have been a different scenario today and if we were to look at the ed remand copy uh, they they claim to have some some strong evidence against the chief minister yeah uh, maria uh, let me at the very outset uh, tell you a little bit jokingly that a dead man walking gets his uh, preferred meal so i deserve that as an accused today sitting on the hot seat i believe i'll just try to take that little bit of margin so why why cases against mr arvind kejriwal or opposition leaders on under pmla only the pmla was strengthened to satisfy global financial action task force that is called as the fatf to stop terror funding through money laundering the government of the day also has to report to the global body called fatf the pmla's draconian provisions reserved for terror funding arms trading and drug peddling for money laundering have been hoisted on opposition ch chief ministers like mr arvind kejriwal why is it so just because to stop a bilingual national leader from campaigning across india during these elections I, 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 trying to make it a simplified thing it is like me or uh, tohin from bjp asking virat kohli to play a match with me and once i come to know that i cannot get him out i try to bounce him out and injure him it is as simple as that now as far as your technical question is concerned about the ed getting a remand uh the I, i'll state only five sentences and all of them will be facts no conjectures hmm. ed confessed to court today that after two years there is no money trail hence they want arvind kejriwal's remand well the firm of the accused arobindo pharma brought bought uh, electoral bonds worth 30 crore and gave them away to the bjp the main accused was allowed to turn approver from an accused hmm. subsequently the money trail has been recovered this money trail leads directly to the bjp isn't it so okay let me ask tohin to respond to this no no see when it comes to uh, when it comes to arvind kejriwal he for whether you take the 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 submission of kavita you know who was arrested uh, previous uh, week and who was uh, and the south group who she represented is supposed to have given 100 crore rupees whether you take the instance of manish sodia in whose case the court has ruled that there is a part evidence of a, 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 of, a, a of a trail of some 300 crores i think there is enough there are enough indications to point the complicity of arvind kejriwal which is also corroborated by statements by from statements by arun nayar his own ost and the ost of manish sodia so if after nine summons arvind kejriwal did not think it proper and you know by the way to also respond to aam aadmi party who says you know the pmla act was uh, was amended to to harass the opposition you know it was it was uh, it was amended only with the objective of preventing money laundering and hawala money which has been at the core of multiple illegal activities and anti national activities were we to know that aam aadmi party a party which 12 years ago came on the premise of cleaning politics would be indulging in hawala money and money laundering so why blame us the fact is that you know you have taken kickbacks from the so called southern group you have uh, arvind uh, meetings of these were take place in the house of arvind kejriwal and in any case the bigger scam was right in the creation of the cabinet where 90% of the portfolios were held by two people both of whom But were Tuhin, indulging in Tuhin, these deals tohin the supreme court has done away with the distinction between proceeds of crime and money laundering and here is an agency which appears certainly to be overactive perhaps on an overdrive you cannot uh, you know run away from <clears throat> this that The, the agencies of the government are seen to be initiating cases only against opposition leaders tell me example of one leader who is an ally of the bjp who is currently under the scanner of any of the agencies the fact is if the opposition has a certain culture of taking money of indulging in corruption obviously the cases would be 
uh, on them. There are, you know, the other thing which often journalists say that there are five, there are so many people who have been let off. But the fact is, there are five thousand people who have been let off for want of evidence. If there are a few who have whose corruption has been more overt and they have been found. Breaking news coming in, at least 40 people have been killed and many more wounded, according to reports in what is one of the worst terror attacks that Russia has seen in years. Uh, the video shows uh, gunmen in combat fatigue uh, open, fi uh, open fired and uh, detonated explosives in a big concert hall in Moscow. Uh, the, the photos and videos showed uh, uh, the city music hall engulfed in flames as well. Uh, videos are emerging from uh, the concert hall attack, uh, and these are uh, absolutely horrific uh, videos. Uh, uh, some of those videos we cannot show you on uh, uh, on uh, your TV screens, but uh, at least four gunmen uh, have been seen opening fire from automatic weapons uh, as panicked Russians fled for their lives. In one of the videos, uh, the three men in fatigues uh, carrying rifles have fired at point-blank range into bodies strewn about uh, the lobby of that concert hall. Uh, joining us uh, to give us more details is Vishal Vivek. Vishal, uh, what, uh, let's uh, first go across to Vishnu. Vishnu, what, uh, what more details can you give us? Well, Osama, what I can tell you, and this is information coming out of Reuters, and I think it's important that we read out that copy of theirs. So I'm attributing this entirely to Reuters in the absence of any independent verification at this stage. What Reuters is reporting is that as many as five gunmen dressed in camouflage clothing opened fire with automatic weapons at people in the Crocus City Hall music venue near Moscow, leaving an unknown number of people dead. Now, some reports which uh, you also mentioned and I have seen indicate that as many as 40 people at least may have been dead, may have been killed, and several others injured. It's not immediately known how many people have been injured, who the gunmen were. Russian news agencies, Reuters reports, saying that 50 ambulance crews had been sent to the scene. Uh, flames leaped into the sky, plumes of black smoke rose above the venue. Uh, the Moscow mayor, Sergei uh, Sobyanin, has, is reported to have said, and I quote, a terrible tragedy occurred in the shopping center Croker City today. Um, the mayor said that all necessary assistance is being provided. Russian state news agencies say that police and other emergency services have arrived at the scene so very early days. But what I can also tell you now, and this is important, is that just a couple of days uh, back, uh, in fact on the 8th uh, of, uh, of March earlier this year, the United States had warned of an imminent attack in Moscow by extremists and had urged citizens to avoid crowds. Uh, the U.S. Uh, warned of a terrorist attack taking place in Moscow and that they were monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans to target large gatherings in Moscow to include concerts and U.S. citizens uh, should be advised to uh, avoid large gatherings over the next 48 hours. Should, however, say uh, that this particular uh, report is at the, from the 8th of March it's, and I am attributing this and reading it directly out of NBC News uh, at this stage. Uh, all of this, of course, Sava, comes at a time when um, hostilities between Ukraine and Russia have now extended beyond two years. Very, very important to say that there is no evidence whatsoever that this attack is associated or linked with Ukraine at any stage, despite the fact that there have been alleged attacks by Ukrainian drones uh, and, uh, and weapon systems on Russian targets over the last several weeks, if not months. Uh, the reason I mention this is because these are particularly dangerous times, extremely volatile, a time when Russia's President Vladimir Putin, recently re-elected to power, has made rather dire warnings uh, to people uh, across the world. Uh, I'm not getting into those warnings other than to state that at this stage there is no, there is no information of involvement of the Ukrainians. There has been an alert a couple of weeks back from the Americans of a potential terror attack. But as you reported a little while back, what we are picking up of agencies is 40 people at least dead, many others injured in a mall in Russia. The footage that you've been showcasing on your screen describes a very unfortunate situation which seems to be unfolding.
absolutely right uh, vishnu and uh, some of those uh, some of those visuals uh, uh, like i earlier mentioned uh, we cannot show them on uh, your tv screens uh, because of the because of the uh, kind of gore that uh, is there in those videos uh, but uh, uh, stay back with us uh, let's go across to vishal vivek who's uh, joined us uh, vishal uh, as vishnu was mentioning uh, the us embassy had warned earlier of, uh, earlier this month uh, that uh, an uh, an attack like this might happen uh what more details can you give us so as of now no agency or terrorist group or any other militant group has claimed responsibility as of now uh, russian state media has been reporting and other media have also reported that at least 40 people have been killed and over 100 have been injured i have seen some footage it's a ghastly scenario right now uh there were uh, about, about at least 5 to 6 people in uh, camouflage dresses and they were firing indiscriminately on people innocent people uh, i saw people uh, in the footage i saw that people were you know tripping over each other trying to escape the gunmen but uh, the gunmen were relentlessly firing at them uh, there were different footages one of the footages from inside the concert hall where at least Two to three hundred people, I could see in the footage. They were, you know, uh, trying to hide and uh, escape the people who were, you know, barging in with guns. Uh, they were trying their best to escape the gunmen. Uh, few of them succumbed to in injuries right in front of front of the gunmen. It's a it's a very uh, brutal scenario. And uh, uh, as as far as the security agencies of the Russia are concerned, none of them have uh, commented as of now. it remains to be seen uh, what which group uh, has conducted this strike uh, it all there's also uh, an explosion that occurred as the visuals you can see that uh, at a uh, couple of grenades were thrown it could be because of that or it could be a, a larger explosion it all remains to be seen uh, the details are still emerging uh, so we'll have to wait for more details right uh, vishnu uh, you rightly pointed out that uh, this is uh, this is coming uh, right on the back of uh, uh, vladimir putin's uh, re-election as uh, the president uh, what consequences this might have this uh, an attack like this might have uh, amid the uh, amid the whole uh, 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 tension that uh, the world is seeing right now no i think osama that is the question on the top of everybody's mind and i think it's uh, it's important that we don't get ahead of ourselves because um, the potential consequences of an association with ukraine given the state of the war the conflict uh, would be potentially devastating what i would like to do uh, is to just go back to what reuters has been reporting uh, as i mentioned um, as i report from you on the phone i mean i'm un- not in a position to get first hand information myself i've tried uh, but what reuters is reporting is the following and i quote in one unverified video posted on social media a uh, man with automatic weapons was shown firing repeatedly at screaming civilians including women who were cowering below what looked like an entrance sign to Crocus City Hall uh, the video that we've been showcasing on air uh, seems to uh, match what uh, these eyewitness accounts seem to suggest other video footage showed a number of people lying motionless in pools of blood outside the hall um another video showed the attacker shooting at people in the concert hall Now, very importantly osama and what i mentioned earlier on or and a few more details of that here the us embassy in russia warned earlier this month that extremists had imminent plans for an attack in moscow uh, and the us embassy issued um, its warning several hours after russian federal security bureau the fsb which is the successor to the kgb said that it had foiled an attack on a synagogue in moscow by a, a cell of the militant sunni muslim group islamic state uh, so that was an incident which was reported a couple of weeks back who is responsible for this we don't know at this stage but some reports as you've been reporting uh, claim that 40 people have lost their lives uh, any number of others have been uh, injured as well a major terrorist attack on moscow at this stage uh, at a time of uh, of huge Uh, uh of tension between the country of of between ukraine and russia um my colleague uma shankar singh also suggesting uh, in forwarding in details that up to 6200 people could have been in the crocus concert hall um at the time of the attack there was a concert happening all tickets were sold out um the the cinema itself can accommodate no more than 6200 people 
Um, the concert director of the picnic group reported that musicians were not injured. They were evacuated from the building. They were in the dressing room at the time of the attack. More than 50 ambulances have been deployed, brought into the area, helicopters at the attack site. Uh, the White House says that there is no indication at this time that Ukraine is involved in an attack on Moscow's right. concert hall. Uh, this is very important news because that would be uh, obviously something that Russia would be looking at very, very closely to see whether there is any Ukrainian involvement. The White House saying quite clearly that no, there is no indication at this time that Ukraine is involved in the attack. Right. Um, special forces have now stormed. Russian special forces have now stormed. The special uh, have stormed the Crocus City Hall building uh, in Moscow. Gunfire is constantly being heard. And information which has emerged is that the death toll in Crocus may be more than 40 people, more than 100 uh, injured. Uh, the first column of special forces have launched an assault, and the cleanup operation has well and truly begun right. at this stage. So that's the information, Osama, that we have at this stage. The U.S. statement uh, immediately coming in, saying that Ukraine is not involved, is important. It is critical because the last thing the world needs is to um, uh, is an association between what has happened in Moscow and the situation in Ukraine now, uh, with the war having entered more than two years, and tensions between Russia and Ukraine very, very high indeed, at a time when Russian President right. Vladimir Putin has warned of the potential consequences of World War III if the existence right. of Russia itself is under threat. Absolutely. These are horrific scenes, uh, as you can see on your screens. Uh, 40 people, over 40 people, reportedly gunned down by gunmen who opened fire at these people at, these people at uh, the Moscow City Hall. Time for a very short break. More news on the other side. फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम नाउ कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूं इन दिस सेक्शन आस्क टीजी एंड दिस इज यू नो वन ऑफ माय पर्सनल फेवरेट्स क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है व्हेन वी कनेक्ट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट गैजेट्स टेक्नोलॉजी यू नो डायरेक्टली वन ऑन वन तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चंस आए हैं अक्रॉस डिफरेंट डोमेन्स और मुझे क्या इतनी एबिलिटीज हैं कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूं Hi technical guru ji so my question is how can we monetize instagram posts okay the monetization on instagram works uh, in two different ways one is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that but i would say the the second method is much more effective uh, would give you much more returns and this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands aapne dekha hoga youtube pe instagram pe facebook pe all these influencers they many a times collaborate with different brands and wahan se you can monetize your content Karnataka Chief Minister warns of severe drought amid Bengaluru water crisis Chief Minister Sidaramaiah's fresh appeal Sidaramaiah assures the voters that he will fulfill all the guarantees Karnataka Chief Minister appeals to the voters to help party win in the Lok Sabha polls The Kejriwal arrest showdown as the Delhi Chief Minister and the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party is sent to 7 day ED custody ED calls Kejriwal the key conspirator in the liquor policy case while the Aam Aadmi Party says ED is being used by the government to win Lok Sabha elections BJP demands that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister An opposition delegation makes a beeline for the election commission alleges that the center is trying to suppress their voice BJP asks is Kejriwal above the law Kejriwal's first reaction after his arrest says his life is dedicated to the nation DMK launches its campaign in Tamil Nadu Stalin rakes up Union Minister Shobha Karunlaje's Bengaluru blast remark Stalin alleges BJP is defaming Tamilians A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh three independent MLAs resign and likely to join the BJP BJP legislature party in Himachal in a huddle Chief Minister Sukhu accuses BJP of luring 
MLAs. His last visit before the general elections, the Prime Minister visits Bhutan, where he is honoured with the highest civilian award. An affirmation of the close ties between the two nations. The visit comes as China continues to salami slice Bhutanese territory. Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV 24-7. I'm Osama Shah. Our top story amid the water crisis in Bengaluru. Fresh appeal from uh, the Karnataka chief minister. He's warned, uh, Siddharamaya has warned people of the state that there will be severe drought and that there is already work underway to resolve the severe water problem in several areas. Siddharamaya goes on to add that the voters should keep the faith and assures that Congress will fulfill its guarantees and that the people should help them to win the Lok Sabha polls. And Pratibha joins us on the phone line to give us more details. Pratibha, fresh appeal from the Chief Minister. Uh, at the same time, keeping in mind the upcoming Lok Sabha elections because this crisis is definitely going to be used by the NDA. Well, in fact, uh, it also comes on a day when uh, you have uh, both the World Water Day that is also being celebrated, and this comes ahead of the Lok Sabha election. So keeping both of these in mind, it is definitely a fresh appeal that is made by Karnataka Chief Minister. And he also wants to ensure that uh, what really was witnessed in the state during the assembly election, well, there would be a repeat of history as far as the Lok Sabha election is concerned. And just like they rode on the guarantees with respect to the assembly election, he's again banking on the guarantees for the Lok Sabha election as well, while promising that the water problem would be resolved very soon, despite a severe uh, drought crisis that the state is undergoing at this point in time. And this also comes soon after a press conference that was held uh, earlier today, where uh, they demanded a level playing field to contest the Lok Sabha election, talking about how the central agencies were being used uh, to skew this, and also talking about how the Congress is crippled in the campaign in the run-up to the Lok Sabha election by freezing 11 accounts of the party in different banks. Back to you. All right, Pratibha, thank you very much uh, for getting us all those details. So the Karnataka water wars continue and uh, Chief Minister making fresh appeal. And Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin launched his election campaign for the central town of Trichy. Now, Stalin will be canvassing for India Bloc candidate. And after launching uh, the campaign, Stalin uh, is set to embark on state tour. But today, at uh, the start of his campaign, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister launched a scathing attack on the BJP, raking up Union Minister Shobha Karanlaje's remark on the Bengaluru blast. Stalin said that BJP is trying to defame Tamilians. அவர் <laughs> நீங்கள் வளர்க்கிற வெறுப்புத்தி என்ன பண்ணுதுன்னு தெரியுமா ஒன்றிய பாஜக அமைச்சர் ஒருத்தர் பெங்களூர்ல வெடிச்ச குண்டு தமிழர்கள் வச்ச குண்டுன்னு சொல்றாரு தமிழர்கள் என்ன வன்முறையாளர்களா பயங்கரவாதிகளா நான் கேட்கிறேன் தமிழ்நாட்டு மக்கள் எப்படியெல்லாம் நீங்கள் கொச்சைப்படுத்தி இப்ப பேச ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கீங்க now, after DMK, the former NDA ally, AIA DMK, have begun their campaign as this after breaking away from their coalition with the BJP. AIA DMK, interestingly, has made promises which are similar to DMK. Here's a report. The AIA DMK fighting Lok Sabha elections after breaking away from the BJP makes promises similar to its political rival DMK and much more. The Dravidian party in the opposition says it would push for merger of GST and CES, a Supreme Court bench in Chennai, scrapping of need for medical admission. The party that helped the BJP enact CAA wants Lankan Tamils included for citizenship. 
அந்த கச்சா எண்ணெய் இறக்குமதி செய்யும் போது விலை குறைகின்ற போது குறைக்கிறது இல்ல ஏற்கனவே மத்திய அரசு அவருடைய கண்ட்ரோல் இருந்தது அதே போல எண்ணெய் நிறுவனத்தில் இருந்து மத்திய அரசாங்கமே இதை ஏற்று இதை நடத்த வேண்டும் பெட்ரோல் டீசல் குறைக்கப்பட வேண்டும் அது எங்களுடைய கோரிக்கை அதே போல சமையல் எரிவாயு அந்த விலையும் குறைக்க வேண்டும் போதைப் பொருள் ஒழிப்பு நெகிழி பொருட்கள் நிரந்தர தடை விவசாயிகளுக்கு ஓய்வு திட்டம் தடையெல்லாம் மும்முனை மின்சாரம் கூட்டாட்சி மொழி உரிய அங்கீகாரம் For AIADM Chief EPS, this is the first election under his singular leadership after he ousted his rival OPS. The party lost two elections in 14 alliance with the Saffron Party after Jai Lalita's death. Uh, your leaders, they don't directly attack the Prime Minister Modi. They don't directly don't attack the policies of BJP. So people of Tamil Nadu still doubt that you are... Uh, B team of the BJP, you are there to split votes and ensure victory for the BJP in Tamil Nadu states. The AIADMK is a divided house now with the ouster of Sasikala, Dinakaran and OPS. Even after parting ways with the BJP, winning the confidence of minorities is a challenge. APS hopes his singular leadership will add strength to reclaim the party's lost political fortunes. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. And Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Arvind Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi today where probe agency enforcement directorate requested for a 10-day custody. Earlier, Aam Aadmi Party Ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Mr. K. Jival's arrest last night by the Enforcement Directorate in the Delhi liquor policy case. BJP has uh, meanwhile demanded that K. Jival must step down as Chief Minister. ED ke dwara case karwai jate hain. Kyu? Kyunki is desh mein पीएमएलए एक ऐसा कानून है जिसके तहत बेल मिलना लगभग असंभव है हमने देखा है कि किस तरह एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संविधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले well, it's been a long day for Arvind Kejriwal at the Rouse Avenue Court and the court finally deciding to send him to a seven-day custody. So he will remain in ED's custody for the next seven days. This is the court here right behind me, the Rouse Avenue Court in the national capital that has ruled that Arvind Kejriwal will remain in the Enforcement Directorate's custody. Both sides made compelling arguments, the Enforcement Directorate's lawyer as well as Arvind Kejriwal's counsel. Remember, the Enforcement Directorate made two important points. One, that uh, he is not just a co-conspirator in the case but also has vicarious precarious liability and at the same time uh, the enforcement director's lawyer said in court that Arvind Kejriwal allegedly received 45 crore rupees uh, via this liquor policy case through the South Cartel group, the alleged South group that has been talked about. Uh, so of course uh, the enforcement director is saying that there was a nexus between K. Kavita, Manir Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal uh, and of course uh, that is something that the enforcement director uh, looks to investigate further. Uh, this particularly after what was found uh, by the enforcement director during the course of K. Kavita's questioning. What Arvind Kejriwal's lawyer had said? Well, several important points. One, that uh, you know, there, uh, if a certain agency has a power to arrest, it does not mean that it, it, it goes out to arrest every opposition leader. Uh, Mr. Manu Singh, we also said that uh, you know what really is the need to arrest Mr. Kejriwal at this point, and that it's a murder of democracy. Along with all these points, uh, 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 Mr. Manu Singh, we also said uh, that well, all the information that the agency seeks to get uh, 
uh, can be obtained without arresting Mr. Kejriwal as well. So these were some of the arguments made, but finally the Enforcement Directorate has gotten seven days of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's custody, though it had sought ten days of his custody. The political fallout is huge as well, uh, because remember Arvind Kejriwal is not just the star campaigner and the national convener, but the main vote catcher, the principal vote catcher of the Ahmadi Party, and he will he is now under arrest. So of course a huge constitutional crisis here in the national capital and also a dent to the Ahmadi Party's Qatar Imanda image right ahead of the polls but of course the, the more immediate crisis is what's unfolding in the national capital which is uh, now virtually without a chief minister though he continues to be the chief minister the Ahmadi party saying that he will uh, run the national capital from Tihar uh, uh, and that is a uh, you know that is something that has many legal complications as well so constitutional crisis in Delhi and certainly a political one for the Ahmadi party as well which was founded on the principles of anti-corruption over 10 years ago at the iconic Ram Leela Maidan but for now, Arvind Kejriwal will remain in the Enforcement Directorate's custody for the next seven days. In New Delhi with camera person Pooja Arya, Vedant for NDTV. Meanwhile, Delhi Chief Minister has filed an application in uh, the Rouse Avenue court. Uh, Kejriwal has sought the removal of a cop from his security. Uh, in his plea, Kejriwal has said that the cop has misbehaved on the way to the court. Delhi Chief Minister has claimed that this is a repeat offence by this cop and he is the same cop who misbehaved with Manish Sisodia as well. News now from uh, Odisha. It is confirmed now the BJP-BJD tie-up for Lok Sabha polls is not working out. BJP said it decided uh, not to tie up with Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik's Biju Janatadal after the centre found many schemes of the Modi government. Uh, they have not been reaching the common people. So BJD has now made it official that it will contest all 21 Lok Sabha constituencies on their own. The BJP's decision uh, comes after a big meeting in Delhi where uh, Odisha BJP leaders convinced central leaders that an alliance with Mr. Patnaik's party would be against the BJP's interest. This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view. Because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav, only on NDTV 24-7. A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. We are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases uh, because again, uh, of heat as well as water stress, we're going to see a lot more people having strokes, heart attacks, uh, kidney failure, cancers. talking but very little being said too many voices but hardly any being heard you turn to a show that puts you front and center a show that headlines the stories of the people by the people for the people Friends, this is what I have for the next one because here, pe, this sleek looking laptop coming straight from Apple is the latest generation of MacBook Air and here, what's packed inside is Apple's new M3 chip now. So, this Apple finally launched kar diya hai. and what's amazing is that look at this profile. It means how sleek you get a laptop milta hai. at the same time it packs 
सम अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस यहाँ पे एप्पल की लेटेस्ट M3 चिप है इट्स अ फैनलेस डिजाइन दैट द रीजन कि ये काफी आपको स्लीक मिलने वाला है क्वाइट लाइट वेट एंड दिस इनफैक्ट इज द 15 इंच वेरिएंट जो इसका 30 इंच वेरिएंट है वो थोड़ा सा और ज्यादा छोटा और आपको हल्का फील होता है इट्स यू नो इवन मोर पोर्टेबल एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक सम सीरियस पावर बिकॉज यहाँ पे जो मेमरी है इट गोज अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर जी बी द स्टोरेज कैन गो अप टू टू टेराबाइट हमारे पास में प्रॉपर मैग सेफ पोर्ट है वी हैव हेडफोन जैक इज वेल एट द सेम टाइम यहाँ पे यू एस बी सी पोर्ट्स भी हैं वी हैव अ फुल साइज की बोर्ड अ नाइस फिफ्टीन इंच स्क्रीन इन अ वेरी स्लीक फॉर्म फैक्टर इन दिस पैक्स अ सिक्स स्पीकर सिस्टम इज वेल सो लेट सी अब क्लोज हाउ इज दिस Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip. The beloved MacBook Air just got a super power upgrade with the brand new M3 chip. Ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds, longer battery life and mind-blowing AI capabilities. Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip. Imagine kariye ki editing videos, creating music or even casually crushing your enemies in Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app, news that matters to you. फ्रेंड्स मूविंग अहेड फॉर द टॉप स्टोरी आई हैव गॉट नो आते हैं तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिर भी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सीआरपीएफ की सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है The finance ministry has said India's economic outlook for uh, the financial year 2025 is bright. In its monthly economic review for uh, February 2024, uh, the ministry said that India's economic growth has surged to a six-quarter high and has exceeded 8% growth for the third consecutive time. GDP growth estimate for the financial year 2024 has been revised upwards to 7.6%. The ministry noted that the ongoing disruptions in the Red Sea could lead to a rise in oil prices thereby posing upside risks to inflation and consequently to overall growth. Prime Minister Modi was honored today with the highest recognition of the Kingdom of Bhutan. The honor which uh, affirms the extremely close bonds between India and Bhutan comes at a time when Bhutan faces an unprecedented threat from China which unilaterally continues to occupy its territory despite ongoing boundary talks.
The highlight of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Bhutan is perhaps the award that he has been given. The highest civilian honour, the Order of the Druk Gyalpo, was conferred upon him by His Majesty the King of Bhutan. An affirmation that comes at a time when Bhutan faces a shared territorial threat from China. This statement from the Bhutanese king would have been watched closely by Beijing, which has been trying to extend its sphere of influence in Bhutan by opening an embassy. Bhutan and China do not have diplomatic relations. They are also in the midst of talks to resolve boundary issues. But that hasn't stopped China from unilaterally occupying Bhutanese territory, including areas that are considered the ancestral home of the Bhutanese royal family. Today, the Prime Minister was welcomed by thousands of Bhutanese nationals who lined the road to receive him. The show of affection was clearly evident. मैं नहीं जानता हूं कि मेरी योग्यता कितनी है लेकिन आपने जो कुछ भी लिखा है आपने जो कुछ भी कहा है हो सकता है उन मुद्दों को लेकर के उन भावनाओं को लेकर के मैं अपने जीवन को भी ढालूं अपने कार्यों को भी आगे बढ़ाऊं ताकि आपकी जो मनोकामना है आपने जो भाव व्यक्त की है उसको मैं भविष्य में साकार करके भारत भूटान को इन संबंधों को नई ऊंचाई पर ले जाने में निमित्त बन सकूं। Both sides also agreed on seven MOUs or agreements, which included areas like education and cooperation in space. Bhutan is also setting up the Gelafu Mindfulness City which will use a land link to connect Bhutan to Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Singapore through Assam and Northeast India. This is the last visit of the Prime Minister ahead of the general elections and comes less than a week after the Bhutanese Prime Minister was in India for a visit. With Vishnu Som, and camera person G.D. Shankar in Thimpu, Bhutan, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Time for a very short break. More news and updates on the other side. Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, Read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app. News that matters to you. Friends, moving ahead for the top story, I've got not one, but in fact, two different new smartphones. These are from the Samsung Galaxy A series. What I have with me is the all new Samsung Galaxy A35. Saat mein Galaxy A55 bhi hai. Both are, of course, 5G smartphones, interesting design, interesting configuration and kaafi fresh lag rahe dono phones coming straight from Samsung aur yahan pe Samsung is promising a few things. Sabse pehle ek kaafi interesting aur premium design. Second thing is amazing durability because yahan pe on the front and on the back what we have is Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. At the same time yahan pe Samsung is uh, promising a complete awesome security suite along with Awesome performance. So let's see up close ki aakhir in dono phones mein Samsung ne kya kuch pack kiya hai. Ready ho jaiye for cutting edge features.
फीचर्स एंड ए सीमलेस एंड्रॉइड एक्सपीरियंस सैमसंग ने इंडिया में ऑफिशियली डेब्यू किया है द गैलेक्सी ए फिफ्टी एंड गैलेक्सी ए थर्टी ब्रिंगिंग पावरफुल परफॉर्मेंस एंड इम्प्रेसिव टेक्नोलॉजी टू दी पॉपुलर ए सीरीज लाइनअप बोर्ड डिवाइस बोस स्टनिंग सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इंच सुपर एमुलर डिस्प्ले जो जाने जाते हैं फॉर दाइब्रेंट कलर एंड इमर्सिव विजुअल विद एन अल्ट्रा स्मूथ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी हर्ट रिफ्रेश रेट यूल इंजॉय बटरी ट्रांजेक्शन एंड लॉग फ्री स्क्रोलिंग विद योर गेमिंग या फिर कैचिंग अप ऑन शोज प्लस कॉनिंग गोरिला ग्लास विक्टस प्लस ऑफर करता है सुपीरियर प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट दोज एक्सीडेंटल ड्रॉप एंड स्क्रैचेज कैप्चर योर वर्ल्ड विद इनक्रेडिबल डिटेल दोनों स्मार्टफोन पैक करते हैं ट्रिपल रियर कैमरा सेटअप विद ए फिफ्टी फाइव फाइव जी स्पॉटिंग अगा पिक्सल प्राइमरी ऑप्टिकल इमेज स्टेबलाइजेशन फॉर ब्लर फ्री शॉट्स एंड दी ए थर्टी भी डिसअपॉइंट नहीं करता है ऑफरिंग इट्स ओन ओ आई एस इक्विप्ड फिफ्टी मेगा पिक्सल प्राइमरी कैमरा विद लेंसेज दट सपोर्ट वर्सिटैलिटी स्टनिंग सेल्फीज एंड एक्सपैंडेबल स्टोरेज ये फोन आपके फोटोग्राफी गेम को डेफिनेटली एलिवेट करेंगे यू कैन नाउ इवन लीव योर लो बैटरी एंगजाइटी बिहाइंड बिकॉज दोनों फोन आते हैं मैसेव फाइव थाउजेंड एम एच बैटरीज के साथ एंड सपोर्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट्स का फास्ट चार्जिंग दिस लेट्स यू पा This is NDTV and you're watching NDTV 24/7 Karnataka chief minister warns of severe drought amid Bengaluru water crisis chief minister Sidaramaiah's fresh appeal Sidaramaiah assures the voters that he will fulfill all the guarantees Karnataka chief minister appeals to the voters to help party win in the Lok Sabha polls The Kejriwala arrest showdown as the Delhi chief minister and the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party is sent to 7 day ED custody ED calls Kejriwal the key conspirator in the liquor policy case while the Aam Aadmi Party says ED is being used by the government to win Lok Sabha elections BJP demands that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister An opposition delegation makes a beeline for the election commission alleges that the center is trying to suppress their voice BJP asks is Kejriwal above the law Kejriwal's first reaction after his arrest says his life is dedicated to the nation. DMK launches its campaign in Tamil Nadu. Stalin rakes up Union Minister Shobha Karunlaje's Bengaluru blast remark. Stalin alleges BJP is defaming Tamilians. A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs resign and likely to join the BJP. BJP Legislature Party in Himachal in a huddle. Chief Minister Sukhu accuses BJP of luring the MLAs. His last visit before the general elections, the Prime Minister visits Bhutan where he is honored with the highest civilian award and affirmation of the close ties between the two nations. The visit comes as China continues to salami slice Bhutanese territory. Breaking news coming in at least 40 people have been killed and many more wounded according to reports in what is one of the worst terror attacks Russia has seen in years. Uh the video shows uh, gunmen in combat fatigue uh, open fire uh, open fired and uh, detonated explosives in a big concert hall in moscow uh, the the photos and videos showed uh, uh, the city music hall engulfed in flames as well uh, videos are emerging from uh, the concert hall attack uh, and these are uh, absolutely horrific uh, videos uh, uh, some of those videos we cannot show you on uh, uh, on uh, your tv screens but uh, at least four gunmen uh, have been seen opening fire from automatic weapons uh, as panicked russians fled for their lives in one of the videos uh, the three men in fatigues uh, carrying rifles have fired at point blank range into bodies strewn about uh, the lobby of that concert hall uh, joining us uh, to give us more details is vishal vivek vishal uh, what uh, let's uh, first go across to vishnu vishnu what uh, what more details can you give us Well, Osama, what I can tell you, and this is information coming out of Reuters, and I think it's important that we read out that copy of theirs. So I'm attributing this entirely to Reuters, in the absence of any independent verification at this stage. 
What Reuters is reporting is that as many as five gunmen dressed in camouflage clothing opened fire with automatic weapons at people in the Crocus City Hall music venue near Moscow, leaving an unknown number of people dead. Now, some reports, which uh, you also mentioned and I have seen, indicate that as many as 40 people at least may have been dead, may have been killed, and several others injured. It's not immediately known how many people have been injured, who the gunmen were. Russian news agencies, Reuters reports, saying that 50 ambulance crews had been sent to the scene. Uh, flames leaped into the sky, plumes of black smoke rose above the venue. Uh, the Moscow mayor, Sergei uh, Sobyanin, has, is reported to have said, and I quote, a terrible tragedy occurred in the shopping center Croker City today. Um, the mayor said that all necessary assistance is being provided. Russian state news agencies say that police and other emergency services have arrived at the scene so very early days. But what I can also tell you now, and this is important, is that just a couple of days uh, back, uh, in fact on the 8th uh, of, uh, of March earlier this year, the United States had warned of an imminent attack in Moscow by extremists and had urged citizens to avoid crowds. Uh, the U.S. Uh, warned of a terrorist attack taking place in Moscow and that they were monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans to target large gatherings in Moscow to include concerts and U.S. citizens uh, should be advised to uh, avoid large gatherings over the next 48 hours, should, however, say uh, that this particular uh, report is uh, the, from the 8th of March, it's, and I am attributing this and reading it directly out of NBC News uh, at this stage. Uh, all of this, of course, Sava, comes at a time when um, hostilities between Ukraine and Russia have now extended beyond two years. Very, very important to say that there is no evidence whatsoever that this attack is associated or linked with Ukraine at any stage, despite the fact that there have been alleged attacks by Ukrainian drones uh, and, uh, and weapon systems on Russian targets over the last several weeks, if not months. Uh, the reason I mention this is because these are particularly dangerous times, extremely volatile, a time when Russia's President Vladimir Putin, recently re-elected to power, has made rather dire warnings uh, to people uh, across the world. Uh, I'm not getting into those warnings other than to state that at this stage there is no, invo there is no information of involvement of the Ukrainians. There has been an alert a couple of weeks back from the Americans of a potential terror attack. But as you reported a little while back, what we are picking up of agencies is 40 people at least dead, many others injured in a mall in Russia. The footage that you've been showcasing on your screen describes a, a very unfortunate situation which seems to be unfolding. Absolutely right, uh, Vishnu, and uh, some, of those, uh, some of those visuals uh... Uh, like I earlier mentioned, uh, we cannot show them on uh, your TV screens uh, because of the because of the uh, kind of gore that uh, is there in those videos. Uh, but uh, uh, stay back with us. Uh, let's go across to Vishal Vivek, who's uh, joined us. Uh, Vishal, uh, as Vishnu was mentioning, uh, the U.S. Embassy had warned earlier of uh, earlier this month uh, that uh, an uh, an attack like this might happen. Uh, what more details can you give us? So as of now, no agency or terrorist group or any other militant group has claimed responsibility as of now. Uh, Russian state media has been reporting and other media have also reported that at least 40 people have been killed and over 100 have been injured. I've seen some footage. It's a ghastly scenario right now. Uh, there were uh, about, about at least five to six people in uh, camouflage dresses and they were firing indiscriminately on people innocent people uh, i saw people uh, in the footage i saw that people were you know tripping over each other trying to escape the gunmen but uh, the gunmen were relentlessly firing at them uh, there were different footages one of the footages from inside the concert hall where at least 2 to 300 people i could see in the footage they were you know uh, trying to hide and uh, escape the people who were you know barging in with guns uh, they were trying their best to escape the gunmen. Uh, few of them succumbed to in injuries right in front of, front of the gunmen. It's a, it's a very uh, brutal scenario. And uh, uh, as, as far as the security agencies of the Russia are concerned, none of them have 
commented as of now it remains to be seen uh, what which group uh, has conducted this strike uh, it all there's also uh, an explosion that occurred as the visuals you can see that uh, at a uh, couple of grenades were thrown it could be because of that or it could be a, a larger explosion it all remains to be seen uh, the details are still emerging uh, so we'll have to wait for more details right uh, vishnu uh, you rightly pointed out that uh, this is uh, this is coming uh, right on the back of uh, uh, Vladimir Putin's uh, re-election as uh, the president. Uh, what consequences this might have? This uh, an attack like this might have uh, amid uh, amid the whole uh, 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 tension that uh, the world is seeing right now. No, I think Osama, that is the question on the top of everybody's mind, and I think it's uh, it's important that we don't get ahead of ourselves because. Um, the potential consequences of an association with Ukraine, given the state of the war, the conflict, uh, would be potentially devastating. What I would like to do uh, is to just go back to what Reuters has been reporting. Uh, as I mentioned, um, as I report from you on the phone, I mean, I'm un not in a position to get first-hand information myself. I've tried. Uh, but what Reuters is reporting is the following, and I quote, in one unverified video posted on social media, uh, men with automatic weapons were shown firing repeatedly at streaming civilians, including women, who were cowering below what looked like an entrance sign to Crocus City Hall. Uh, the video that we've been showcasing on air uh, seems to uh, match what uh, these eyewitness accounts seem to suggest. Other video footage showed a number of people lying motionless in pools of blood outside the hall. Um, another video showed the attacker shooting at people in the concert hall. Now, very importantly, Osama, and what I mentioned earlier on, or and a few more details of that here, the U.S. Embassy in Russia warned earlier this month that extremists had imminent plans for an attack in Moscow. Uh, and the U.S. Embassy issued um, its warning several hours after Russian Federal Security Bureau, the FSB, which is the successor to the KGB, said, that it had foiled an attack on a synagogue in Moscow by a, a cell of the militant Sunni Muslim group Islamic State. Uh, so that was an incident which was reported a couple of weeks back. Who is responsible for this, we don't know at this stage. But some reports, as you've been reporting, uh, claim that 40 people have lost their lives. Uh, any number of others have been uh, injured as well. A major terrorist attack on Moscow at this stage uh, at a time of, uh, of huge uh, uh, of tension between the countries, of, of between Ukraine and Russia. Um, my colleague Uma Shankar Singh also suggesting uh, in forwarding in details that up to 6,200 people could have been in the Crocus concert hall um, at the time of the attack. There was a concert happening. All tickets were sold out. Um, the, the cinema itself can accommodate no more than 6,200 people. Um, the concert director of the picnic group reported that musicians were not injured, they were evacuated from the building, they were in the dressing room at the time of the attack. More than 50 ambulances have been deployed, brought into the area, helicopters at the attack site. Uh, the White House says that there is no indication at this time that Ukraine is involved in an attack on Moscow's right. concert hall. Uh, this is very important news because that would be uh, obviously something that Russia would be looking at very, very closely to see whether there is any Ukrainian involvement. The White House saying quite clearly that no, there is no indication at this time that Ukraine is involved in the attack. Right. Um, special forces have now stormed. Russian special forces have now stormed. The special uh, have stormed the Crocus City Hall building uh, in Moscow. Gunfire guns constantly being heard. And information which has emerged is that the death toll in Crocus may be more than 40 people, more than 100 uh, injured. Uh, the first column of special forces have launched an assault and the cleanup operation has well and truly begun right. at this stage. So that's the information, Osama, that we have at this stage. The U.S. statement uh, immediately coming in, saying that Ukraine is not involved, is important. It is critical because the last thing the world needs is, to, um, uh, is an association between what has happened in Moscow and the situation in Ukraine now. Uh, with the war having entered more than two years and tensions between Russia and Ukraine very, very high indeed at a time when Russian President right. Vladimir Putin has warned of the potential consequences of World War III if the existence right. of Russia itself 
is under threat. Absolutely. These are horrific scenes, uh, as you can see on your screens. Uh, 40 people, over 40 people, reportedly gunned down by gunmen who opened fire at these people at, these people at uh, the Moscow City Hall. Meanwhile, Delhi Chief Minister has filed an application in uh, the Rouse Avenue court. Uh, Kejriwal has sought the removal of a cop from his security. Uh, in his plea, Kejriwal has said that the cop has misbehaved on the way to the court. Delhi Chief Minister has claimed that this is a repeat offence by this cop and he is the same cop who misbehaved with Manish Sisodia as well. A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. We are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases uh, because, again, uh, of heat as well as water stress, we're going to see a lot more people having strokes, heart attacks, uh, kidney failure, cancers. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. One day, this lecture hall will be made of code and driverless cars would be trapped in intersections. But even in this maze of the future, you can't wish away health. It's time to become more resilient. Ten years of Banega Swast India, we have grown and achieved so many milestones. And now I have a plan to beat the urgency, to stop breathing with difficulty, to relieve getting choked with inactivity. Energize our government, our environment, our society, and ourselves. Everyone, everywhere, every day. Banega Swast India, One World Hygiene. A debate has many facets, perhaps no one right answer. Left, right and centre, conversations that get to the core of the debate. Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, NDTV, big exclusive. We provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation. CGI ka kaam karne ka alag andaz. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night and I'm always available to answer those emails. 25 crore final judgments and orders. This data is available online. As on 29th February 2024, 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode. Chief Justice Chandrachur se jodi ansuni baate. Saadhi teen bajay subay mera din shuru ho jata hai. My best friend, who is my wife, Kalpana. Both of us are vegans. Khabaron mein aapka bharosa. NDTV. So friends, it's time now कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूँ in this section Ask TG and this is you know one of my personal favorites क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है when we connect when we talk about gadgets technology you know directly one on one तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चंस आए हैं across different domains और मुझे क्या इतनी abilities हैं कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूँ Hi, technical Guruji. So my question is, how can we monetize Instagram posts? Okay, the monetization on Instagram works uh, in two different ways. One is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that. But I would say the the 
second method is much more effective uh, would give you much more returns and this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands aapne dekha hoga youtube pe instagram pe facebook pe all these influencers they many a times collaborate with different brands and wahan se you can monetize your content directly so uske liye thoda sa aapko mehnat karna padega you need to make sure ki aapka profile ek certain level pe pahunch jaye and uske baad if you approach brands or if the brands approach you you can monetize your post your stories your reels basically whatever content you post if you are doing this in a partnership with a brand Welcome back uh, a fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh three independent MLAs have resigned and are likely to join the BJP one of these three leaders has said that they will contest the elections on a BJP ticket earlier six Congress MLAs had also resigned uh, the independent MLAs have said that uh, chief minister sukhvinder singh sukhu has targeted mlas and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in the favor of bjp candidate in rajya sabha elections last month bjp legislature party in himachal held a meeting today amid developments in congress this as chief minister sukhu accused bjp of luring mlas <laughs> जैसे जैसे लोकसभा के चुनाव आते हैं तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं ये वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिर भी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप भी सीआरपीएफ की सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है The finance ministry has said India's economic outlook for uh, the financial year 2025 is bright. In its monthly economic review for uh, February 2024, uh, the ministry said that India's economic growth has surged to a six-quarter high and has exceeded 8% growth for the third consecutive time. GDP growth estimate for the financial year 2024 has been revised upwards to 7.6%. The ministry noted that the ongoing disruptions in the Red Sea could lead to a rise in oil prices thereby posing upside risks to inflation and consequently to overall growth. Prime Minister Modi was honored today with the highest recognition of the Kingdom of Bhutan. The honor which uh, affirms the extremely close bonds between India and Bhutan comes at a time when Bhutan faces an unprecedented threat from China which unilaterally continues to occupy its territory despite ongoing boundary talks. of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Bhutan is perhaps the award that he has been given the highest civilian honor the order of the Druk Gyalpo was conferred upon him by his majesty the king of Bhutan an affirmation that comes at a time when Bhutan faces a shared territorial threat from China tari machira kara na jonggumi de tam jaga jung ni ba chimse ge khap ki mise the jura 
Rolinchi Modi Koragi Katale, Mache Julu, the Japjo Rumbe. This statement from the Bhutanese king would have been watched closely by Beijing, which has been trying to extend its sphere of influence in Bhutan by opening an embassy. Bhutan and China do not have diplomatic relations. They are also in the midst of talks to resolve boundary issues. But that hasn't stopped China from unilaterally occupying Bhutanese territory, including areas that are considered the ancestral home of the Bhutanese royal family. Today, the Prime Minister was welcomed by thousands of Bhutanese nationals who lined the road to receive him. The show of affection was clearly evident. आपने जो कुछ भी लिखा है आपने जो कुछ भी कहा है हो सकता है उन मुद्दों को लेकर के उन भावनाओं को लेकर के मैं अपने जीवन को भी ढालू अपने कार्यों को भी आगे बढ़ाऊं ताकि आपकी जो मनोकामना है आपने जो भाव व्यक्त की है उसको मैं भविष्य में साकार करके भारत भूटान को इन संबंधों को नई ऊंचाई पर ले जाने में निमित्त बन सकूं। Both sides also agreed on seven MOUs or agreements, which included areas like education and cooperation in space. Bhutan is also setting up the Gelafu Mindfulness City, which will use a land link to connect Bhutan to Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. Thailand and Singapore through Assam and Northeast India. This is the last visit of the Prime Minister ahead of the general elections and comes less than a week after the Bhutanese Prime Minister was in India for a visit. With Vishnu Som and camera person GD Shankar in Thimpu, Bhutan, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Time for a very short break. More news and updates on the other side. Friends, it's time now कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूं in this section Ask TG and this is you know one of my personal favorites क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है when we connect when we talk about gadgets technology you know directly one on one तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चंस आए हैं across different domains और मुझे क्या इतनी abilities हैं कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूँ Hi technical guru ji so my question is how can we monetize Instagram posts Okay, the monetization on Instagram works uh, in two different ways. One is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that. But I would say the, the second method is much more effective, uh, would give you much more returns. And this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands. You have seen on YouTube, pe, Instagram, pe, Facebook, pe, all these influencers, they many times collaborate with different brands and se you can monetize your content directly. So, uske liye thoda sa aapko karna padega. you need to make sure that your profile at a certain level. Pe jaye. And uske baad, if you approach brands or if the brands approach you, you can monetize your posts, your stories, your reels, basically whatever content you post, if you are doing this in a partnership with a brand, you can have proper monetization. Oh well, ab jaake ho sakta hai. You know, in the beginning, when brands just removed the accessories like chargers from the box, so at that time, not everyone had these chargers. So sometimes we saw that the cables are different. Somewhere there is lightning, somewhere there is USB-C, somewhere there is micro-USB. On the other side, sometimes USB-C, sometimes USB-A, etc. But now, with USB-C coming in place, and now that it's been 2-3 years, when it's been a little time, a lot of brands have been removed from chargers. So now I think that it can be useful. For example, if I talk about myself, 
तो आई हैव दिस चार्जर फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई ओल्ड लैपटॉप और ये आई थिंक तीन या चार साल पुराना चार्जर है एंड इवन टूडे आई यूज द सेम चार्जर टू चार्ज ऑल माई डिवाइस बट नाउ गोइंग फॉरवर्ड जब सबके पास में चार्जर्स हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि इसका फर्क पड़ सकता है Is it okay to install a third-party battery in my MacBook? Mm, to be honest, I won't recommend it. Uh, the the reason is कि आप अगर एक MacBook की बात करते हैं तो normally the battery should last at least three years minimum. No. उसके बाद अगर आप Mac को और लंबा use करना चाह रहे हैं which the Mac is surely capable of, तो उस time पे if you install a third-party battery saving a few bucks here and there, तो उस time पे ठीक है आपका काम चल जाएगा बट देन द एक्सपीरियंस माइट नॉट बी एग्जैक्टली द सेम और शायद आप अपने मैकबुक की लाइफ स्पैन को थोड़ा सा कम कर दें तो अगर आप एक एप्पल ऑथराइज सर्विस सेंटर से एक जेन्यन बैटरी इंस्टॉल करते हैं विच नंबर वन इंश्योर्स अ गुड बैकअप एट द सेम टाइम इन इंश्योर्स गुड सेफ्टी एज वेल बिकॉज बैटरी इज वन ऑफ दोज क्रिटिकल कॉम्पोनेंट्स जहाँ पे यू नॉट वॉन्ट टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज तो आप अगर एक जेन्यन पार्ट लेते हैं आपको बैकअप भी अच्छा मिलेगा और आप अगेन आगे आने वाले दो तीन साल तक अपने लैपटॉप को इजीली यूज कर पाएंगे विद ग्रेट बैटरी लाइफ दिस शो इज इन जस्ट अबाउट न्यूज फ्रॉम द सदर्न स्टेट्स इट्स वन दैट लुक्स एट द रेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम अ डाइवर्स साउथ इंडिया पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिकॉज एनडी टीवी हैज ऑलवेज टेकन द सदर्न व्यू सीरियसली द सदर्न व्यू विद वीरा राघव ओनली ऑन एनडी टीवी 24/7 a stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front Good evening you're watching the news the headlines the enforcement directorate seeks a 10 day custody of the Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal he's produced in court he's called the key conspirator in the Delhi liquor policy case the court has reserved its order An opposition delegation makes a beeline for the election commission they allege that the center is trying to suppress their voice Kejriwal's first reaction after his arrest he says his life is dedicated to the nation The Tamil Nadu governor Arun Ravi reinducts the DMK leader K Podmudi to the state cabinet this comes after the supreme court warned the governor over his refusing to swear in Mr Podmudi earlier A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP. The BJP Legislature Party in Himachal Pradesh is in a huddle. Chief Minister Sukhu accuses the BJP of luring MLAs. His last visit before the general elections, the Prime Minister visits Bhutan where he's honored with the highest civilian award and affirmation of the close ties between the two nations. The visit comes as China continues to salami slice Bhutanese territory. The regulator finds Air India 80 lakhs after an audit reveals that pilots and cabin crew members were not given adequate rest periods after ultra long haul flights. And the Indian Premier League cricket carnival kicks off with a clash of the titans, the Royal Challengers Bangalore versus the Chennai Super Kings who have a new captain replacing the great MS Dhoni. Our top story a day after his arrest in the liquor scam in the national capital the Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal was produced before the Rouse Avenue court where the enforcement directorate argued that he was the kingpin and the co-conspirator they have applied for 10 day custody the proceedings in the lower court came after Mr Kejriwal's lawyers withdrew his petition in the supreme court choosing instead to work the lower courts in his first remarks since he was arrested Mr Kejriwal said his life was dedicated to the nation I'm joined now by my colleague uh, Vedant Agarwal. Vedant, why did the Aam Aadmi Party initially go to the Supreme Court, withdraw that, and then go across uh, to a lower court? 
Uh, well, Vishnu, this was something that we've been reporting uh, since morning because as per protocol, uh, you know, when you oppose a summons or an arrest, you initially go to a lower court, then proceed to the high court and finally challenge, uh, you know, a high court order in the Supreme Court. So the Amani party did not follow that protocol in layman terms and approach the Supreme Court registrar yesterday night uh, seeking an urgent hearing. Of course, that urgent hearing was declined yesterday night and later, of course, in the morning as well, the Supreme Court said that we must follow due protocol. And after that, uh, you know, the, the Aam Aadmi Party decided to withdraw uh, its petition from the Supreme Court and said that we will apply, uh, a, you know, uh, we'll move uh, the lower court uh, as per due procedure. Now, very quickly, when I come to you from Vishnu, I come to you from the Rouse Avenue Court. There's a, you know, let me quickly show you visuals around me. There's heavy security deployment here uh, because the Rouse Avenue Court uh, in Delhi has reserved its order uh, on Arvind Kejriwal's uh, arrest. Uh, uh, because remember, uh, the enforcement director, as rightly pointed out, has uh, sought 10-day custody. What were the arguments made very quickly in a nutshell? Uh, remember, the enforcement director made two important points. One, that Arvind Kejriwal is not only a co-conspirator, but also has vicarious liability. So this is a new point that the enforcement director has made um, and said that, uh, you know, there was 45, uh, he, Arvind Kejriwal received 45 crore rupees as kickbacks uh, from uh, this alleged, uh, you know, this uh, South Cartel, the South Cartel group. Group, uh, that the enforcement director has talked about multiple times in its charge sheet and that Arvind Kejriwal received 45 crore rupees through that and Vijay Nair, uh, which remember was the erstwhile communications in charge of the Aam Aadmi Party, he helped, uh, you know, sort of get these kickbacks transferred to the Aam Aadmi Party's accounts and also Arvind Kejriwal's accounts as well. So those are several important points made by the enforcement director. These are all charges. But uh, Dr. Abhishek Manusingh, on behalf of Arvind Kejriwal, said, uh, apart from, you know, the, the larger points he made, he said that you cannot arrest somebody based on a witness account because remember uh, the enforcement director had put out a public release saying that uh, during the course of uh, K Kavita's questioning it has come out that there was a, a nexus between K Kavita who headed the South Cartel group former excise minister and deputy chief minister Manish Sisodia and uh, Mr. K Jival and they sort of conspired uh, to, to to receive these kickbacks right so lots of allegations uh, over there. there let's see what uh, finally so comes of that this is the story that Vedan filed earlier on in the day Calm and collected after his first night in custody. This is Kejriwal's lieutenants took their toughest existential battle to the streets. A beleaguered Aam Aadmi Party, left without its patriarch, is now fighting for survival. The arrest of the chief minister, a first in the history of Indian politics, has set in motion a chain of events that changes the landscape completely ahead of the big gender elections. With the party's national boss, its star campaigner and the principal vote catcher in ED's custody, all eyes now on his number two and fellow campaigner to take over the reins of the party. Hours after the Delhi chief minister's dramatic late night arrest, Punjab chief minister Bhagwant Maan met Arvind Kejriwal's wife Sunita and his ministers in Delhi. मुझे ये बता दीजिए टाइमिंग क्या है ये क्या चाहते हैं विपक्ष का कोई भी नेता इस इलेक्शन में चुनाव प्रचार ना कर पाए ये इलेक्शन छीनना चाहते हैं तो ये भी तो पुतिन के रास्ते पर ही चल रहे हैं फिर ये डिक्टेटरशिप है From behind bars Arvind Kejriwal managed to bring together bickering opposition leaders who condemned the arrest in one voice calling it the murder of democracy in a rare show of solidarity, leaders from across opposition parties went knocking on the doors of the election commission against what they called the deliberate targeting of leaders. In the first time, 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 the विपक्ष के हर पार्टी पे है जहां पर एजेंसीज का दुरुपयोग हुआ है गिरफ्तारी हुई है लेकिन एक भी उदाहरण नहीं है सत्तारूढ़ पार्टी का कितने लेस देन अ मंथ टू गो फॉर द लोकसभा पोल्स एन अनप्रेसिडेंटेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल क्राइसिस इन दिल्ली विद द कैपिटल चीफ मिनिस्टर अंडर द अरेस्ट तो उसे शक हुआ एंटिसिपेटिंग द अरेस्ट हाउएवर केजरीवाल हैड हैंडेड ओवर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द की मिनिस्ट्रीज टू पार्टी फायर ब्रांड आतिशी एंड ट्रस्टेड एट सौरभ भारद्वाज हु आर नाउ इन चार्ज ऑफ रनिंग न्यू दिल्ली ए 
एक ऐसा केस जिसमें दो साल में एक रुपए की रिकवरी नहीं हुई है उसमें आपने एक सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को बिना किसी सबूत के गिरफ्तार कर लिया है वो भी चुनाव की घोषणा के बाद आप ये बताइए कि अभी राउज एवेन्यू कोर्ट में दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में इन समन्स की लीगैलिटी की जांच चल रही थी क्या ये समन्स कानूनी है कि गैर कानूनी दिन रियक्शन टू दिस अरेस्ट ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल इज इज एब्सोलूटली मिस्टिफाइंग एंड इज एक्सट्रीमली आयोनिक बिकॉज अ पर्सन हु नोटिस बाय द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट विच इज लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसी फोर टाइम्स and chooses to ignore it and despite the court uh, going to court and the court not upholding his plea that he be uh, let out of this investigation even then four times arvind kejriwal has ignored the ed notice to appear for the investigating this alcohol bribery corruption scam and now to act as if it is some sort of a shock and surprise arvind kejriwal and lale saath saath For a man who started his journey in politics with a crusade against corruption, Kejriwal's arrest is the biggest dent to his party's cutthroat imandar image, on which the Aam Aadmi Party was founded over 10 years ago at the iconic Ramleela Maidan. With Arvind Kejriwal in custody, the Chief Minister's residence has been turned into a fortress. Arvind Kejriwal, remember, has managed to defeat the BJP in Delhi more than once and conquer two states in just a matter of few years. Well while the charges against him are serious the fact that one of the BJP's strongest political rivals has been arrested days before polls raises serious questions in your rally with camera person Prem Singh Vedant for NTTV The Tamil Nadu governor R N Ravi has reinducted the DMK leader K Podmuri to the state cabinet this comes after the Supreme Court yesterday warned the governor over his refusing to swear in Mr Podmuri Mr Podmuri who was the higher education minister of Tamil Nadu had been convicted and sentenced to a 3 year jail term the case against him was however stayed the Tamil Nadu chief minister MK Stalin launched his election campaign meanwhile from the central town of Trichy today let's go straight across to NDTV Sam Daniel so Sam two questions firstly of course uh, Mr Podmuri the charges uh, were of course lifted on the basis of which the DMK said that he must be uh, brought back to his post the governor Uh, refuse to do that now that is clarity and the governor has had no option has there been any reaction at all from the governor's house not really except what he had told the court that he has no intention of uh, defying the supreme court order bishnu but uh, for the ruling dmk it's certainly a shot in the arm because it has been relentlessly fighting both in the madras high court and in the supreme court against the governor arun ravi who has been working against the constitution undermining an elected government and their rights and uh, the B the ruling dmk calls him as an agent of the bjp and the rss trying to scuttle development and uh, for example he had turned down many of the bills passed by the tamil nadu assembly after a long delay when the assembly reenacted them instead of immediately giving his assent he chose to refer them to the president further complicating it likewise he did not uh, make those appointments recommended by the state government he also at least twice had skipped the portions of the official speech given to him to be read in the assembly and uh, opposition rule states in states like tamil nadu kerala west bengal punjab delhi see a pattern in governors trying to scuttle development and to create obstacles in a bit to tacitly bring a uh, disrepute to those governments and to tacitly help the central government but the governor in the past has denied, denied those allegations saying that the constitution gives him the provision while it's certainly a short on arm for the ruling dmk it's also a gamble for them because ultimately ponmudi can remain in the seat only if the supreme court finds him innocent because the supreme court made it very clear that it does not want to create an irreversible situation in that sense if there's something going wrong then it will be a huge embarrassment for the minister himself here but the ruling dmk hopes this will be a lesson for not just for the tamil nadu governor but also for the other governors in opposition rule states and this could actually be a flashpoint in terms of a u turn governors in that sense uh, uh, following sure. the constitution vishnu all right sir thanks very much for joining us also an important day in tamil nadu today as mk stalin launched his election campaign from the town of trichy 
Uh, but we're going to move on now. A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP. One of these three leaders has said that they will contest the elections on a BJP ticket. Earlier, six Congress MLAs had also resigned. The independent MLA said that Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu has targeted MLAs and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in favour of the BJP candidate in Rajya Sabha elections last month. The BJP Legislature Party in Himachal Pradesh is in a huddle. Chief Minister Sukhu has accused the BJP of luring MLAs. You आते हैं तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं ये वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिरवी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप भी सीआरपीएफ के सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है well, my colleague Ghazali has been tracking the story. He joins us now. Ghazali, um, uh, earlier on, it did appear that the Congress did have the numbers to ensure that uh, this kind of challenge would be dealt with. Uh, however, in light of these new uh, developments taking place, is the government uh, under threat? Will it survive? See, the government doesn't face an immediate danger because they have already uh, passed, successfully survived that, uh, that finance bill in the, uh, while they're passing the budget uh, as they suspended the BJP MLS during the proceeding. So next vote of trust or trust vote or the vote uh, no confidence motion can only be moved after three or six months when the session is convened by the uh, assembly speaker. But what is imminent threat for the Congress right now is that if BJP just held a legislative party meeting, and if these three MLAs and the six in, uh, rebel MLAs who have been disqualified by the speaker, if all these nine MLAs join, uh, ex-MLAs join the BJP and then contest the elections and win simultaneously, then the numbers between the BJP and the Congress will tally. 34 MLAs will be with the BJP and 34 MLAs will be with the Congress. And it will, yeah, it will be a very likelihood that perhaps the president's rule will have to be imposed in the state. Or if BJP managed to poach one or two more MLAs from the Congress, then the, Cong then the BJP will form the government in, in, in Himachal Pradesh. So as of now, uh, Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu and his government will certainly focus on the bipole elections, the assembly bipoles, more than the Lok Sabha elections to retain uh, the party in power there in Himachal Pradesh. All right, Ghazali, thanks very much for sharing those details. In other news, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was honoured today with the highest recognition of the Kingdom of Bhutan. The honour, which affirms the extremely close bonds between India and Bhutan, comes at a time when Bhutan faces an unprecedented threat from China, which unilaterally continues to occupy its territory despite ongoing boundary talks. of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Bhutan is perhaps the award that he has been given. The highest civilian honour, the Order of the Druk Gyalpo, was conferred upon him by His Majesty the King of Bhutan. An affirmation that comes at a time when Bhutan faces a shared territorial threat from China. <laughs> The Jura Rolinchi Modi Koragi Katule, Mache Drulu, the Japjo Rimumbe. This statement from the Bhutanese king would have been watched closely by Beijing, which has been trying to extend its sphere of influence in Bhutan by opening an embassy. Bhutan and China do not have diplomatic relations. They are also in the midst of talks to resolve boundary issues. But that hasn't stopped China from unilaterally occupying Bhutanese territory, including areas that are considered the ancestral home of the Bhutanese royal family. Today, the Prime Minister was welcomed by thousands of Bhutanese nationals who lined the road to receive him. The show of affection was clearly evident. 
आपने एक एक शब्द जो लिखा है मैं नहीं जानता हूं कि मेरी योग्यता कितनी है लेकिन आपने जो कुछ भी लिखा है आपने जो कुछ भी कहा है हो सकता है उन मुद्दों को लेकर के उन भावनाओं को लेकर के मैं अपने जीवन को भी ढालू अपने कार्यों को भी आगे बढ़ाऊं ताकि आपकी जो मनोकामना है आपने जो भाव व्यक्त की है उसको मैं भविष्य में साकार करके भारत भूटान को इन संबंधों को नई ऊंचाई पर ले जाने में निमित्त बन सकू बोथ साइड ऑल्सो अग्रीड ऑन सेवन एमओ यूज और अग्रीमेंट विच इंक्लूडेड एरियाज लाइक एजुकेशन एंड कोऑपरेशन इन स्पेस Bhutan is also setting up the Gelafu Mindfulness City which will use a land link to connect Bhutan to Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Singapore through Assam and Northeast India. This is the last visit of the Prime Minister ahead of the general elections and comes less than a week after the Bhutanese Prime Minister was in India for a visit. With Vishnu Som and camera person GD Shankar in Thimphu Bhutan Saurabh Gupta and DTV Well there's trouble for Apple with the US company being sued by the US government uh, which claims that the tech giant stifled competition and imposed a high cost on consumers Apple has been facing several legal cases lately lawsuits which could cost them more than a billion dollars in fines around the world fresh legal trouble for apple with the us government suing the tech giant on thursday the us department of justice is alleging that apple illegally monopolized the smartphone market and prevented competition by restricting access to its software and hardware in a scathing lawsuit filed in a federal court in new jersey the us government along with the attorney generals of 16 states allege that apple suppresses mobile cloud streaming services blocks cross platform messaging apps limits third party digital wallets and even limits how well third party smart watches work on its platforms but as our complaint alleges apple has maintained monopoly power in the smartphone market not simply by staying ahead of the competition on the merits but by violating federal antitrust law According to reports, Apple has hit out at the lawsuit and called it misguided. Reports say the company has vowed to vigorously defend against the lawsuit. Undeterred by the US government lawsuit, Apple CEO Tim Cook launched the biggest Apple store in Asia on Thursday in Shanghai. This is the third time that the US Department of Justice has sued Apple for antitrust violations in the past 14 years. Apple is the latest in a string of B-Tech companies to face monopoly acquisitions as the US government cracks down on a powerful industry. Meanwhile, Apple's reportedly aggressive response indicates that the company is in no mood to relent and given how long the US government case against Microsoft in the 90s lasted it could be a while before a resolution is reached with Vishal Vivek bureau report NDTV and finally it's that time of the year the Indian Premier League of Cricket is back with the clash of the titans the royal challengers bengaluru versus the chennai super kings they have a new captain replacing the great ms dhoni my colleague uh, osama wait a year for the spectacle of cricket to begin and he's all enthused about it but i have to say osama uh, chennai without dhoni as captain just doesn't feel the same well uh, vishnu not just me it's the entire country that uh, waits for this uh, particular event to happen and uh, uh, it is the biggest uh, cricketing spectacle of all uh, it is uh, chennai super kings versus royal challengers bengaluru and uh, 
Remember uh, Ruturaj, uh, Ruturaj Gaikwad, uh, who is the new captain. He's taking over from MS Dhoni, who is a five-time IPL champion. Uh, he has won two World Cups and a Champions Trophy for India. So very big shoes for, to fill for uh, the young captain, Ruturaj Gaikwad. And uh, all of this is part of their succession plan, Chennai Super Kings succession plan. And there are, there are uh, speculations as well now that uh, this might be uh, MS Dhoni's last season. And remember, MS Dhoni is coming back uh, after 14 months. Uh, where he underwent a knee, uh, knee surgery and uh, his fitness uh, will be put to test. Uh, but uh, for Bengaluru, uh, they have a new name, uh, they have a new uh, uh, jersey, uh, they have a new logo. Everything's new about uh, uh, Bengaluru, but the only thing that uh, uh, still waits, uh, uh, that the fans are still waiting for is a trophy. They already won uh, a trophy by their women's team. Uh, will that fortune uh, uh, change for uh, the men's team as well? Uh, well, that is something that we'll have to wait and watch. All right, thanks, Osama. Thanks very much indeed. Well, we're going to move on to a very special report. Samarth by Hyundai in partnership with NDTV is a movement for equal rights for people with disabilities. It's one of the most meaningful campaigns that we've had in years. Part of the initiative's strong belief is that people's disabilities do not define what they can or cannot do. And embodying that is the archer Rigzin Tamchos, whose journey to his dream, the Paralympics, has seen him win an award for his innovation that helps him shoot better. certificate medals to isse Well, it's time now for us to take a short break. We'll be up next with a lot more. Do stay tuned. talking but very little being said too many voices but hardly any being heard you turn to a show that puts you front and center a show that headlines the stories of the people by the people for the people Friends, this is what I have for the next one because here, this sleek looking laptop coming straight from Apple is the latest generation of MacBook Air or here, what's packed inside is Apple's new M3 chip now. So, this Apple has finally launched and what's amazing is that look at this profile, how sleek you get a laptop at the same time it packs 
सम अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस यहाँ पे एप्पल की लेटेस्ट M3 चिप है इट्स अ फैनलेस डिजाइन दैट इज द रीजन कि ये काफी आपको स्लीक मिलने वाला है क्वाइट लाइट वेट एंड दिस इनफैक्ट इज द 15 इंच वेरिएंट जो इसका 30 इंच वेरिएंट है वो थोड़ा सा और ज्यादा छोटा और आपको हल्का फील होता है इट्स यू नो इवन मोर पोर्टेबल एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक सम सीरियस पावर बिकॉज यहाँ पे जो मेमरी है इट गोज अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर जी बी द स्टोरेज कैन गो अप टू टू टेराबाइट्स हमारे पास में प्रॉपर मैग सेफ पोर्ट है वी हैव हेडफोन जैक इज वेल एट द सेम टाइम यहाँ पे यू एस बी सी पोर्ट्स भी हैं वी हैव अ फुल साइज की बोर्ड अ नाइस फिफ्टीन इंच स्क्रीन इन अ वेरी स्लीक फॉर्म फैक्टर इन दिस पैक्स अ सिक्स स्पीकर सिस्टम इज वेल सो लेट सी अप क्लोज हाउ इज दिस Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip. The beloved MacBook Air just got a super power upgrade with the brand new M3 chip. Ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds, longer battery life and mind blowing AI capabilities. Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip. Imagine kariye ki editing videos, creating music or even casually crushing your enemies in an intense game, the laptop kafi asani se ye sab kar hi sakta hai. No sweat. Apple promise karta hai whopping 18 hours of battery life on a single charge. That's almost a full day of work. और एक्चुअली इवन प्ले बिना किसी पावर आउटलेट की जरूरत पड़े टॉक अबाउट फ्रीडम द न्यू न्यूरल इंजन मेक्स दिस द बेस्ट मैकबुक एयर येट फॉर एआई टास्क एज वेल थिंक अबाउट सुपर इंटेलिजेंट फोटो एडिटिंग एंड मच मोर यू कैन ऑल्सो नाउ हुक अप टू एक्सटर्नल डिस्प्ले परफेक्ट फॉर दोज नीड अ बिग स्क्रीन वर्क स्पेस लाइक फॉर एडिटिंग एंड ऑल द मैकबुक एयर एम थ्री इज ए स्लीक पावरफुल एंड अनडिनाइबली कूल वे टू कंप्यूट ऑन द गो If you're looking for a laptop that's as light as air but packs a serious punch, it's time to catch this upgrade. Uh, friends, इस नए MacBook Air के आने के बाद दो interesting बातें हुई हैं. पहली बात तो ये कि हमको एक नया MacBook मिल गया है with M3 chip, the MacBook Air. यहाँ पे दो अलग-अलग size हैं. This one in particular, the 15-inch variant starts at 1 lakh 34,900 rupees. But the second thing is even more exciting because Apple has reduced the price for the 13-inch variant. क्योंकि अगर आप 13 इंच का M2 चिप वाला MacBook Air अब लेते हैं तो उसकी प्राइस बीस हजार रुपये कम हो गई है एंड नाउ यू कैन गेट इट एट जस्ट नाइन्टी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड रुपीज सो बेसिकली द लाइनअप फॉर द मैकबुक एयर एम वन चिप भी है एम टू चिप भी है एंड दिस इज द लेटेस्ट एम थ्री चिप यू कैन चूज बेसिस ऑफ योर रिक्वायरमेंट्स या योर बजट एंड आई वुड से ऑल दीज लैपटॉप्स दे आर रियली गुड बिकॉज Apple Silicon के साथ में the kind of optimization Apple has done in terms of performance, battery, you know. The entire experience, it's really elevated. तो अगर आप ये लैपटॉप लेना प्रेफर करते हैं लेट्स ए फॉर कॉलेज या मे बी इवन फॉर प्रोफेशनल वर्क आई वुड से दिस वुड बी अ रियली गुड पिक This is NDTV, and you're watching NDTV 24/7. Good evening. A day after his arrest in the liquor scam in the national capital, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was produced before the Rouse Avenue Court, where the Enforcement Directorate argued that he was the kingpin and the co-conspirator. They've applied for 10-day custody. The proceedings in the lower court came after Mr. Kejriwal's lawyers withdrew his petition in the Supreme Court, choosing instead to work the lower court system. In his first remarks since he was arrested, Mr. Kejriwal said that his life was dedicated. To the nation. अभी सर कुछ कहना है कुछ संदेश सर मेरा जीवन देश के लिए समर्पित है और चाहे अंदर हो या बाहर काम एंड कलेक्टेड आफ्टर हिस्स फर्स्ट नाइट इन कस्टडी 